what? You're, you're, I don't know what I need fixed. So hold on. I don't know how it's supposed to be. So hold on. Your cursor won't go from one computer to the other? No, it used to, but. All right, well, that's nothing but a thing. Please. Yeah, yeah Macho Man says place. Yeah, come on. Place. I got that handled. Uh, I had a I had a great weekend. I really did. Oh, so anyway, we got a new system, Lummy, and I think you guys are going to work on building it for me, right? Yes, we are. Just what I need. And then put like three or four empty pages up top and three or four empty, just l- l- literally la- uh, label it empty one, empty two, and then I can go in and put stuff in that I want, you know, you know that I want. Yeah, you could just pop it in yourself. Whether it's just I'm listening to old stuff to to – tell you to go make a video of it or you know whatever okay. but i but i and i i, I need because i like to go in there and find little things you know like little nuggets yeah little nuggets of of great content to make you and Rhett have to make a video out of it which i know you cringe every time you get into the system don't you don't lie a little bit right. it, it's just so much of it sure so much right. greatness dan i know you're just over there chomping like the bit like the god god dang I, phew, I didn't get a violation there. Nope. The more a eel that you are. What do you want? No, no. This is the new next gen system that we weren't able to do, but now we can. Yes. It's awesome. I'm glad. Yes, and it's in the and it's now we have you know like uh, fortified it so to speak and backed it up and you know like it's not it was you know it's it's we got we got a backup of it so the the cra- the great next gen crash that we've been working with I don't know how long God what Lummy four three months at least. I, oh yeah I'd say probably about four or five months yeah it crashed a long time ago and Blitz was trying like hell and he was in the middle of it and uh, Mach took it over and now it's completed and whew, I feel so much better Lummy don't you oh, 100%. otherwise we were oh hundred percent just your next shirt should be oh hundred percent Mark Norman even if something's one percent or it sucks. <laughs> If a comf- if I say it, then 100%. it's hundred percent. Hundred percent. Bubba is always hundred percent right. Mark Norman twenty on the cash app. Did you have any? Uh, did, you, did you have any uh, overnight and or weekend deals? I think I think we might have. Uh, I'll tell you this, Dan. I don't know. Maybe you can. Can you? Uh, Ka- Kathleen Loretino fifty dollars on the Venmo. Ken what, Staggs twenty five on the Venmo. On. Go back over on the pay. Uh, yeah, the Venmo. What's her name? The, it's Gronk's mom. Uh, Dan from our football That's team. That's awesome. I love her. And her and her mom and dad, his his parents gave us 50 on the Venmo like Saturday. So her and him or him and her must have been listening to a replay or something like that. And out of nowhere, uh, Gronk's mom and dad sent us 50 bucks. Mm. So can you reach out to little Gronk and tell him to tell his mom and dad thanks? <laughs> I will. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> little, little Gronk, man, tell your mom and dad thanks for the 50 on the PayPal on the Venmo. I think they're doing some big traveling this summer, like like other side of the world kind of stuff. Really? Like Singapore kind of thing? Yeah, like going to like really amazing places. I tell you, I just don't really like to travel. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and, and here's the why, here's why, Dan. When you and I on Saturday were at the top of the Courtney uh, Campbell, uh, you know. Top you, of the you, world. T- used to be the, it, it used to be the road. Now it's, a, you know, a biker's trail slash, you know, a walking trail, mm-hmm. fit, fitness trail. And we're at the top of the, of the bridge there, and it's beautiful, and we're like, this is, why would you want to leave? Like, this is beautiful. This is as pretty as it gets. Yeah, sure. Is. I mean, sure, it's not the Caribbean and things like, you know, like maybe variety, like F- Fiji or anything like that, but something <laughs> please, new. Please. Novelty. Yeah. I sure. mean, you have, you have like the best <laughs> apple in the world. Why do you want a different apple? Yeah. You know what I mean, oh, this one's just, you know, it's, it's just I, I, sweet listen, and delicious. Why I did Hugh Grant li- limited treat on Elizabeth Hurley with li- a prostitute? Li- Sometimes li- you want variety. <laughs> Yeah, but he's, yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, goddamn, give the bitch another pop, Lummy. She's already. <laughs> give me two, give me Jesus, two. Jesus, Lummy, for real. I mean, I'm the pop, you know, I'm the lifeguard of the pops. I'm the one that doles them out. Yeah. I know it's funny and Just because your favorite is Mexican food doesn't mean you never want Chinese. Yeah, but when you know Mexican what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not, there, like, I'm not Why am I telling you guys this? But I'll tell you that I'm not going to Mexico <laughs> to get some food. I'll tell you that right now. No, but in Mexican <laughs> food's just sitting there like a dead fish when you're having sex with it. Maybe you're going to want some Italian food. <laughs> I don't even know where you guys are talking about with regard. Her <laughs> relation to Maybe traveling. Maybe just like a lame F, you know? <laughs> All right, yeah, anyway. but like a $15 prostitute. <laughs> like, yeah, she was gross. I was just talking. Find a dumpster. I was just talking about travel. Let's just please move on. Sorry. Thanks. No problem. Uh, so, Lummy, what did you do this weekend? I had a I had a great weekend. I'll go through mine here momentarily. But what did what did you do this weekend? Uh, just uh, hung out with the goats yesterday. Worked on the other <laughs> house Saturday. My friend came over. We did nice. a barbecue and then we got held on. It was hailing yesterday. We're really? trying to barbecue, yeah. So you're outside and you're, you're uh, you know, working the grill. But hold on, you're. I think you're. You're. Isn't your? Don't you have an in cage? Cage or no? 
Don't isn't your pool in, in a cage? Yes. Okay. Well, then what's and if your grill's outside, what is it? Matt, the hail is just it so big that it's going through the screen. Uh, a couple of them started. They they did go through the screen. No, they did through yeah. your pool screen. Come on, like meteors for real. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the, you, so you got to deal with that nonsense now. Getting a screen company out it, to do yeah, it. Oh it's, my it's, god. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not a huge deal because it was. Yeah, a it is a big part. deal. Calling some screen place up and having to get. I get an estimate. That's going to be at least two hundred bucks. And they got that little roller with that little rubber strip. Yeah. Oh. It's going to be. And, and sometimes they, you know, like I put real real skinny Mexican guy. Uh, uh, you know, to go, you know, go on top of the of, of the of the enclosure. You know, oh, I was hoping for like maybe fifty bucks. Please, oh, I mean, if if you could get Big Red's ass up there to maybe do it, but I mean, if you're gonna call call professional, you know, screen enclosure, caged enclosure place, I got to think that it's at least a hundred bucks a panel, wouldn't <sighs> you think, Dan? Yeah, and I heard that all the Mexicans have left. So my father-in-law says that, that it's going to be very <laughs> difficult to get help right now because of DeSantis' new laws. I don't think so. And he said that a lot of the people he knows are leaving. That's just rumors. Have you seen yeah, the he's, he's in that. He's in that world, though. I, I know, know he's in that world. It's just going to be the Mexicans are not going to leave. They're just going to be scared to go work for the, for the you know. All, the Hondurans under, will come in. And uh, under the, under the, the table. Day. Everybody's going to be afraid that the, because don't think, man, that the state's not going to put some secret agent Mexicans in there. You know, some cops disguised as Mexicans trying to get a guy to hire him under the table. Right. Yeah, you know, I mean, seriously, they're going to probably uh, in, in order to, yeah. in order to oh, definitely in order to in, in order to make a new law, you have to have the ability to for, enforce it. Anybody can just come up with a new law. Hey, you know, you can't do this. But if you don't have the ability to police or enforce your law, then what good's your law? Totally so, agree. Which so, is why a lot of laws like that have to have financial backing. So you know, they're going to have to go in order to for, in order for DeSantis to be able to hard sell what the hell he's trying to prove here. He's going to have to catch. A big, uh, you know, produce guy that hires, you know, 100 or 200 Mexicans a day, you know, and, and pays them all cash under the table. He, they're going to put some some undercover Mexicans in there. And as soon as, you know, Billy Joe Bob, who owns an, who owns an orange farm or, or, or strawberry fields, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Strawberries are the biggest, probably our biggest... Because oranges are picked by machines, I think. Well, and, and uh, the, also the orange business has been, you know, really taken over a lot by Brazil. Their, their oranges are, are coming through, and, and the Florida orange industry is not what it was 15 years ago. Why? Because the Brazilians are undercutting them? Yeah, I guess. And disease. Disease. Yeah, yeah, all right. And the so, land so valuable so, that they were, they were sold off for property. So you, so they're, so they're going to put some undercover Mexicans in there, and some dude, you know, they're going to see him on Channel Eight or one of the local in some some farmer that had, in Columbia they had like an F three fifty. They went down to the Target. To, I'm sorry, down to the Walmart um, or the Depot. Uh, Home Depot, Home Depot. Yeah. and hires you know fifteen twenty Mexicans a day to go do his hard labor. They're going to see him in cuffs. But see, like, I think now first that viol first violator of the Ron DeSantis Immigration Act is Billy Joe Bob, who owned 400 acres of strawberry fields in Plant City and hired 15 to, to 50 to 100 Mexicans a day straight cash. I still right? think it's discouraging some of the new people that are migrating over here from coming. So it I may be way. effective in that sense. Hey, I have a way. I know it's really, really on. It's actually going to wait for a little bit later before I came up with my plan. I... I have a way that could absolutely fix immigration lock, stock, and barrel. I'm I'm no, I'm oh. not going oh, to. I mean, I'm talking about, I'm, not I'm, not, I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking about letting immigrate immigration people in and letting Billy Joe Bob hire them under the table for cash. Like I got a way where it would be a win-win. So it, it'd make everybody happy, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that make everybody happy if the fact that one, all all qualified immigrants get in, and all of us, I'll tell you how all? much. All? Yeah. There's no quotas? Yeah. Well, sure, we can put some quotas up, but okay. whatever. Why? Why but, not? Let's just let them all in. Let, 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 well, you gotta, you know, you <laughs> sure, have a little, why not? No, hold on. Now you're going to have me get into my whole plan now. So just, no, I'm Anna. Sorry. Uh, I, I will give you my immigration plan here probably in an hour, and it is absolutely, it fixes all sides of it. One- it's it it oh I'm not even going to get into it. It just it fixes immigration yeah. every well, aspect. Well, I'm excited to hear about your new policy. <sighs> and after I after I say it, Dan, you'll be like, and I want and I want you to try to pick it apart. I want you to try to pick it apart. 
Okay. But, but but if if the plan is if the if the goal it's gonna be with, hard to dig all those mass graves with with the goal with the goal <laughs> let me put a fall flat on your facer for Dan please thank you all right. sorry I laughed mm-hmm. he, she laughed <laughs> she's not the goddamn boss around here put me down for a violation on the GD Just, way to go Doctor Dan <laughs> yeah you 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 got me and, and to do a violation with your little chime in there Tan Dan so anyway Tan Dan yeah <laughs> Tan Dan. <laughs> Tan Dan. I'm so tan so, right now. But too. If, the, if your goals, <laughs> if your goals in immigration are one to allow great immigrants in, mm-hmm. two to allow them to work for, uh, allow, allow people, uh, industry to be able to hire them under the table to keep labor costs down, so that our market, so we can compete with you know a produce and, and things like that. Because if we're not, you're not going to get. You know, you're not going to get a 19-year-old white or black or, or, you know, any type of kid that was born in America. You're not going to get any 19-year-old American to sit there and pick strawberries all day. Paying, you, you're, you can't. If you're hungry enough, you will. So but, your policy allows this to happen under the table? Yeah. I mean, off the books. Yeah, exactly. That's what they're bitching about now. The, the whole big immigration policy is that every immigrant has to be registered. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, Dan, you're saying the reason why the I, the you know the Mexicans and the immigrant workers are leaving Florida is because Ron DeSantis, under his plan, every immigrant has to be registered and has to be on payroll or be you know have a social security card and he's you know working for your company or something like that. Like, there's no more cash payments. Right. That's that's how I understand it. And you, no, you can do cash payments. It's you can't have. I believe it's a certain number of illegal immigrants on your books. Well, I'm just saying, like you can't. You know, you can't. There's rules. Yes. When you say illegal, are you talking about like registered migrants? No, undocumented. And so, workers, so huh? yeah. So on all these, all these employers are like, man, I don't have the resources to sign all of these. I mean, it's just easier for I mean, me how to pay should, them. How should you legally be able to have any illegal immigrants on your books? But, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I think it'd have to be That's a what, registered that, migrant. But, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you... you I, I don't know. I don't I, So anyway, listen, I got an immigrant... Listen. We're getting... You're getting me in my rabbit hole. Sorry. And in, in my immigration rabbit hole. So I'm curious. Ready to, yeah, I mean, I want to talk... I got to open the show up with what we did this weekend, and boom, 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 and here we are early on. We don't have the maximum amount of viewers and or listeners. You know, this is still, you know, the, the maximum amount of listeners and, and or viewers usually is between, like... Seven twenty and nine o'clock. In that, what on? I mean, Lummy, you're better with the numbers with regards to socially. I can tell you, terrestrially, radio wise, those are probably you know pretty good estimates. On my, you know, I'm probably a little bit more knowledgeable about that than you. You have a better understanding as to how many digital people we have listening or watching at any certain time, and what what what's the 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 peak hours? So seven thirty to nine. There you go. Did you think Lummy was gonna say? Yeah, anything, anything else? else? I mean, yeah. did you think Lummy was gonna say, uh, you know, eight fifteen to you know nine forty five? I thought he was gonna say seven twenty to nine, not seven thirty. No, I, that surprised me. Hello, <laughs> hello. Yeah, Mama? yeah. This is yes, sir. Yes, yes. I was asking, um, are you all on oh. Charleston anymore? No. Mm. And what have you, you been drinking tonight, bud? Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Well, yeah, man, so the being drunk, here you are in Charleston, South Carolina, drunk drunk as hell. And now are you headed to work? Or are you coming back? Are you just getting home? Like what's your, what are you doing? I'm blind and sitting here trying to listen to the radio and hear you. Oh, you're blind. Yeah. All right, so you don't I'm, I'm assuming that you don't work like you're on disability or something? No, they denied me. No, so what do, so how do you make it? How do you make it, bud? My parents. Oh, how old are you? Yeah, I was going to ask. I'm 40. Oh, you're 40. Oh, wow. I just got blind at 40. Well, when did you... Now, have you been blind all your life? No. Uh, I, you've already dear, dear, deared me. Mm. Um, well, listen, buddy. I, had, I mean, you know... I, but, I had some girlfriend. I, had, I was partying mm. around with some girls. Okay. And I got pushed off a balcony. Okay. And I crushed my skull, broke my jaw, call, <gasps> and neck and back. Man, that should be a oh. country song. I was partying. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, sorry, oh, yeah. Sorry, no problem. Sorry, sorry, no problem. Sorry. sorry. It's okay. I was partying with some girls, pissed them off, they knocked me off the back knee, crushed my head in, and now I can't see for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, why, why did it happen in Charleston? Man, Everybody loves you, man. I know, I know, man. We couldn't come to an agreement. And 
Phew, yeah, we're not. I mean, you know, I love him to death still, but we're not. We're not there, buddy. We're gonna. You're gonna, and it's gonna be harder for you to find us because you can't see. Well, my old lady, my girl. Um, uh, yeah, sir, can I take? Can I, can, I, can, I, can I? Hold on, now. can I make? Can I make a? Yeah, Baba. May I make a? May I make a gentlemanly uh, suggestion Please, to you, gentlemanly? Please, that might help you with 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 said female partner of yours. Might just help you a little bit with her, but I don't think women like to be called their old late like your old lady. I know. I mean, don't. unless you're in a bike a biker gang, like are you if you're a you know outlaw or a Hell's Angels, I think maybe that's appropriate. But I don't think yeah, Somewhat. I don't think you can drive a motorcycle, buddy. You can't see. I, don't, I, I understand. Uh, I'll, I'll old Dan, lady. Dan, I don't. Dan, I don't think you. The outlaws will let, will, will let you be a, in old. the in the motorcycle club if you don't have a motorcycle, right? What are you take, getting dropped off to the to the rally, <laughs> yeah. to, to the bike rally? I'm a second. Uh, you know. Yeah. We got a big bike rally that's happening at Daytona. What are you just going to show up, be there with your jacket on, yeah, bitch? Yeah, Tesla auto drive motorcycle. Yeah, Uber. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, well, yeah, yeah. So you're going to have to go, uh, you Bubba know, army app. Yeah, or? Bubba, you know, or tune in. You know, go to tune in. That's really simple. Go to the tune in app and and search. Uh, you know, Bubba One. Actually, you search Bubba One, or or go get the Bubba Army app as well. Uh, right there, you know, Android. At, do you have Do you have a smartphone? Uh, yes, Jim. Yes, sir. Whatever your name is, Jeff. Jeff. Justin. Justin. Huh. Okay. And your and your now now Justin. Let me ask you a question. You said you you live with your parents and you're forty, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, and you got an old lady, nonetheless, and she's the one that's going to help you help you out you know, for to find us, right? Yes, sir. But, but where now? Where does your old does your old lady live with you? And the parents, like, how does, you know, how's that all working out? She kind of babies me. She's got her own place, and uh, she shoots by here, and I stay there at times. Oh, okay. So a girlfriend more than a wife? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, how long have you been seeing said old lady? Seeing, not, not yet. Well, I'm sorry. How long <laughs> have you been in a relationship with? I even know three you have to four years. Three to four years, right? But, she hot? But, that's steady know. three to four years, but I've been. She's been a little. Weird. She's probably a little. Probably been a little f buddy for for a long time. A little cricket. Yes, high school. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So she was like your little, you know, your little ass. You know, your side ass. Oh, so yeah. Do you know what she looks like? Definitely. Yeah. She, she now is now. I mean. So you remember what she looked you, like? You do. Yeah, you, back in high school. When did, when yeah. did your, yeah. <laughs> she not, probably I'm looks a little different now. Hundred percent blind. Like my well, right first eye. First of all, when did? Know. But when did the balcony getting pushed off the balcony incident happen? And when would that happen? May twenty second, two thousand ten. Oh, so you've been, you know, you know, you've thirteen, thirteen or so years, right? Yes, sir. Oh, you don't listen. I mean, you know, women at thirteen and thirteen years, they really, I mean, you know, they what they thirteen years ago, what they weighed and what they, you know, she what could, they weighed. I mean, you know, has she thinks she's gotten maybe a little bigger with age. No, I can feel pretty well. Right. Nice. Right. Now is she now? Are you seeing anybody else, or is it an exclusive deal, or is she, is she, you know, she go back to her husband at night? How's it, I mean, what's going on no, there? No, it's just me and her. But um, I can't try to uh, well for others. <laughs> what's that? What? I wouldn't be able to try for other women. Oh, you're oh, so you're saying yeah, you're kind of locked into what you know. You're locked to see, and, and then see, I can understand what happened. See, when you had eyesight and you had a little bit of game, then she was side ass. But then when you lost your eyesight, and you're like, well, hell, I mean, I got to lock her in from side ass yeah, to prime time to prime time because you know who I, I'm not. I, I beggars do, can't be I, yeah, choosers. I, I got dealt this blind hand, and blind guys ain't got no game. Please, it's hard to find new ones at least. All right, yeah. I mean, please. I can't confirm nor deny. Yeah, that's uh, dead on, buddy. So listen, your old lady. Uh, who's your formerly your side ass and now now locked in as quote unquote the old lady? Uh, maybe when she is she, now is she there now or is she back at her place? Work. She's at work. Okay. What now? What does uh, quote unquote the old lady do for a living? She's a nurse. Nurse. Okay. She has to take care of your ass and yeah. Now like, uh, she's a nurse like, at, 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 at a hospital or a regular doctor or what? Hospital. Right. So she's a nurse at a hospital. Yeah. She, hell, Dan, she probably makes, you know, 60 to 80 grand. That's yeah. it. I mean, those she's are, probably helping support you. Yeah, she's probably. Living off of her. That's yeah. great. I mean, you know. <clears throat> she's making her give you a she's cut. Probably pretty, she probably makes a pretty damn good living, right? She, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't see the numbers, but <laughs> I, know. I know. I mean, well, verbally, she can tell you, you know, hey, I make this much a year or, you know. 
No, you know, and right. you don't get any. You don't get any. Go- yeah, I, th- I don't think that the government would probably, you know, approve the dis- lifetime full of disability. Uh, when the what happened to you was you got pushed off a balcony. Yeah, it doesn't matter what happened. It's just if he's blind and he's incapacitated, he should get disability. There's a lot of people that like. <sighs> Oh, Dan, I was trying to keep our taxes. Back. Dan, I was trying to keep our taxes down, buddy. Yeah, but there's a lot of people that are way, way not, you know, way better off than him that yeah. get full disability. I know. I and mean, the, the system's emotional broken. Emotional disability and stuff. System's broken, but you know why? I can't to it if we have why do you think she's with you? It's got a huge. Do you, well, I mean, you know, sir. I mean, like again, because I'm thinking about all the things that women look for in a well, relationship, and I, mean, I don't know if you have any of them. Yeah, I mean, like, do, do you remember what you look like? I mean, like, can you say, yeah, I used to look like, you know. Yeah, I look short, and stumpy. All right. You know? I mean, like, do you, what's Too physically <laughs> unattractive. How, t- how tall are you, uh, there, uh, Austin? Five nine. Five nine. That's how average. Much how much do you weigh? One eighty. One eighty. Okay. Right. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, that's fine. You have good dental. I mean, you have good teeth, or you know. Come on. I've got one bad tooth. Yeah. Okay. One. Anytime, anytime a guy says I got one bad tooth. Then that you know oh, that the animals on, up by five. I mean, on, now, nobody just has one. Mm. But either your teeth are good. Or you got one bad tooth. And this no, is I, fainted at the re- I fainted at the revolving door at MUSC and chipped my tooth. Oh, I see. So you got like, only got that one tooth, so though. You're front got one tooth. bad looks, tooth. Looks like the guy from Dumb and Dumber. You yeah. got like that one. Yeah. Like, so you, so you, got, you got, what was Jim Carrey's character's name in Dumb and Lloyd, Dumber? Lloyd Christmas. So you got, Lloyd. you got Lloyd Christmas teeth, okay? From, yep. from Dumb and Dumber, right? Now, do you, do you, oh, yeah. do you smoke? Nope. Nope. Do you do you drink? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. And d- pills, weed? No. Uh, well, I have to take my medicine, but the weed and the uh, drinking. Yep. You drinking? You know, maybe oh, if you ca- maybe if you sub sir, let me just give you some maybe some man law here. Maybe if you substitute alcohol with weed. It'd calm you way down, make you even cooler. You know, you sound cool right now. Sounds like he does both. But alcohol kind of makes you a little, a little more edgier and dickish. You, I mean, if you just were just straight to the weed, then it might really, yeah. be, you know, right help help out help it out a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what? You're right. I mean, you're. I mean, you're right. Yeah, you can get a 15 pack you, of, of Natty Light for four dollars. No, Bud Light, Bud Light for like three bucks. Yeah, yeah Bud, Bud Light's, Light's for sale. free. You know what? Bud yeah. Light should just say, "Hey, we really screwed the pooch. Everything's for free for the next three months." Okay. Yeah. Please just <laughs> yeah, try to forgive we're us. We're drinking water anyway. So, all right. Well, listen, uh, Bud. Um, you're yeah. When you're gonna have to get a hold of somebody that can see, and and, and get the Bubba Army app, and then you know, there's a. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hit the button. Because you might just smart, have to smash the screen, Lummy, because there's a little button that says listen now that you have to hit, right? Yes. So he may not be able to, I mean, you can get the app, but you may not I, be able to. I could see enough to, I'm, I'm sure, once she sets it up, I'm sure I can hit the okay. button. Okay. Well, when you I get her. I'm going to call you by myself. Yeah, well, you, you know? get her to get that thing set up for you so you can listen to us, okay? Because that's the only way you're going to be able to listen to the show, buddy. And I know that we're your favorite show, like. 13 dude. years, man. Like, what in the hell? I mean, think Charles about it, man. He loves you. I think dude. about this, guys. Uh, I mean, we all get, you know, like, like, let me, we're devastated that Yellowstone's going to be over, right? Yes. Can you, well, people become, people become that way with their radio shows, too. No There's doubt. people devastated right now. Be like, God, well, man, this guy. Bubba, and I like, just starting to like that, uh, that Jewish girl, just starting to like her. Dan's the <laughs> I good love cool. You, Anna. Oh, yeah. thanks, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Blind ass. You know, Yellowstone wasn't a daily routine for years and years yeah. and years. And this, when you have a morning radio show that's literally part of your daily routine yeah. every morning, it's exactly. disruptive. It's very disruptive. Yeah, exactly. Pisses you off. Mm-hmm. It's like, damn it, I really like, I mean, that really just really hurt. That really, that's really punching the gut. Take Write my a letter. favorite show away. All right, Travis uh, or, or Troy, whatever. Or Justin. J- Justin, try to, try to, try to get us. <laughs> Try to get us, buddy, and then, hey, once you finally get us and you can hear us by some other means digitally, um, then we call I'll, you. We, I'll send some cash. No, 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 no. That? We're not even. We're not How even. about that? We're not even. I mean, great. Thanks. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, yeah. at the Bubba Army. Always very grateful. But, but, but. Well, it's I, not really I, his. It's I was, his parents. I was so. just, yeah, I don't want to. Poor mom and dad. Next thing you know, they're seeing who, $50 to some stupid ass radio show. They're on a limited budget. Can't pay the power bill. Power bill gets turned off because he gave me fifty. <laughs> I mean, right, Dan? It can speak astronomically. It's all your fault, brother. Right. So listen, no, 
Don't send me any money. I mean, if you got a few bucks laying around, it'd be great. But I was just asking for you to recall us and say, Bubba, it's uh, a, a tra- Justin. Justin. It's drunk right. ass blind yeah. Justin from Charleston. And I found you. And I'm listening to you right now digitally, buddy. My God, it's so. I mean, the only thing would be better is I could find my eyesight. Other than that, man, oh, I'm so, <laughs> so happy I got you on the Bubba Army app. Oh, my God. My blind world's not ruined. So anyway, bud. I would be excellent, and I will be cause. Okay, thank you, buddy. All right. Drunk-ass Justin <laughs> from Charleston, South Carolina. Can't wait to hear from you, buddy. Hey, hell yeah, and if you get into your parents' Venmo and just type, send 50 bucks to at the Bubba Army. He hell put yeah. another zero on it. He's blind. He can't see. 500 yeah. would be great. <laughs> Hello. Hey, good morning, Bubba. Can I speak to Lummy off the air? How about, like, you got to give me an idea, like, what you're talking What's wrong? Uh- no, I, nothing's wrong. I wanted to usually give my no, but hold on, Dan. Usually, when somebody wants to talk to Alumni off the air, it's like something or something wrong. But wait, wait, Bubba, it gets better because when Susie's this guy started talking, Lummy started putting his head down and like his feet. Oh, like, like Lummy this guy knows, knows who um, this is. Oh, well, Lummy, I, don't, Lummy, I don't know. Lummy, I don't know who this. This is Mar- Mario. But Mario? So Mario? Mar- no, no, no. Oh, it sounded like Mario. My bad. Well, what do you need? What do you need? I just want to talk to him because it, it seems like you have like a lot of blind listeners that call in. I'm, I'm actually blind. I spoke to you a few months ago. Well, I'm one of the blind a, guys. I mean, I know who, who was ever think. How many fingers am I holding up? Ten. But I spoke Let me to put you another fall in your face or over to him. Jesus, away. God. What, buddy? I said, remember <laughs> I spoke to you a few months ago about my son that passed away? Yes, I do, Mario. Was... I think you're from Vegas. No, no. I'm I'm from New York. I had the two-year-old that was murdered from child abuse. Oh, my oh, God. Yes, yes, I do remember that. Yes, Mario. Yeah. And I was only calling because I wanted to give uh, Lummy my information for the guys that call in. You know, I'm completely blind as well. I have a son I raise on my own. I have three houses. I work full-time. So I just wanted to give Lummy my Mario, information. Cause- Mario, listen, there's both sides. I mean, blindness has, you know... The, the pimp-ass spectrum, and then they have that, you know, Justin from Charles. Man, you're on the pimp-ass spectrum of blind people, my man. I mean, I, this guy's I like the Elon Musk. This guy's like, them. man, I can fully function and get and be a very successful guy being blind, including finding your show. You might be the most successful blind guy that listens to the show, Mario. <laughs> you might be I blind guy number one. To, to help your guys out if they wanted help. All right, bud. Let me uh, let me put you on hold, right. okay? But, but well, how? Like, how? Yeah, how? Like, well, what yeah. are you offering them? Yeah, what are you offering them? Thanks, Dan. Well, just trying, trying to be a whole nice. bunch of technology for people that are blind that, you know, it's free. If they oh, have an oh. iPhone, they can use voiceover. Please, Dan, he might, know, he may know various apps and software for, like, this, the blind community that we're not aware of. And services, right. Right. Yeah, it's like Blind Troy without the scams. The blind person can't do is drive. Otherwise, they can do everything. This is like, Unless they use it as an excuse, then they won't do anything. So fantastic. it's up to them. Okay, okay Mario, we got you. Don't get abrasive. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> slow, slow down a little bit, buddy. Okay. So angry. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get more. I'm, you're, wait, you're scaring me. Okay, I'm a little. Wo- I'm trying to get a little more woked out nowadays. Trying to be a little bit more of a pussy. Hold on a second, no, no. please. Let me. Whatever. Whatever that nonsense is all about. Take Absolutely. care of it for me, will you? Worn out. Just taking phone calls. So, on what did you do this weekend? I had a great weekend. Did you? I had a very measured uh, little brunch get-together deal with some girlfriends. What day was that? Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it was feet from where I used to stay with Blitz. So, I'm like, really? I just moved across like <laughs> 40 minutes away and it's going to be right where I used to live. But anyways, it was it was, it was was awesome. It was at Armature Works. And then um, came back and... That was Sunday, but how about Friday, Saturday? Oh, Friday was, I don't know. I just ate Dan's cake and pretty much went to bed. I think, <laughs> and that, by the way, that was Dan's birthday. Yeah. But I think all of us, like Friday, I didn't do, I didn't have. I was bad. I was supposed to go to the gym. I didn't do nothing. Me too. I was going to go to the gym after the show because I, I had some stupid excuse mm-hmm. and I didn't go. And I just laid down. I just, just ate and took pills and I can't even remember Friday. Yep. I did was like after the show I was non productive. Like I you know, I could have been dead for all I know. I did nothing. Dan, I think you I think you Friday was your birthday. Yes. And what did you do? We went out to dinner, Cafe Paradiso. It's a little Italian place Ooh. on uh, you, you and the family? Yes. Now when when you and the family go out to dinner on your birthday, like do you get a cake? Do you guys go back like, you know, 
Like, I, like you know, when you go out for little Danny's birthday, I'm sure that maybe there you got a cake back at the house. And, you yeah, know, we had a little cake at the house. Um, we just had, like, a, a normal dinner there. I, you know, made it very clear that I didn't want anyone singing happy birthday to right. me at the restaurant. I, and see, I hate that. Do you that. mean that, though? Yes. No, I do mean that. Because okay. they sang to the table next to us. And yeah. you did not. And I said, I said to the owner, I'm like, you, if you sing, I'm not paying. <laughs> you got a food tower? Give you a tower. No. They don't have that there. I no. hate that. And it's so Applebee's. It's so 80s. You know, like, come up and say, listen, man, I, I don't even. The only reason I'm here is because of my birthday. So we don't have to make some stupid ass song where your servers gather around and are judging me anyway because it's stupid. They're like, man, this guy, 57 years old, wants everybody knows his birthday. What a narcissistic mother effer. As they're singing the song. Mm. Uh-uh. I just no, want I to it. just ha- do my dinner Please. and leave me alone. Yep. Thanks. If right. you want to take, you know, 10% off the bill for our birthday, Willie, hey, that's yeah. great. You know, big deal. Yeah. Maybe okay. even comp. Okay, whatever. It's my birthday, bitch. Papa loves fun. Give me a dessert. Talk to your mind. Yeah, usually they throw that in. My mom embarrassed me so much on, on, on Saturday night. How? Oh, my God. I, I'll have to get into that. Because I spent all day Saturday with her. Nice. And, uh, no, you didn't. Well, no, a- after your deal. Believe, believe me, I got a lot to talk about. I mean, what's the score on, on the goods and the bads around here today? Uh, currently, you have oh, hold one. Hold on. What, what now? You have one GD. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anna has two pops. Woo. And uh, Dr. Dandiaco has two fall on your faces. Right. <laughs> do you have, do you have if, if I was. This is like diving, <clears throat> judging. I mean, it's so subjective. Shut up, Dan. That's why, do we, that's do why we have I was any, a diver. Do, do we have any Bubba tells you to <laughs> shut up? Make out a new category, okay? <laughs> Bubba flat out tells you to shut up. I mean, you know, you got to be like spewing some stupidity over there, some toxic stupidity over there uh, if I tell you to shut up. So let me a new category. All right. Let me, before I go into words, if I would just happen to be able to see how well your record keeping is with all your new trapper keepers. By the way, you fans out there, stop sending <laughs> trapper keepers. We're, we're, we're set. We're, yeah. We have a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot of variety. Please. <laughs> um, we only need probably three. One and two backups. Like, that's it. And I bet you we got everybody's. I mean, my God. I'm donating. Got five. My, yeah. Please. No more trapper keepers. But let me, if I was to revert to you, let me see. What was the uh, official good and bad score? Yes. I don't even know. We have to come on, up with a name for the whole thing. Like, I, you know, the, the whatever sheet or, you know, the show sheet, you know. Yeah, the show count, show count. Yeah, what were the? What was the? Yeah, the what, scoreboard. What was? Yeah, the show scoreboard. There you go. You know what? That that's give Dan a pop for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good job, Doctor. The show scoreboard. I like it. Thank you, Dan. So, Lummy, do you have Fridays? Like, if I would just say, "Hey, Lummy, give me Friday scoreboard." You got it. Yeah. Like on hand, ready to go right now. Yes. All right, then give it to me. Uh, Bubba had two GDs. Anna had one GD. B. No, you had a GD. I did. Yes. Mm. D. Uh, one GB for Anna. Fall on your face. Dan had one. You took one away because it was his birthday. His birthday. Uh, <laughs> and Rhett had one pop. Really? And Anna had a mess up, mess up or piss off Bubba. Really? Yes. I don't recall that. Listen. I, don't. You know what? You, you don't question the scorecard. Oh. Okay. Yep. Lummy. That don't question the scorecard. Scoreboard. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I was going to say, let me get ready to give her a mess up for that. Oh, okay. But don't, don't. Okay. She's on mess up notice. Got it. All right? All right. Okay. It's quite painful to listen. Children love. Home of the love sponge. The perfect combination of entertainment and education. Yes, it's quite painful to listen until the medication kicks in. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Action! I got to call in at nine. Yeah. Why did you I think the, the, guy, the guy's got it set up. Uh, you were here for that, right? The guy, Chad, they had there was like a podcast. Yeah, I think that was on Brian's side. Are we Zooming him or ch- are just calling him yeah, the he's phone? He's just going to call. I gave him the hotline All number. Right. Cool. Hopefully he remembers, but I'll email him. Oh, he's remembering. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he's watching right now. Let I me mean, give me a one sheet like I told you. If you're watching, email me. Who knows what? Good hey, Fabrizi lost six roofing crews. You have a little info on them? Told you. Fabrizi lost six roofing crews to Pennsylvania. In the last few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. I told you. I'm not lying. 
I bet you go to Home Depot, that little crowd of people working. It's just so more, what's the know? rule that they're mad about? That's if your company is over 25, 25 people, you have to use an AE Verify, which they've always had that rule, but they're enforcing it now. If your company is 24, you could have 23 illegal immigrants. It's just if your company is over 25, you have to verify that they have a, they have a license and they're allowed to be here. But Bob, that rule is so complicated that the Mexicans are just leaving. They don't understand that rule. Man, I wish I would have been on the air. You would have got a pop for that, Danny. Danny, you got your rehab over here. Don't forget. Okay, thank you. You need one? I got one now, but I need one a little bit. Yeah, let me get it. I got one now. But it, I'm not fucking schlepping them. You have to physically come back here and get it, okay? I'm not your, I'm not your goddamn drive through okay? <laughs> you come in here and just grab it. Fucking keep your hands off anything. Don't get fucking crazy. This, 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 this yes. And then if I'll go in the other direction. Now, one thing you're going to have to be careful of, because it will eventually happen. So that'll be a big problem. Yeah, so no. You know, if you don't shut this gently, right, you'll we'll sign up fine. there. All right, well, it'll eventually I, uh, kick out, hit us in the head. Oh, sure. So just, just, be, to just okay. be mindful of that sign. I want that to happen. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank no, you. Motherfucker. No problem. Do um, it. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I really don't have much of anything. We got to talk about our bike and yeah, our pickleballing. That was fun. I think it's should do it. Are you guys full on had like a date this weekend? Yeah, we had a good time. Good. You'll see you after Game three times. What? No, what? I think it's even worse now because. Oh, is it getting divorced now? No, he's at the Home Depot. It's like even worse now. Oh, is it? Because like you, you pulled Do you know that we're actually you pick up two of them. Are you just So a lot of people are sitting there now. It's a cruise. Do you know if you're actually Mexican? Who? Like the workers. No. It, it was like all Mexico Guatemala. back in the day. Or I know, but like, is it, are they Mexicans or like, are they Guatemalans or? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> I, I have this one guy in Perusia uh, that I, I always call him Mexican. He's Honduras, Honduras. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know that. Where are they from? Honduras and Puerto Rico. Say again. Pardon? Guatemala? Yeah, I'm going to be Guatemala. Probably. Guy, I know the one guy is Honduras. Oh, I'm from Honduras. El Salvador, MS-13 Willie. Uh, that big fat guy might have been. Do you want me to just Salvador. send you their YouTube? This is all the information I pretty much have about them. Who's them? The podcast that Boa picked up about oh. the guy talking about. I'll send it to you one day. I guess just the about. Oh my god. Are you gonna call you the police? Oh, Have you been to Steelbach at Armature Works? Oh. Steelbach at Armature Works? What is it? It's really good restaurant. It's a steakhouse on the bottom floor. Yeah. Has it been the same name forever? Yeah. That have. So was that? Outside of most of it. it was really, really, really nice. Yeah, I, did the I, I got a vegetarian dish. It was fucking amazing. I can't. On the back. My dog walks around. I was going for it. The vegetarian stuff. It was fucking great. So you had your brunch? Yeah. I it can't. It was very measured. I just had one drink. Drove home. Didn't even recognize it. That's where I go. Kick. Yes, we are a chat. Bitch. And then we had a little get together for Melissa's well, mom's birthday, but then she was sick, so we just had to get together with her. Really? That's well, we saw all this food and baked, baked the cake, so we're like, fuck, what do we do? <laughs> so, she's in it? Yeah. Did you have a Zoom? She, well, she, we FaceTimed her, but she didn't want to answer because she felt like shit. She wanted to be on camera, so we had to like, call her and we sang her happy birthday and then ate her cake. And <laughs> then we just fucked so, up. <laughs> his brother bought all this food, I baked the cakes, so we're like, fuck, let's just still do it. How many got a rumble on me? You're currently eight thirteen. Yep. Much blow, isn't it? Your rumble had a little bit of issues this morning. It froze up for a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'm on. I'm on the tubes right now. So it had to get refreshed. That she should have foot every time it happens. You lose four, five hundred. Or some go to kick. Or some just don't refresh it. So we fucked ourselves. Well, that was rumble's problem. Rumble fucked it. I'm surprised at how unstable Rumble has been. You know, I thought it was a little more of a reliable platform. I said 
Yeah, I thought that the back end was a little better than it is. I think sure. they I think they shot themselves in the foot when they had uh, Crowder. And now Bongino goes live, so I think it really bogged down their shit. I don't think they were expecting that. Man, Kick's always good as fuck. Yep. Kick always is and YouTube. faster, too. YouTube and Kick. It's more, it's more like, contemporaneous. <laughs> Do you like me? All gimmicks, willies, joneses, McGillicuddy's, shenanigans, hickeys, and bamboozles are property of Bubba the Love Sponge Enterprises. Great success! All violations will be dealt with swiftly and painfully. Ah! You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. High five! I thought we just had this one. We just, that's just what we opened the whole damn show up with, didn't we? Just the cool it now deal? Yes, we did. We gotta cool it again. Still too hot. I think this is the one, yeah. Yeah, we all know. I mean, literally. <laughs> yeah. I, I only, I only, you know the royalty free songs by art. We, we do. Yeah. I only got, like, I, like, I got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, like, uh, I got like nine discs, and they all kind of sound alike. They're solid jams. And it's, they're, it's impossible to find royalty free music that's really royalty free. Even the ones that are on the YouTube one, they give you, so you can still get a strike on. Yeah, even the ones that they say, here, uh, and here's some royalty-free stuff for you to use, sanctioned by us. Psych. And then you then you download them, and be like, I should have no problems. <laughs> <laughs> strike. Copyright strike. Yeah. <clears throat> Got to get a ver- verification on a request with a yippio. And then, you know, the two, take the, for the two days for them to clear it up, the majority of the people that would have watched your particular content are now gone. Because, you know, nobody wanted to watch anything from three days ago. God forbid. And then, uh, you know, you already shot your load. Now you don't get paid. Mm. The ins and outs of being an influencer, streamer, slash jobbers like we are. Hello. <laughs> Bubba, it's Fran the Quad. What's up, Fran in the Quad? How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Well, I, I was just... Let me, we got, let me, we got to get that, that... We got both batteries. We yes. got two. We got two batteries. And so let me, I mean, can we get it? Aren't we supposed to take it somewhere or something? Yeah, there's that storage over at USF. All right, will you get that handle for me? Will do. Okay, thanks. Including, I mean, you and Rhett may have to put it in the back of your pickup truck or something. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'll try to schedule it with Rhett too. To can, you make sure there's, can you make sure your pickup truck's clean in the back? Because usually there's like, it would really mess it. It would, it would mess up anything that's nice if you put it in the back of your, at your tailgate because it would just get dirt and palm trees and... Just, you know, sometimes you're back, you don't keep your, your tailgate very clean. Yeah. I, oh, what do you mean, Bob? That thing's immaculate like at you, all times. Hold on. You can, like, look. Okay, hold on. You can look at my truck, and my tailgate area is, like, you know, clean. Like a, maybe a toolbox. <clears throat> yeah. Well, yeah. La- last time I looked, uh, there may or may not have had, you know, that truck bed may or may not have its own ecosystem. I mean, there was a tree yeah, growing. It's, got, it's yeah. got DNA. Yeah. He's yeah. Grown, like, literally, he's growing tomatoes back there. <laughs> That's he's got a little mini garden. Little he's, got, he's got a little. He's got a little mini garden down there. Yeah, it works out. And, and the and the alcohol bottles they they add they uh, ferment, you know, f- ferment vinegar. into <laughs> they, fer- they ferment into fertilization and everything. So let me can we get Brandon the Quad? Because I got to get that thing fixed. Yep. All right. Thanks. No problem. Brandon the Quad. What, make sure you do that now, Lummy. It's Brandon's very important. On the phone. I will. I'm not going to forget about it. I'm going to ask yeah. in a few days where we stand on that. Okay. It's, no it's, problem. It's, hello. Well, uh, I wonder the the Lone Star concert at like you know this weekend. What? And it was uh, I, I I went to the Lone Star concert at my local casinos this weekend, and my mom was wearing her Bubba Army sh- tank top, and we and they asked they asked if, if you were still around, so we gave some people some stickers. Oh, so let me see. Through all that, I think I can decipher this, and because I speak Brandon of the Quad, you wouldn't believe. I mean, nobody speaks Brandon of the Quad better than me. Brandon the Quad and his mom went to some casino this past Friday, mm-hmm. and she oh, had Saturday. Sorry, yeah. sorry. <clears throat> and uh, she had her new Bubble Army uh, Razorback Yippio Hot uh, uh, Bubble Army female tank top that's available at BubbleArmyMerch dot com. And somebody stopped a bunch of people, a few people at least, nonetheless stopped Brandon the Quad and said, "Mother," and asked, "Where the hell?" Uh, can I? Can I? How can I get Bubba? Is he still on the air? Is he still around? Did he die? Did he? Is he in federal prison? You know, those those are probably would be the two options, right, Dan? That if if I wasn't on the air, 
I'm either died or I'm in federal prison. Yeah, those are two I mean, of the options. I don't know if those are the only options. I mean, I could. St- I mean, other I could stay on the air. Otherwise, like somehow, the only two things that could keep me off the air somewhere, right? Whether it's you know, I just did it live on BubbaArmyRadio.com. Like you know, let's say you know. We lost. We we got. We did some kind of show. You and I did some kind of show about transsexual girls or something, hmm. and uh, we got canceled from everywhere. Like everybody canceled us, <laughs> right. right? Like like we're, we're like Alex. Jo- it's Bubba Alex Jones, mm-hmm. and we have to do our own thing. I still think I could do my own thing with just Bubba Army Radio. Maybe add a visual content a comp- component to that, and I think that I could be. I could still be on the air. I really do. You probably could, yeah. But. Two things that would keep me off the air would be, and the only two things that I think, you know, that I would not be in a situation where I could could not make it to a studio would be either I died or I got put in prison. Right. Other than that, I'd gonna I'd be able to do a show. Where I'm mean, even if I got in, got double amputate, like I got in a really bad wreck and I was a quadriplegic, I could still probably wheelchair it up here and and talk on the microphone and maybe even I got lost my arms too so I can't run the board. The, the guy uh, pl- from Def Leppard played uh drums, yeah, you know, arm, with one yeah. arm. If I got one arm I'm running the board. If I don't have any then I'll just let Anna r- run the board and yeah, I'll come knows. under and spiel it up. Right, right, right. As long as you don't get your tongue cut out. Yeah, like so as long as I don't get my you know, voice wired. voice somehow my voice my voice box Cancer. cancer. Like, oh, you know, that would suck. Oh, like, like this. Oh, yes, that Bubba. might be better than this. I mean, people be like, man, Bubba has now got a voice box. Poor guy. That's right. I used to be Bubba Love Sponge. Now I got a voice box. <laughs> <laughs> or like if I was like a four, you know, like say, Dan, I was just a stump. I got in a real bad car wreck and I got my arms and my legs cut off, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm just stumped out. And you just guys got me, if you guys just propped me up there. With just my body and my head, mm-hmm. be like, "Hey, it's Bubba the Love Stump," st- and um, <laughs> the love stump. The love stump. used to be Bubba the Love Sponge. Now it's Bubba the, the Love, love stump. stump. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still going to be able to give you a good show. And you know, my mind, as long as my, as long as I don't, Dan, I can, uh, my mind, you know, right. because of my personality, or you know, I can't mm-hmm. talk. Or yeah, you if know, you lose your mind, you can, I most become, you can do is be president, and after that, it's, oh, you're yeah. done. Hey. Bubba, I've lost my mind. I don't know any. I do not know anything about radio. I could not be funny. I cannot entertain. But you I need think to I go to be, politics. <laughs> I put me into pulpit immediately, bitch. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm Pottis. I'll be Pottis fifty, whatever the hell it's called. Pottis, <clears throat> whatever. So anyway, uh, Brandon the Quad. Who are these two? Who are? How many of these fine people did you see? I saw you the picture of them. Oh, where, you get to resend it's it. A, it's on your screen now. Isn't that it? No. Where is on my it's, screen now? As I see my name in the picture with the beer ca- the beer cans behind that. Uh, Behind your browser, behind the window. What? Behind the Granger yeah, window, there's a giant picture. Can see it, yeah. Where, where? Look at it on your screen. It's on the screen. that's behind your head. No, oh. it's behind the Granger window. Yeah. On your computer, there's a giant picture. Oh. Okay. Listen, guys. Water bottle. It was. Don't sit here and act like um some feeble old. F that couldn't figure out what you were talking. You guys were talking some code there. Even Dan didn't even know what you were talking about. Uh, I used to play first base when I was a kid. I'm just say, allow me another fall on your face immediately. <laughs> All right, so you were at this event. Yeah. This, this doesn't yeah, look like yeah. a, this doesn't look like an inside the casino event. No, it was outside. Oh, was it like a rodeo or a honky? No, it was. It was the band Lone Star, the country band. Oh, the Lone Star. And so you went there. Yeah. Now these people here. Now, Brandon, you just didn't get a couple hot bitches to say, "Pay, no. you know, um, please feel sorry no, for me because no, I'm in a wheelchair, and um, will you please no, hold no, these no, bumper no. stickers up so I can send them to my favorite radio guy, no, no. and he's gonna look like um, you know, he's more real because he's really. Uh, you guys have no idea who he is, but uh, it'll really boost him up. No, they they recognized him as that OnlyFans star. Oh my god! Give give no, him I'm a fall. Give Rad a fall on your face, sir, immediately. <laughs> So now, did, now, now, Brandon the Quad, tell me how this interaction amongst these people how it worked. Because my because my mom was wearing her shirt and, and we were just walking to our seats and so. And so your mom's wearing her Bubba Army cool ass tank top. And which of these you know six people said, "Hey, uh, hot bitch with a kid in a wheelchair"? Well, what about Bubba? You, you where? What's Bubba? Is that Bubba the Love Sponge? You know Tyler Clem. So how did it, how did it go down? Which person said uh-huh. which person said what? The, the, the tall guy. The tall guy. 
tall guy? guy? With black hair. The tall guy with the cheek behind the guy with probably the cheek with black hair. The right. guy in the green shirt, I think the guy, it is. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, we are experts at uh, Brand of the Quad with a bad cellular service uh, mm-hmm. call. Uh, we're, we're, te- we're great yeah. at that. Um, the guy with the green shirt uh, behind yeah. the, yeah, the tallest guy there is the one that said to your mom. And what did he say? What 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 was his first he, things that he said? Because he used to live in Tampa and then he moved to Iowa and he lost track of you. He used to live in Tampa and he moved to Iowa and he lost track with you of you. Yep. And then did you say, not, hey, by the way, on a nice Louis Vuitton backpack, huh? Look at that. That's nice. It's about twenty four hundred bucks right there. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that guy got some money. Oh, they're talking about yeah. my backpack. No, I'm talking about her. <laughs> look, at, like, look, look at that. I mean, that's that's if if you if you know Ugh. anything about. I know. I'm not trying. I'm, I'm just saying that's 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 a that's a twenty five hundred dollar backpack on her. I mean, she might have some money. That's what yep. I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to say, you know, that guy finds the show on her. They got a little money. Next thing you know, I got a John Castica on my hands. Right. <clears throat> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely. All, that's how this Ponzi. That's how this. That's how this Bubba um, uh, Epstein thing works. Please. Epstein. <laughs> no, how about Madoff. That, no, I'm t- no, Madoff. That's yeah. I don't want to be Epstein. Kids. I'm not having sex with fourteen year old chicks. But you understand. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba Madoff. That's how this Bubba Madoff deal thing works. Mm-hmm. And then if you go over twenty four hundred, we let you come to the party and get your big ass ring and you're officially Bubba on royalty. I like your leg tat- tattoo. I do too. I like everything about it. Especially if we got six new people and one chick's got a three thousand dollar backpack. Hell I, yeah! I mean, that's Danny. That's good for business, right there. Show is Brandon the quad. So he then. So you, who tells them? Who, you who? What do you tell the big guy on how you can hear us? This would be oh, good. Well, this would be good. Well, I said, well, I got, well, I got some, I got some stickers in my bag, and just, just. The QR code. There you go. See, we made it easy for guys like you that can't really describe the cumbersome way to find us. You just whip yep. out the QR code and a QR code Willie's. Brilliant, my yep. friend. God dang, yep. Brandon the Quad. Yep. The, the only the only thing I keep myself on is I didn't have my, my mom in the picture with her shirt on. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't quite pick that one up. <laughs> yeah. sorry, are you sorry that his mom wasn't in the picture oh. so you could see her shirt? See, Lummy's been a little sharper on, you know. Mm-hmm. Lummy's a... Yeah. Translating. Yeah, he's a little sharper. Yep. The deal. Yep. And then Brandon goes, yep, yep. yep. All right, Brandon. Well, listen, man. Thank you. It's great Bubba Army like you that, you know, promote yep. the brand. You know, Scout and Big Gulp as they're lesbian trucking across America. They're meeting truckers and giving out stickers and Greg and Amy and Buzzard Bob and just all the great... Bubba Army ambassadors out there that slowly grow the show, and we've and we have we've grown every year by at least twenty five percent every year well, since well, since, since two thousand eight eighteen we've grown twenty five to forty percent every year. Nice. So, buy a yep. bunch of before I go to California, and I'm gonna carry them to California with me. How many now? How many stickers do you have? Because I'll just have the merch crick send you some. Well, I have five, but I only have three left. All right, so the answer is I have two left. Yeah. And you're getting ready to go on a trip to California, right? Yeah, in July. And We're the, in and, Cali. And this, and, well, hold on. Before, uh, Jesus. Right, how about an interruption? Interrupt, I just interrupt. want to know. Let me make a new category <laughs> called interrupting Bubba's uh, uh, flow. Uh, flow. Yeah, Sorry. there you go. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. How, you know, I, I get distracted so many Dennis times. Speech. I'm finally on. And then he answers your question. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. But did, uh, listen, I want to get I want to get stickers to this guy because this is the kind of guy. He's a chick that, magnet. That go. He's a, one. He's a chick magnet. Absolutely. And two, you know, I mean, he's just everybody loves him. It's like bringing your puppy to the park. Yeah. I mean, exactly. He's a, he's he is basically oh, uh, a grown a man puppy. <laughs> so and so and he loves the show. He's you know I mean what I mean Brandon. If there's one guy in the world. That should love the show more than anything in the like. I mean, we have great listeners. We have you know the big reds and the iggies and the Wizzies and the creatines and the Mitch to marks. We got, you know, we got the great, and then love me. We got the council, right? Yes, we do. But I mean, we we Brandon the quad, and and they all like the show and they're all loyal to the show. But Brandon the quad not only likes the show, but we got him laid like, multiple this, times. This man. Is you know 
God or whoever has dealt him not a very sexual hand. <laughs> Meaning, you know, in life, you know, yeah. God had just, whoever, in life, Brandon, you're not set up to just naturally be able to plow chicks. You know what I'm saying? A lot of most, yeah, sure. just, you, it's it's a real small portion of the female population that wants to have sex with a quadriplegic in a wheelchair. I'm just saying, and that yeah. let's be honest, Brandon, you've put on a few pounds a little bit lately too. I mean, <laughs> oh I mean I'm just saying, Brandon, <laughs> you're not. I He's mean, Brandon, on the I mean, Brandon, I mean, Brandon, yeah. come on, buddy. I mean, burn a yeah. time out, man. I mean, you, you're, you're, <laughs> I mean, you need to. I love I mean, the way guys can talk to each other. I, I mean. Like I I'm can't just, be like Rhonda. You got to burn a timeout on the deal. But hold on, Anna. Like that's what. Like if 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 I got up to three forty, Dan would take me aside and and I mean she I just tell you on the air you're fat. Well, he would, but but like you know, Tom Bean or you know somebody who loves. I would take you aside yeah. and I would quietly and privately tell you like Bubba, come on, dude. Right. Take yeah. a timeout. <laughs> burn a timeout. <laughs> timeout on the like, deal. Like like we were like like honest to God, like we were with your smoking, right? We were mm -hmm. like, come on, Dan. Mm -hmm. Well, does it is it hard for your mom to help you when you're all heavy? Well, I mean, she got to get a crane. I don't know, but what I'm saying, Brandon, Brandon wait, uh, Dan, <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Dan, what? what? He's, we're not talking about going to the gym. We're just talking about eating less. Less. I mean, he can naturally lose weight. But if I'm he saying, just, if his mom helps him like in bed and helps him with you know get into a wheelchair and with transfers, if he's 30, 40 pounds heavier than he should be, it's going to be a hell of a lot harder for oh, his mom. You're just it's talking about, I'm sorry, you were just yeah. talking about just wrestling him around in general. I thought you were saying she yeah. needed to take him to the gym. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like she helps yeah. him throughout the day, gets I mean, him think, dressed think and cleans this. him. It's yeah. harder for her. She's being mama. inconsiderate yeah. to mama. Yeah, if the fatter you get, the, the harder the, the, the it is, is on your poor yeah. mom. Your mom could have. Dick. I mean, you. I mean, Jesus, Brandon. You, you know what, bitch? You better get. I mean, you better lose some weight. It's not fair to his mom. Well, he's a carpenter. Hundred dollars on the Venmo. She throws Huns. Well, Listen, well, it should well, be Melissa Benjamin Franklin, uh, a carpenter. It's always a hundred dollar bill from her. God bless. Love her. I can't uh, wait to see her. So listen, Brandon, well, I feel sorry for you, and you're a quadriplegic, we know you're in your wheelchair, and we know you're the best listener in the entire world, and that you love us, and we get you laid, and you were never, I mean, Brandon, you were never going to get laid without us, let's just be honest. That's true. No, but I mean, like, and you don't have girls walk, so, oh my God, you're a, you're a quadriplegic in a wheelchair that's 50 pounds heavy, I want to have sex with you immediately. There's just nobody out there. So we get you laid. Twice. So now, uh, yeah, every year, and it gets kinkier every year. First year, it was just one, you know, Caitlin Hatley, just boot, straight on, you know, whatever. And it lasted a couple hours. Last year, we got one of Caitlin Hatley's friends, this little hot Mexican chick. It was a threesome. And, and, and yeah, this hot Mexican yeah. chick. What was her name? Micha. 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 You had a threesome. Like, I mean, there's, you know, I mean, men that are able bodied and are good looking that'll die without ever having a threesome. That's like a very, very. You know, right, Dan, there's a lot of men. Oh, very will, small percentage of the world. Yeah. That are pimps like me and Dan mm. and have multiple threesomes. Please. What are you talking about? Oh, and so, <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, we got you a threesome. Now, this year, we got you the threesome plus maybe a little bisexual action with uh, with with Mario. Mario. Or, or whatever. Lupe. With Lupe. What the hell? I'm sorry. Well, I'm not, you know, I, I say it for you so that you correct me then it's double brand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got now. you. Right. So, I mean, Brandon, there's no, there's like, Brandon, we are like, we are, we, me, Bob of the Love Sponge, I am like your life power ball. I mean, for real. Right? I mean, listen, if you're not going to be rich, at least there's one thing as a man, if you can't be rich. What what is the one thing as a man in, on your all time life bucket list? If you're a, it is what isn't it like? If you're really wired as a man, it 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 is to I would before I die like to have vaginal intercourse. Yeah. Right F yeah. get laid, right? Yeah. I mean Dan, that and, and it's basic. You know, at the basics of all man's bucket lists. Not only is to get right. I mean, you can masturbate forty times a day, but it's not like the yeah, it's real a bucket. It's, right? It's, it's not like the real thing. Like you know, like like being yeah, a virgin all yeah, of your life nothing, is nothing, like the no. worst. There's nothing like the real yeah. vagina. Right. So and you they're know, all different. And and we, I mean, we, me, 
I'm the one that yep. not only facilitated it one, but on an annual basis, and I make it and somehow get it freakier every year so that when you die, you're not going to say, I just got laid by a girl. You're going to be able to say, well, let me tell you about, I had a threesome one time, I had a threesome with her husband one yeah, time, it's like I had an a ass annuity. donkey in there, exactly. you know, next year maybe we'll put a donkey in there or exactly. something. Exactly, goat. I mean, you know. Uh, maybe maybe oh. some hermaphrodites or something. I mean, something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The unicorn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's do a hermaphrodite. Yeah, let's whatever. Do her- I don't think we can call him that. Absolutely do a hermaphrodite. No, well, don't I mean, think we you know can how to use that word? Okay, easy. I don't think. You can't use that word? I don't know. I think it's, it's derogatory, but I could be a wrong. Hermaphrodite? So, uh, no, no, derogatory no, word? On. It can't be a derogatory. No, no, no. Hold on. It can't be a drug. It, it can't be a derogatory word because it's a. It's clinically a medical. I think it's intersex is the word. No, no, no. I think <sighs> clinically, Dan. Clinically. Yes. A true as, hermaphrodite. Sh- let me right. answer my question. Right. Clinically. If you're dealing with a person of in that situation that exists as that has that condition, which mm. is you know male and female genitalia right. on top of each Mixed other, genitalia. what does the medical community write on the chart that they are? Hermaphrodite. No, I'm, I'm asking. Hermaphrodite. Yeah, that's what medically they're called. Yep. So you cannot. We're not speaking derog- derogatorily towards those people. No, I didn't we're say only we're only clinical. saying clinically what those type of people mm-hmm. in those conditions are mm-hmm. called. That's it. Mm-hmm. Now that gets me canceled. Then I please, I'm worse than Bud Light, bitch. <laughs> so anyway, Brandon, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Merch Crick's got your uh, your information. I'm gonna get you like you know twenty or thirty or forty of these bumper stickers, and I want you documenting. Maybe you could videotape these these little, you know, we could have it like we could put it up on the YouTube, Brandon across America promoting, you know, Bubba Army. And then we see like a video of you going, you know, like, you know, going through the whole spiel. And, t- and then you do know, also maybe, Brandon, as you're talking to these people, tell them Bubba's since they have, you know, obviously, if they're familiar with this, they'll know that we do certain things. You can tell them. And a new feature on the show is that every barp I get, he gets me, you know, I've. It's me, a uh, sex. Don't have, worry, I told him that anyway. Yeah, and you can go to his OnlyFans account and watch my yeah. my whew, Brandon. I got to tell you something, can I, and I'm going to be honest with you. We can just drop yeah. all the BS. And yeah. Anna, I know you're with me on this. It, don't 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 drag me in this until I know what it is. Yeah. Man, I watch. Well, I, know what I, it is. I watch. I, know what it is. I watch some of your footage, buddy, and I'm like, oh my god, whoa, whoa. <laughs> It's really interesting. Isn't it's it? there, you know what? That's right. You know what? Very interesting. I think that's the best way yeah, to I'll describe it. Yeah, I'll co-sign on that. And yeah. so, I mean, that's what you proclaim it, and I and I triple co-sign, fourple co-sign, fifple. Yeah. Whew, interesting. <laughs> it's I wouldn't say it's like this, watching the National it, Geographic channel. It, it, I mean, no, is it that interesting? It's it's, it's cringy, uh, cringy. Interesting. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I mean, right? I mean, it's kind of cringe, yeah. wouldn't you think, Bud? I think it's beautiful. But the. I think it's beautiful because, like, it's so liberating and free that a man that is in this condition just says, F it. I'm going to not only am I going to, you know, have sex, but I'm going to videotape it and own it like the pimp that I am. Yeah, I got a little elevator button penis. Who cares? (laughs) I don't care, bitch. I I look at it all you want. I'm in the I'm I'm having the time of my life. I'm living my life. There you go, Brandon. Listen, I'll get you some bumper stickers, okay? You're, you're, in, a, you're in a bad cell zone there at the house, okay? Yeah. Lose some weight for your mom's sake. Hey, yeah. Get on a diet, Brandon. Help your mom make your mom's it's life gonna easier. Make you, Brandon, if you if you lost 40 pounds because you ate more responsible, then how it would be easier for your mom to wing you around. Well, and I, also, yeah, your penis is going to look bigger for next year's shoot. Yep. Well, don't you, hey, sure. don't you want next, you know, because we shoot it, you know, we do your little, we, yeah. we film it every year, and wouldn't it be nice if it looked a little bigger? I got to tell you, we can barely see it now, so we need to take off a few pounds so we can see that little wiener of yours. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I shave it down too, and I shave it down too now. Uh, Lummy, I'm going to have to refer to you on that one. I have no idea on that one. <laughs> He's looking for a person with one testicle and one ovary. No. I, oh, my God. Uh, another fall on your face or for Dan. <laughs> trying way too hard today, ladies and gentlemen. What, Brandon? What's the last thing? We got to go. What? Uh, well, I said I'd sit down now, too. Hmm? Uh, sit down. 
My mom shaved it for me. Oh, yeah. So oh, I, think, I, th- I think I find... No, 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 no. I think his mom shaved his his pubic region. Oh, awesome. Nice. I mean, is that right? Yes, sir. God, tell me I can't speak brand of the quad wow. better than any human being and known to man. Did she nick you at all? <laughs> no, no. There's nothing to nick. So listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. I you need Brandon. I got to go because we're way late. But, buddy, let's see if we can be, you know, let's see if we can try to lose a little weight, buddy, and make that penis look bigger for the shoot and help your poor mom. Your poor mama. I mean, she's been dealt. I mean, she. you've been this way. You've been this way for your, like, you were born this way. So she's had a 40-year sentence of having to deal with a very, very handicapped, you know, you have, you be, like, poor little things worn out. And having to lift 50 extra pounds because you're starting to really pack it on is really mean to your mom. She gave you life. Well, actually, I lost 20 pounds. No, you haven't. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to sit back all the way in, in the chair because I get all... Oh, it wasn't, it, wasn't a, it wasn't the pose that you're in, buddy. We saw your gut. Stop it. Let's just burn a time out and see if we can start being a little more responsible. Okay, buddy? That's all I ask. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I love you. I mean, that's how much I love you is that I want to give you some tough love. I, you know, it's not, I mean, I love you. I'm not trying to upset you or make fun of you. I just I just love you so much that I think that we have the relationship where I could be that candid with you, buddy. Yeah, don't worry. If I start to get too fat, my mom always calls me a fat ass. Okay. I think he said something about don't worry about it. My mom calls me a fat ass. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay. So anyway, listen. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm just trying to, you know, just be like your brother. Trying to help. I'm trying to be your bro. And, and, and. Well, you don't and, have to worry about that, buddy. I'm always going to love you. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's try to, you know, you know damn well, Brandon, that you eat a bunch of bad stuff, you know, and drink a lot. You know, you yeah. don't, I mean, listen, if you just sat there, you know, like a stump, like you do, and, <laughs> and, 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 you, and you ate 2,000 calories, Dan, his, his body, he would lose weight. I mean, like I think that the oh, two yeah. thousand, two thousand calorie diet is you, that is, you don't even have to even be active. Like it takes Depends more than on the person, but, but you know, or size. If you need two thousand or less, you know, Brandon, I'm sure that you EMR, would lose weight. Activity level, and you can. I mean, like you know, like what, like if you you go through, I'm sure you eat like crap, don't you? What do you? What do you? What do you? What's your usual day? Like, what do you have for breakfast? And it's time to be honest, Brandon. Don't lie. Beer. Well, well, I don't, well, I, well, I have a, well, I have a. Pudding with my pills. What? what? <laughs> you said pudding with his pills? All right. Oh, Brandon, nice. Brandon. A little, a little snack pack. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. They're going to roll it up eat? into a piece of cheese well, for I mean, you don't, you don't gain, Billy Madison? You don't, you don't gain 50 pounds, <laughs> Brandon. And you don't Boom. gain 50 or 60 pounds. You've probably gained what? <laughs> since, since BARP 1, how much, how much did you weigh at BARP 1? He said, "I don't take my weight very often. I would some something something stomach other yeah, something something." It, 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 was, right. There's a only a certain scale he can get on. All right. Well, anyway, Brand- Brandon, let's just try to be a little more responsible and lose a little bit of weight, okay, buddy? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Plus, it's going to make your wiener look bigger for the shoot, and going to be easier yeah. on your mom, and you're just going to look healthier. We want you to be, and we you know we don't want you to you know take a lick. We want you to be around. You're the best ambassador we got. Thank you, sir. And I, and I will do that. And trust me, trust me. My, my mom, she always tells me that, that you're the only one that I will just do it anyway. Uh, over to you, Lummy, for that one. Uh, I think uh, I said <laughs> I, I'm going to listen to you, and you're the only one my mom wants, or Perfect. something like that. It's like yeah. one of those brain building exercises. <laughs> 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 Put Rhett down for a pop, all right, immediately. All right, Brandon Quad, we got to go, okay? Lose some weight. Thank you, guys. Love you. Love you, too, buddy. Bye. Fish on Jay, 50 on the cash up. He's not part of the solution. He's part of the problem. It's Bubba the Love.
Good morning, Brother Shell. What did you do? What did you want to talk about? What's up, my little dirty kickers? All right, we've got about seven minutes to go. Hold on. Let me, let's get, get our heart tunes done. All right. I don't have any. Well, I don't, Bob, do you have any super beats up there? What? This, this super beat is empty. Do you have any more super beats up there? Here, coming your way, slinging fast. Just hold on, here it comes. Make your fucking, make sure you're looking for it. You ready? Uh huh. Because I will fucking throw out. It'll be Bubba Montana fucking dead on money. I can't uh, fucking... It's not going to be no Jordan Love. Oh, Bubba. Look, let me. Was it dead on? Dead on. But, I mean, Dan, was it dead on? The light was in my eye. Butterfinger Dan over there. The light in my eye. <clears throat> was it... Did, no, it was it... It was It wasn't it was your fault, Bubba. Fucking Dan. Dan. You know what? Don't love me. I'm going to probably have to wait till next break because they sent me some new copy. Okay. So... I gotta find that new copy. Is, uh, you know, Grant was just right there. Jerry Rice? No, uh, the tight end. Uh, no, uh, Where's the tight end? We missed it. The clerk? No, we did miss it, though. Oh, you did. What? Can you imagine? Oh, you don't, so you don't, you don't know what I'm talking about? No. Oh. Well, then. Man, the Rays are fucking jokers. So gigantic. They won two, they won two in a row against Red Sox. I know, but that first one, I was so fucking mad. Yeah. They fucking blew that game. That was the game I think uh, Lowe dropped the pop up for the two. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. They play tonight. Best pitcher, our best pitcher is going, so we should be good. Get out of there three straight. Good morning. One. Let me, I can't get I can't get anything to fucking print, let me. So I'm about to forward this email to you. Okay. Um, um it's from Dan it's uh the it's the um so it's, it's the human um the uh, disclaimer okay. co copy that I have to so I'll forward it to you. Okay. And if you can just print I I suck from cause my shit ain't printing. I'm dumb as fuck. No, but it's, it's the it's the wireless problem. It's your I Gmail. Mean. I sent it. It's a Gmail problem. Did you see um my my footer request? Yes. All? And and I and I uh, I'm working on those uh, the other stuff for Barb, and I took that one down. But you guys got to send me back an email. Oh well. See how you're, I'm gonna see how it looks with whatever fucking fancy title you're using. <sighs> Does everybody remember their fancy titles? Yes. What, what, what was yours? Vice, pre vice president. Of what? Vice, pre oh, vice president of all. Uh, no. Co-host is always first. Okay. Co-host is first. Okay. Then your bullshit. Okay. What was yours, Anna? I was uh, 
co-host and executive producer. Co-host and what? Executive producer. There you go. Chief executive producer. Sure. I like that. Whatever. Head, chief, president, executive. Who gives a fuck? What was Rat? Uh, fuck, video vice president of. Because <clears throat> we're not letting him be a. Oh, but all, he was like an on-air contributor. Yeah, remember? I, sure, I think it was on-air right, contributor. Right, bits the... calling in at nine. It confirmed. Like, okay. Right. Hold on. More we'll to go through. <laughs> Attention, attention, people of Earth. A big fat blip on corporate's radar screen. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. On today's after show will exclusively be a podcast. The only place that you'll find today's after show will be on your, wherever you go to get your podcast, whether it's Apple, iTunes, Spotify, it doesn't matter. Type in The Bubba Army and be a daily downloader. we got all kinds of good stuff. Exclusive. The, again, the show Mondays are exclusive. Can't find it anywhere else. And now we're going to start on Tuesdays, the Tuesday after show. And we're talking about the uh, uncensored show that we do uh, at about uh, 1020 to 1030 for at least an hour, sometimes longer. And it's just got, it's, it's kind of a different feel. Then, well, obviously, we can say and 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 do different things over there. Like we can say the F word, right, Lummy, and yeah. talk about T's and P's and C's. Be real, man. Yeah, be real. Whoa, Jesus God, what why'd you hell? do that to me? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Said, yeah, be real, man. Yeah, be real, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, at least it made you sound a little sexier. You had to kind of tone it down because you're afraid you're going to be hot. Yep. So, oh, nice. I mean, why is everybody calling us today? I got so many things to talk we about. We don't have to answer. Oh, that's all right. I'm going to put these things on hold. Nice. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the kind of guy, I'm the show guy, the, the talk show host that says, man, you can't stop. I don't need any phone calls. I don't need you to validate whatever stupid thing I'm throwing out there. I got my own stuff to talk about. My life in itself is what you want to hear about. Not, yeah, we need you to know. hear about your weekend. Yeah. We're almost in that sweet spot. I think yeah. we are in that sweet spot. 720. Sure, right then, sweet. I, and I got my immigration payoff as well. Excellent. So stop calling me on the phone, you mother efforts. And after this one, I'm putting it on hold. Hello. Hey. Yeah. I was just wanting to lend a, lend some hand, lend a hand to the guy who was having a problem with blindness and not getting disability. Oh. Um, what's uh? Are you so you're a bubble? You're bubble army. Uh, you know what's you your put, chronic you're, issue? You're in, the, you're in the bubble army disabled division, right? Yeah, I had yeah, the wound, for three the years. Oh God, I'm sorry. You had what? Cancer for three years. All right, okay. And cancer of of what? Of uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. And so you can't work, right? Yeah, I can't work. And every doctor I talk to says that I'm qualified, and they still denied me the first time. So I got a attorney, um, you know, like a firm in Pennsylvania who specializes in disability, and they don't care what state you're in. They'll do it as long as they get a percentage of your um, back pay. You don't have to pay them nothing until they get paid. Yeah, so it, how would a person that potentially is disabled that wants to work around the system, how would they get a hold of you, my friend? How would they get a hold of me? Um, yeah, like you're offering your assistance, right, to help people that potentially have been well, turned I down. Gonna, I was going to give him the, the name of the attorney, but I didn't want to do it with Dr. Dan on the thing because I know he's an attorney. But well, doc, hold on. Attorney. But Dr. Dan, that's a whole different space than Dr. Dan's in. Yeah, we're Dr. not getting Dan, people with disability than yeah. taking a cut of the action because no. that seems kind of unethical. Well, I, yeah, right. It does seem kind of <laughs> well, it, it they, seems kind of like uh, very unethical, the fact that, hey, uh, we're not going to charge you anything. But uh, I mean, but we're gonna get you know a twenty five percent vig on, on on your pay for the rest of your life or something yeah, like that. Sounds shameful. Sounds no, like they... no, 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 not the rest of your life. Just your settlement that they back paid you for three years. They'll get twenty five percent of that, and then you get your disabilities the rest of the time. Oh, okay. Um, so they get twenty five percent of any back pay you potentially 
uh, may have, and then they get nothing moving forward. It's got like a workman's comp firm. To, well, to me, Dan, right. uh, to me, Dan, it, you know, that's a pretty good deal. If you can give me twenty five percent of money that I thought was never going to get, and then get me free money moving forward, and you get nothing of it, I'll take. That's not a bad deal. I'll get, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that deal all day, man. Right? You're getting. I'm keep. I'm getting seventy five percent of money that I didn't know I was going to get. Right. And then moving forward, I get the money I was supposed to get. Hell yeah. Yeah. So. I'll, I'll give you the number, or uh, not the number, I don't know it, but Dude, I know what's the, the, fir- what's, the what's the firm's name? Tell us. It's Ross, Quinn, and Ploppert. P-L-O-P-P-E-R-T. I feel like it's a uh, just call Sal deal kind of, you know, feel. Yeah. <laughs> better call Sal. No, no, uh, no. They're, it's like they're a better call Sal good. deal going on. All right, no, listen. they answer it any time of the night. Sure they do. Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> How many people are laying around America right now that wants to be able to hire a firm for free and see if they can get qualified for the rest of their life free money? Please. They, they, they probably have a, I don't know, a skyscraper full of people answering the phone. Mm. <laughs> I went and saw, I hey, I went and saw, listen, I got to go. Appreciate it. Hey. Um, and then I'm putting everybody else on hold. <laughs> uh, Dan, one, I don't know, five years ago, I saw the Morgan and Morgan call center. Like he actually, they have a physical call center. Oh. in Orlando, and when I was overseeing John Morgan, he, she, he said, I, I go, hey, when people call, you know, for the people.com or whatever, you know, like, where's the guy? He goes, two floors down. You went, and I went down, and, and there was this whole entire floor, Dan, of an entire skyscraper in Orlando. Pretty much just calls? Yeah, there was probably 200, uh, oh my God. probably 150 girls and guys, call centers, the phone's ringing like it was a Jerry Lewis telethon nonstop, and then they pre-qualify you, you know, as, you know, they, mm-hmm. they take all your information down, and then they give it to their supervisor, and then their supervisor determines whether it's going to be something that one of the attorneys call them back on, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then you get one of the junior, junior Willie. It's a real machine, isn't it? You know, and listen, so you so listen to this. I, I, I learned how the machine works. So then, once the supervisor gives it to... Uh, the uh, the go ahead. Then a uh, case manager looks at it, and then gives it to a ju- junior attorney. And the junior attorney starts the process, and then gets another level attorney involved. And then the real big ones, like, hey, uh, I just got ran over by an Amazon truck, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, my whole entire family's uh, broke our legs. And the Amazon driver's right here. And the police officer said it's one hundred percent his fault. That one goes right to the Morgans. <laughs> right, but 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 ninety nine percent of the other calls are the other calls. Right, you know what uh, I'm saying that's one in a hundred case. No, no, you're right. But you know, you get okay. So out of a hundred calls, you probably get. I think Dan. I think I think that the number that John gave me is they get twenty qualifiers per hundred calls mm-hmm. that are qualified, mm-hmm. and then of that, about half of that is pretty good stuff. And about 10% of that's really great stuff. So that's one in a hundred. Yeah. Is really, really good stuff. Like seven figure stuff. Right. And, you know, but I mean, but the other stuff still, but they're still, get, but they're still get, hold on. They're getting 700 calls a day. Wow. Hello. Bubba? Yeah. Let me, what I, you, let me, wasn't I supposed to stop answering the calls? Yes. But you know. This is the last one. Okay. Yeah. And then remind me to do an X, okay? Right. Uh, busy them all out. Yes, sir. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. I'm uh, currently on SSI, and I just want to let the people know you do not need a lawyer to uh, file a claim. It's just turned into disability radio. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> um, well, uh, I, I, I lived in New Jersey, and mm. everywhere I went, they told me I need a lawyer. You need a lawyer. You need a lawyer to get your benefits that, uh, that you do. That you do. So I moved to another state, and the city that I moved to, they actually had a person that worked for the city that helped people get through the difficult paperwork. Uh, yeah, but there's a lot of guys that you know deserve disability that lives in Atwood, Indiana, who doesn't live in a big city that's got some caseworker that's federally appointed to help you get your monies, right? Right. Well, let I mean, me tell you, you know, this woman helped me. I was approved in four months. Okay. And they don't take your retro paper. All right, well, bud, but what website should to to in, to go ahead and put an exclamation well, where point? Where do you move? Where tell us like is there a website that people can go to? I I moved. Uh, no, there isn't. I I moved to to Colorado, and uh, they were real helpful out there. So you're saying if you're not if you live wherever and you can't get disability, no matter how much you've tried, 
to right. move it's to a different be- state, even though you're blind and you can't walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but- if you can't get disability or an abortion, move. <laughs> All right, listen. All right, buddy. Hey, thank- what else? Yes, game. quickly, please. Down here on LBI, the waves are pumping oh are they yeah, really all right man. Yeah. Oh, guys on dis- hold on the guy that's on disability is telling you <laughs> go how, good, how good the waves are is there- <laughs> long beach island it's like, great. Yeah, it's like, good waves. so you know a guy that only you know you only unless you're probably surfing those waves you don't know how whether a good wave looks what next to a bad wave so a guy that's on disability getting free money for throwing his hip out when he was 22 on a truck on a trucking deal uh now is telling dan which 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 waves are good or not which means he's probably on a surfboard. Yeah. Right? Or on the beach fishing. <sighs> sure. So we were talking earlier uh, about immigration. And so here's the big immigration payoff before we go into arts. And and then and this is open for discussion because we're opening up the immigration. Like, boom, I, I want to talk about it. Might get a few calls on this deal. Uh, uh, we can't. Yeah. Because I put them on hold. Oh, okay. Because it's just going to be, it'll just, everybody crap, will, yeah. Crap storm. It's going to be such, everybody's going to have their opinion and be able to shoot what I'm saying apart. And so, like, I just would rather have you guys shoot it apart internally than have everybody else pull on, you know, pile on. But, and, but I don't, first of all, you have to understand that there's probably no way to really fix it in the fact that nobody's going to be happy with it. Like, there's no perfect proposal. Like it, it, there's just well, there there are no solutions to these big problems which people don't seem to understand. There's only trade offs, as the great Thomas Sowell once said. And so, okay, no, no, go ahead, Ann. No, please. No, no, but so the so the so the topic is immigration, and just here recently, not only in federal federally is immigration a, a big hot button, but also on the state level, and so in our state, Florida. We like have even we've made the immigration, the federal immigration uh, laws even stiffer. Right. That's that's the way it's I understand it. Correct. Like, you know, the the federal or the way the laws were prior in Florida to immigration are have been drastically changed to be far more up your ass, going to cause some problems. And it's scaring the migrant workers Mm all this additional paperwork that you're going to fill out and all these additional rules for employers. And it's scaring the immigrant workers and the immigrant workers are leaving Florida at an alarming pace. And, and so we're like, well, are they really leaving? Well then, then I just had validation. My good friend, Richard Fabrizi, one of my very best friends in the world who owns the largest roofing company uh, and in this area, handyman, handyman roofing, like it's the largest roofing company, residential roofing company in this area by far, both counties, like everywhere. Yeah, handyman roofing. Um, the he lost six full blown roofing crews of migrant workers that left Friday to head to Pennsylvania. I guess they all look at the I I don't know maybe they collectively or somebody looks at the states that are most forgiving or most immigration friendly with how they want to be paid or treated or the paperwork they have to show to have a job, that Pennsylvania is the next best choice. So he lost six crews. And so let me, it's my understanding that what everybody's afraid of and why everybody is leaving Florida is that they now are making the, you know, if you're going to have migrant workers, there's an equation as to how many you can have. There's a co- additional couple electronic registration hoops you have to now jump through, not only as an employer, but as the migrant worker. Well, you just have to show that you're allowed to be here. And it's businesses that have more than 25 uh, employees have to do the E-Verify just to make sure that they are in the federal system. So there are a lot of these companies probably don't do the E-Verify deal. They just, you know, you show them some kind of flim flam and paperwork and they let you work, right? Yeah, most likely. Yeah, so, yeah, they can get in trouble for uh, having a fake and, ID. And was this, and this law was, I think, did it go through and it was signed? Yes. And so it's like, that's the way that it is for like, from this, like, boom, right now that's the way it is? Yes. And and, and a lot of people are, 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 have left, right? Now, is it mostly because the Hispanics or the immigrants can't understand well, the, it, the additional paperwork, or they don't want to fill that, or they or they they know or they, that they wouldn't qualify. 
That's, I think also it's a buzz. You know what I mean? Like there was a buzz when Trump was president not to come across the border because you're going to be turned away. And then there was a buzz that when Biden got elected, the border was open and all of a sudden the 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 the, the migration across the border you know, intensified exponentially. And Title 42. Now, now the buzz is that it's not friendly for immigrants, no, illegal immigrants in America and well, no, Florida. But, but, the, but what they're hearing and the way it's being reported is that it's all immigrants. When right. it's just illegal immigrants, not the legal immigrants. Right, well, they want to make but it as scares, inflammatory as possible. But that scares yeah. the immigrants because right. they're easily scared. Right, exactly. They are easily frightened. They're easily frightened. And they have two sources of news, just two, Telemundo and Univision. And they have <laughs> and they have such distorted reporting of the facts that they're being they're being lied to and manipulated as, as a monolithic group. So do you want to hear, and again, you know, this is open for discussion, but you know, there's nobody who has a, a, a nobody else has come up with a, a system that has effectively made immigration not such a thing. I mean, immigration starts on the federal level, uh, you know, and, and that, that's that's a hot button right now, just even federally, as to you know, breaking up families. Do you let them in? They you're supposed to. <clears throat> is there a quota of thirty thousand a day? Uh, how many? You know, do, do you do you get a are we giving them entitlements? You know, mm-hmm. do, do are they are they are we giving them entitlements and are they given court dates that are you know five years from now because the system is so backlogged that they're not, they're not going to show up in five years to 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 rightfully plead their case for political asylum? You know, as they have this temporary waiver. <laughs> So that's what we give them, right? We give them like a temporary work per- permit, and like a, we'll see you in three to five years, and we'll see you on yeah. And here's your court date. Well, I mean, please. And so, and then the other thing is, I mean, migrant workers probably is and they may be getting entitlement, but a lot of them are working illegally, Lummy, and they're not. They do not, you know, participate in the tax code. So they're taking and not giving. Right. I mean, so that it's 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 very much, you know, a very unbalanced equation where you're letting somebody, you're giving somebody some money to come into your country that potentially is going to work and, and not pay taxes. <laughs> like that is as bad as it gets, right? Yeah. And so I think this is what we, what this is how immigration should go. Here's the Bubba plan. And you guys, I, I think you may find it brilliant. If you don't like it, tell me how stupid I am. I got a little, I, I've, broken it, I've broken it down to into, let them pay, let them in, let them work, let them buy. And that would be to implement a $200 entry fee into the country, 200 bucks. I mean, I mean I'm sorry, but say, go and work in your country until you got 200 extra dollars. 200 per person or maybe maybe it's 200 per person over 16 they're paying oh, go ahead blah, blah, blah. they're paying yeah. no 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 they, what i'm they, saying is right now they're paying 2500 to 10000 dollars per person to get to america I know. to the cartels to the cartels say, right. cartel so we're, we're taking 200 <laughs> bucks we're giving the cartels 10 grand all right fine. lollipop who cares so <laughs> it's 200 a person at kids for free <laughs> 212 like yeah, yeah. Right. So it's like soup plantation <laughs> yeah, no, but like, you know, it's, it's like you know it's like why do uh, we make ladies free no why just no do- because women are going to work because with this with the 200 dollar entry with the 200 dollar uh kids for free adults only entry fee you have to pay it 200 per adult we also are going to cut we're going to do a, like a 20 or 22 percent federal sales tax now, now at that point, there's no way for them not to participate in the tax and in, in, into 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 society and our and our tax code, and 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 it does it doesn't matter whether you work under the table or not. You still have to buy durable goods, and and you have some exempts on some categories of stuff like education doesn't have a sales tax, and maybe you know a, few, a medication, you know stuff like that. You have sales. Things that are exempt, but everything else, you know, Dan's nine thousand dollar ten speed, uh, and my, you know, I don't know. Let me your whatever you my, our eight hundred dollar TVs, yeah, whatever. Everything's twenty two percent more. It's kind of like the census. He wants to do a twenty three percent. All right, twenty two, twenty three percent. 
uh, flat sales tax. And nobody, listen, Mark Zuckerberg, Stephen Diaco, and every other rich guy you know that has, you know, ta- accountants that know that you can, it just knows how to, you know, how to hide money and to, to not hide money, but to put money in certain places and use certain shelters in their benefits so that rich people, for the most part, don't pay as much of their tax as, you know, middle income to higher income people who don't have the benefits of, you know, uh, you know, very, very expensive accountants who go and get their, you know, taxes done at H&R Block. Those guys, right? Just the average dude. A lot of people do their own taxes, right? It's, yeah. e- it's easy enough, but not when you have all these things that you can tax it up. Then things start getting expensive accounting wise. And, you know, so the average person can't afford that. So, which means the the rich aren't paying their fair share of taxes, but you know, a guy that buys a sixty million dollar jet and he has a, a zillion dollar corporation and is you know Jeff Bezos or all these people, you, you know, Dan. At the end of the day, they 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 really probably get quite aggressive with their business taxes and things like that. I don't really know how much taxes that you know Facebook, Amazon, Google, the big fortune, you know, fifty guys really pay. I'm, you know, I don't know what kind of taxes they pay. But when you say their fair share, what is a fair share? What do you mean? Well, what you just said when if they pay their fair 23% share, twenty three percent of anything you buy. So if you want to buy a jet, number. it's it, it, well, I mean, whatever number it is. Yes. Let's. Uh, let, I've seen Neil Borch used to say that it was twenty two percent. Pick a number. Just the problem, think, the problem know, with have the flat the, taxes. Hold Bubba, on. I, have the have the economists look at. What you would need to have the tax for us to be take our budget and what it costs to run our country, right? <clears throat> and you could figure out what your budget is, and you could figure out what people buy, and you could probably rough in a percentage and try to find that number, right? And I've heard that over the years it's about 20 to 22 percent. Well, currently now what they're trying to do is 23 percent. People that know. The fair t- yeah, the fair tax would be 23 percent. So, Dan, the, 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 to answer your question is. You know, the guy that doesn't buy a $60 million jet doesn't have to, but he's still rich, doesn't really have to worry about it. He keeps more of his money because you keep all of your money. You don't have a federal income tax. There's no more federal income tax. It's just a flat sales tax on the things that you buy. That's the only thing you pay tax on. I mean, you're sure you still have your property taxes for, for, you know, land ownership and things like that. But, you know. But you would replace sales tax and income tax with a value-added tax like Europe. No, you keep your sales tax. You keep your local sales tax. So we get 7% plus your 22%. Yeah. Now we're playing 30%. So yeah. there's no real advantage to, to. So No, there is a real advantage, you do, advantage to it because you, you have the ability to collect. The, I mean, the businesses that are taking that additional 22% or whatever, they already are collecting taxes. You're 7%. So mm-hmm. they, they are in the custom of sending in. So and, now it's 30%. Well, no. if you have, 7 plus 22. 20, if you're 20, 23. Yeah. So it's 30%. Sure. Which okay. is what 30% is what b- the baseline tax should be. If you take the upper income at 39%, right? Am I not right? Is that what the upper, is it 39%? It's 39 plus, yeah. Okay. And the lower percent of the people that it's like 20. B- are, no, like, I think it's 18 maybe. 18. Yeah, it's, it's close to 20. All right, yeah, so what, what's what's in the middle? 30. 30. 30. And so that, at that point, people's, uh, again, 30. 30 and, and that's local and federal because you're going to pay your 7%, 7%. And there's some municipalities like in, you know, like there's some... But it would in, cap off at 30. Well, I mean, no. No, I mean, people think people in New York, you have No, your, no, 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 but what you're proposing. No, it could be higher than that. He's saying Bubba's would, if he was president, it would be 23%, let's say 23% national, and then whatever your local oh. and taxes Yeah, whatever be, your local taxes as well. So if it's 730, if it but, was in New York. But, but hold on. Now the immig- immigrants cannot get away from that, can they? They buy food. They buy, you know, beer. They buy... You know, cars, they buy cell phones, See? they buy TVs, they buy trailers, they, you know, and your rent, your rent would be 23% more too. Let's not forget that. Uh, they have to pay rent. I know uh, it's scary. It's, I mean, it's scary, but it's really not. You know, I would save so much, I would save, you know how much money I would save 
because I don't buy anything. I don't. I mean, I don't really buy anything. I don't really. I'm not really that extravagant. But Dan, on your on your end, it'd kill you. I mean, you know, buying. Yeah, you don't want to when you buy seven, people from moving their money. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar Ferraris. You know, you're right. That the downside to that Anna, might be people get afraid to spend all together. Yeah, and when you start holding on to your money, then then problems happen in the then, economy oh, too. You know what? Then the rich people won't spend. Correct. Right. And, and the and the poor people can't spend. And the poor people. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh, God, Sorry, go. not to unravel your whole deal. Pretty much did though. Sorry. And, and I, again, I, Bubba, and, you're and talking I gotta, and about you know what? Anna, I got to sit there and take it because yeah. you're right. And Bubba, you know, again, you were talking about charging them two hundred dollars when they're paying the cartel ten grand to get here. Yeah, and so maybe parts, you know, of, maybe parts of my idea was. Do, do was you know what my idea is what? Here's my idea for immigration. You you secure all borders north and south, and you continue to secure the coastal borders. People that have overstayed their visa, you track them down and you kick them the f out. And anyone that's not supposed to be here, you kick them the f out. And then we start spending money on people that are supposed to be here and not a bunch of freebies for all these ungrateful, unhelpful burdens on our society. And by the way, if you didn't have 5 million illegal people that just flowed across the border over the last two and a half years, unemployment would be down to almost zero and we'd be able to afford to pay a real wage to people picking strawberries instead of giving them four dollars an hour and 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 really taking advantage of them like they are slaves so to give people dignity pay them the appropriate amount to do the appropriate job prior to prioritize america prioritize citizens prioritize our defense and our borders and our financial stability and start putting America back where it's supposed to be as the dominant, most sophisticated, and most ethical country in the world. Because right now, we are an embarrassment to ourselves and to human beings. And the people running this country have not put, in, have not put Americans as the priority for who they claim to be representing Man, and, and protecting. Where's the patriotic music and when you need it? Jesus. <laughs> I okay, I got it. <laughs> Let me so but, but again, Solver, I mean, we got, we got, we got, we're more worried. We're more worried Solver about records. offending 0.0001% of another world. And we don't prioritize anything going on here. We are screwed if we continue in this direction. We cannot substantiate this 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 overwhelming flow of people into this country, of people that are uneducated, unsophisticated, unpatriotic. They're not producers. They're 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 consumers, but they're not consumers like going out and buying a lot of stuff. You know, from from retail, the consumers buy sucking off of all it's the more resources. Of a parasitic consumer. Yeah, they're, they're parasitic. <laughs> I don't they're, want to call them that, but they, but are, they yeah, are. Chill out, they man. Are. Get a job. All right, <laughs> good. Can you shut up? Let me throw down a shut up for Dan. Shut, oh. shut up and chill out. Jesus God Almighty. Whoa. Chill out. You're really mad, aren't you? It's irritating, Baba. It's really irritating, and and you know we hold on. I just pulled his chain again. Oh, hey, yeah. let me so, this, Sovereign <laughs> Records. Twenty bucks on the PayPal. Thank you. No, I I kind of share San, uh, Sans uh, Dan's sentiments. I was on the Courtney Campbell yesterday, coming home from brunch, and I saw two giant uh, F two fifties, three fifties, whatever, with like giant Amer uh, Mexican flags. Not an, an American and Mexican flag, just. A Mexican flag waving in the wind, and I was so outraged, I can't even tell you. I was just like, are Why? you kidding me? You leave this horrific, corrupt country to come here and wave that flag? Get the hell out of here now! Well, and that's coming from immigrants. That was all during their protest of uh, the illegal immigrant thing. They were waving all the flags they came from. Wait, what? The illegal immigrant protest this weekend. Oh, is that what... Uh they're yeah, that protesting was. that they're here. Yes. What are yeah, they protesting? Yeah, it's a work stoppage. Yeah, the they're, protesting they're just, with the Ron DeSantis thing. Yep, they're so just leaving. Well, who for cares? $4 an hour. Well, who cares until all these construction projects take two, three more years? Okay. No, the, well, there's I still mean, construction guys that are here legally. Okay. 
I mean, what, what, what are we going to do? The illegal people are protesting the fact that we're calling them illegal people and saying that they actually should be working under real guidance and real supervision. But no, 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 no. We're the, we're the bad people for saying that the people that aren't supposed to be here aren't Man, supposed that's to be how, here. That's how woke we've become. That oh, we let yeah. the we're bad not guy making re- enough accommodations <laughs> for them. Hold yeah. on. We've become so After woke we let them in that and- we let people reverse the heat. Yeah, we let the we let the, we let the people reverse the heat on us. Yeah, man, what a bunch of pussies! I we, are, know. we are so woke, and so that's why you know why Dan. I don't. That's why I don't even get all riled up about it because I'm like, man, we're so we are so far gone. There's no saving us. There's no one guy that's going. There to- was, and they just castrated him I, and took I, his legs out. I know. And, and, and lied the entire time about it. So I'm just saying. The entire time, and you know what? They got 900 about, counts wh- on that wh- guy. Wh- that guy wh- ain't going nowhere. So wait, 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 wait. Why is no one pissed off that the CIA killed JFK? <laughs> Why is nobody pissed <laughs> off that Obama, Biden, and Clinton. and and Clinton, Hillary. Hillary Clinton, set up a false narrative and set up Trump from the day he started running throughout his entire presidency? How come no one's mad about Comey and Clapper and all those people specifically targeting innocent people, creating a false narrative and destroying their lives? Why is no one upset about the fact that we're sending billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine, but we can't control our own goddamn border? His tools are a scalpel, saline, and silicone. Am I here for a physical? Because I'm going to need a few cocktails before I start coughing for you fellas. Let's talk to the greatest plastic surgeon known to man. I'm a great source of this information. Dr. Dan Diaco. <laughs> no one's I like, pissed. I like the other I'd one be better. pissed. Take that one out I'm of rotation. Pissed. I don't like that one. I'm pissed. I know you and are. No one's pissed. No one's, Where's the I'm, outrage? I'm hold on. Because you don't hold see on. it. I'm mad too, but it's just like I'm a, I'm a realist where I'm like, man. We, we're over. It's over, man. It's over. They don't talk about it, Dr. Dan. That's why. It's over. We can't even get people to show up to want to be lifeguards. Like, we're so lazy. The easiest job in the world is being a and, lifeguard. And, and not the only, easiest job. All you have to do is stay hold awake. On. Hold on. Not only is it the easiest, but it's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Like, you you're, sitting, you're sitting up there, and you get to look at chicks all day. They're looking at you. I mean, you know, they're like, yo, God, I'm a lifeguard. I mean, I'm, if you're, maybe, I mean, you know, if you have any ounce of swag at all. At all. The lifeguard is going to, you know. You're, He's a stud. It's, it's going to be a good summer for you. Right. You, you lazy bastard, get off the video game. Tell your boys you can't play Fortnite every day. And go down there, because you you're a lifeguard, or that you're good at swim, or that, you know, whatever. And and get a job this summer. Unless they pay you more for unemployment. And and less <laughs> they pay you more for unemployment. Right, exactly. Listen, so. they have it right here. Stand by. Where's it at? Right here. Lifeguard to be able to help you. You want them sure. properly trained and you want them to have the ability to do what they need to do. It's here, tough training. Right, right. Beach or pool and responsible for saving lives, lifeguards are literally looked up to. That's made it a coveted job for generations of Americans. Yeah, that's what we were saying, right? But lately, economic forces have turned the tide. Once again this year, lifeguards are in short supply, threatening all kinds of summer fun. Elise Preston has the story. Bring back Baywatch. Children make a splash. See, lost- I, being a lifeguard at the ocean is a little more difficult <laughs> than being one here at the family pool. <clears throat> Like this is the this is the lifeguard gig that you want. The pool? I don't want the oh, one. Yeah. I don't want the one on when you're on the Jersey There's Shore and, and you're stuff. dealing with the a rough current. Yeah, guys getting bit by a shark. Yeah. Like, no you could get into some stuff there, man. Here you just dive man, into lane three. Yeah, here you just <laughs> throw that rope. <laughs> for, <laughs> first you throw the rope. Donut. First of all, you throw them the donut, right? If they can't hang on to the donut, then you jump in and save them. That's that's all. That's really all you got to do. And there's no riptide. No, yeah. no way. This and, baby's six foot deep. Chances are. Stand and, up. And here's the deal. <laughs> chances are you're gonna if you need you're gonna have a lot of people at the end that's gonna help you. They'll help you. Like if you have a big fat ass guy and you couldn't quite get him, there's a couple people would help you. But no, like, hey, the fat guy floats, so okay. you're good there. Los Angeles. <laughs> it's fun and relaxing. It's In Washington, D.C., relaxing. Mayor Muriel Bowser kicks off the city's summer oh, pool Christ. season and thousands flock to Florida's beaches. Americans just want to be in the water. They try to rush me out because they know that the faster we get here, the more they get to be in the pool. But with increased demand comes danger. New York City is facing its worst lifeguard shortage on record with roughly a third of what it needs this summer. And that's despite a 9%. Now, I don't know, man. Even at the beach, man, you're just sitting up there. You know, you got your music pods in there. You could be on your phone. 
you know, you just look, you just glance to the water every once in a while. And if there's something going on, your people are going to start, you know, getting your attention. Yeah. So you could just be chilling out. You could be on Pornhub up there, whatever, right? Send pay increase and a sign on bonus. Just look at these fools out here not kill themselves. Well, I mean, the if, more if you can swim across the Rio Grande, you should be able to be a lifeguard. You got plenty of lifeguards. There's so many kids. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, another flat fall on your face oh. or uh, let me. Uh, you know, kids get lost all the time. Kids run away. So yeah. that's when you know, your, your kids run away. You snowflake because your kids aren't afraid of you because you, you, you haven't wha- waxed them in the ass a few t- few ten times so many kids uh, talked him to death uh you know kids get lost all the time kids run away so yeah that's when the lifeguards really help right, who's that bitch saving this situation is so critical nationwide that about half of the country's 309,000 public pools will be forced to close or reduce hours according to the american lifeguard association it is more than just a summer job. Lifeguards have a unique advantage of letting people know that there's danger and to stay out of that danger. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, boy, you could go clean up. I mean, weren't, weren't, wasn't there a big story one time, Lummy, that yeah, in L.A., the, in LA like, like one of the lifeguards was making like $650,000 and yeah. then like the next what? life. Yeah. There was one lifeguard who knew how to work the system and holiday and overtime pay and all this kind of deal and had been there like 15 or 20 years. So they got like 10 year and like, and I think I, let me look, I got to go into words, but look for it. But it was like legit. Le- oh no, it was like on the books. All le- right. Like legit for him or her. But, like, or they, but, but can you imagine making $600,000 for being a lifeguard? Yeah. But most are making 10 or 15. I mean, no, no, most, no. Of- most of them are making 80, 90 for real, for real. And, 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 and LA, I, I, th- think. I think that's, I think that's an outlier. No, you know what, Dan? We'll we'll look. We'll look when when we come back. We'll look into it, and we'll see if indeed I'm right and you're wrong. And that's not a that's a pretty rare occurrence when when that happens. Yes, but we're gonna we're gonna dive into it next. Okay, Lum Lum. All right, that's all right. He's in need the love sponge of serious psychotherapy. Bubba the love sponge. spot right where like you have people come in that are willing to do work for less and then where mm-hmm. it's not draining the system like there's got to be that apex and it's like if we could find that number then a merit-based a merit-based immigration like every other country <coughs> they just don't let pieces of shit in they, they let people they need in mm-hmm. if we need engineers let engineers in right but if what we do we need fucking, unskilled workers but we don't okay but say that we did like we would need like a certain amount of unskilled workers. Right, but once so you're like, 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 like a couple hundred thousand in. Right. And boom, then you're done. Okay. And then, yeah. There's a cute need. Okay, well, so we need more rate guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah, in sure. some more rate guys sure. for Venezuela. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, because Venezuela's a big oil sit country. Yeah, yeah. They would have them. Then Probably bring those guys in. Because, the <laughs> no, no, they were, they were well, huge. Well, it's a rich country, country, but like all the people are like, yeah, but they were big on. Petroleum, and so they had they have skilled oil workers. You know what I'm saying? So you need to go there for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, never you have a, you know, an enchilada shortage, go to Mexico. <laughs> An enchilada? Enchilada. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right. The Bubba Army, what is he eating today? The people want to know. But, I mean, me, probably having some chicken with some 
jalapenos. See, uh, she eating no veggies. No, the fans don't, don't, don't like want to know unless it's corn or green beans from a can. She it's, see, like it's those. not the fans want to know. She wants to know, but she blames it on the fans. Exactly. <laughs> he likes corn on the cob, and that's pretty much it. Maybe you should see how I just nailed you. What? And your technique, what I, no, I nailed your ulterior motive. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Say something. I right. just caught you. Yep, 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 yep. He caught me good with his factor meal Jones. He's so happy having his lunch at 7.59 a.m. <laughs> That's what happens when you go to bed at 4 p.m. <laughs> Take pills all day. Take. 400 pills a day, because that's his real breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can figure out how Anna truly feels about me, too. <laughs> my songs, they're very expressive. It's my creative outlet. Like, truth be told, I wanted to run those fuckers off the road yesterday, but it's hard when you're in gusts, you know? What? Well, if he was a F three fifty. Should have went to. Uh, Should have went by Raymond James. The wrong stand. I'm like, where's Ice? Come get him! <laughs> like, they're like El Salvador. Get the fuck out of here, man! It's like, and that's coming from an immigrant. Like, you're not happy here. What the fuck? It's it's. We're living in the, the upside down. What is it called? The upside down. <clears throat> what is it? A Stranger Deals. It's every. Really, I see. Oh, I see. I pulled up. They pull. They're like, well, that was easy. (laughs) They all went to one spot. A hundred. That was fucking easy. Thanks for making our job. That would. That's sending a message right there. Yeah. Oh man. That'd be great. Oh, I'm gonna grab a water. You can protest. Existing on the scraps of society. You just get babbling about it. Bubba, the love sponge. We're back on Twitter. Appreciate you go follow us over there. Pretty much everything from YouTube to Facebook to Instagram and now Twitter is at the Bubba Army. So twitter.com forward slash the Bubba Army. If I know you're on Twitter, start following if you could. Let me, I was trying to get to 110,000 by today, but I think that was a little lofty of a goal. What about that? About 109 and change? No, I think 108. 108. Three. Yeah, Steven, you're disappointed on the deal, aren't you, buddy? Yes, I am. 
Thought we would do better than that. So if you're on, I know you're on Twitter. Everybody's on Twitter. So go go follow us at the Bub Army. Uh, Dan, did you get your super uh, your super chews, your super beats? Yes, I did. I threw them over a couple breaks ago. Yes, I have them right here. Dan doesn't do miss miss his dose. And neither do I. Uh, and again, with over thirty thousand five star reviewed uh, reviews, you've got to go to get. Superbeats.com. Promo code Bubba. And use my promo code. Uh, it is a, a better way for heart health. Paired with a healthy lifestyle, the antioxidants in Super Beats are clinically shown to be nearly two-thirds more effective at promoted, promoting normal blood pressure than a heart-healthy lifestyle alone. Go to GetSuperBeats.com. Promo code Bubba. And get uh, a free 30-day supply and 15% off your first order. That's G-E-T. Super, S-U-P-E-R, Beats.com. Promo code Bubba. They're everywhere, Super Beats. I, I was watching the um, the Rays game this weekend. I think I saw a couple commercials. Yeah, I saw the same ones. I forgot it was on FS1 or Bally or, or it was something. Bally Sports, yeah. <clears throat> this is the article that I was talking about, Dan. Now, this is, on I know, on the high end. Highest paid lifeguard in Los Angeles County, f- over $500,000 from a 2001 report. Now, <clears throat> now I know that's the high end, and I'm going to ask Alexa here when we're, when we're done, what's the average, you know, pay of a L.A. lifeguard? But I wanted to get through this article first. I said I thought the average, be- did, I, did I say between 60 and 80, Lummy? Yes, you did. <clears throat> and Dan said, no, no way. I think, what did you say, Dr. Dan? Uh, you know, the lifeguards, the, the summer lifeguards, when they, you know, the peak season for lifeguards, they make like 15 bucks an hour. Well, I'm just telling you, Dan. Okay. Not anymore. You're, 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 I'm saying, I'm, I'm just saying, in Los Angeles, they got this whole thing of lifeguards, and one dude's making five hundred and ten thousand dollars 250000 of it coming from overtime. Here's the next thing. The second highest paid lifeguard was 463000 Can you imagine making that? For being a lifeguard, a lifeguard, lifeguard chief made a three hundred ninety-one thousand in two thousand and nineteen when the county's was uh, blah 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 blah. <clears throat> it says, let me. There's ninety lifeguards in L.A. County that made between at least uh, to, to made at least two hundred thousand. There's twenty lifeguards that made at least between three hundred and five hundred and ten thousand, and there's thirty-seven lifeguards that made between fifty thousand and two hundred forty-seven thousand just in just in overtime. It sounds like you, sounds like that's the racket. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, uh, is is that Alexa? Alexa, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Hey, Alexa, what's the average pay for a Los Angeles County lifeguard? From Intuit.com. Lifeguard salaries in Los Angeles County, California can vary between $15,500 to $114,500 and depend on various factors, including skills, experience, employer, bonuses, tips, and more. Well, let me, as far as me being right or wrong, well, so I'm the, wrong and Dan's right. Well, I think it's a big variety. And so when you're yeah. talking about those lifeguards that make three hundred plus thousand dollars, those are administrative lifeguards. They're not the guys that like have like a, oh, those a are the donut guys that, and are yeah. sitting on the beach. They're the ones that are running the whole show. Right. It says average before bonuses, uh, forty two thousand a well, year. I will succumb to Dan. He he was more right than I was. But but it's it's funny though that, that some lifeguards have made you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, which is you know God bless them. But it seems a little excessive for a lifeguard. The the problem is that no one wants to work. Nobody wants to work. No one wants to work. Kids aren't working. They refuse to work. Um, you know, I was having this conversation with 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 Jay yesterday. He was talking about you know how Trey's doing this and Trey's doing that, but I want him to have some of his own money. I'm like, then Jay. His three weeks that he's not doing something that's very organized, have him work in the law firm. Pay him $15 an hour and have him get, make him go from nine to five. So he has an idea of what to do because a couple years ago, Sophia wanted a, a really nice backpack, a Gucci backpack. I'm like, the only way you're one getting of, that one Gucci. One of those $2,500 willies. It wasn't quite that much. But I said, Conrad the only, the only way you're her. doing that is if. Con- if hold on, hold on. What's that, Anna? <laughs> Conrad will get it for us. Let me <laughs> right down for a pop right thank there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. No problem. Um, 
might uh I said if you want something like that then you have to come to work every day that you're not in Jersey you have to come to the office and work and, and what so, were you, and like, were you teaching her to do Botox and stuff, or just yeah, uh, just, it was just minor <laughs> surgery, face lifts, you know, <laughs> I, foot lifts, eyelids. I didn't think Dan was going to say yes on just letting her Botox, <laughs> Mrs. McGillicuddy from Carrollwood. She was doing the laser. Hi, I'm 14. My dad owns this place, and uh, he's I, I'm your Botox specialist for today. I don't know, I have any idea. I saw my jab. My dad jabbed this one chick in the face about 40 times all over her forehead, <laughs> and I'm I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. But she would do reception. She'd help clean the rooms. You know, she'd, do, right. she'd be helpful. And right. and I pay her for that. And and she appreciated having to get up and come in. She appreciated she having to about be there. It. She did not complain about That's it at all. Because she wanted, she saw the prize at the end. And so when people have a little carrot to dangle mm. and they want something, then work for it. Otherwise, you're just going to sit there and just continue yeah, well, that bad habit. Yeah, that Danny, Danny your, your son couldn't want for anything. I can't think of anything that kid doesn't have that he wouldn't want. He's got go karts. He's got. I mean, he's got everything. I mean, you can't make Danny do anything because he because he's already got everything, right? Yeah, but I mean, he he, you know, like. But you should make Danny have to do the same thing as Sophie. You should make him have right, to he's both. He's still do eleven, it. but I, I'll give him another couple of years before I, I, I slave drive him. But oh, so have him cut but, the grass in the back. I'll bring oh, my push yeah. mower over. Yeah. We should bring Dan. Let us bring our push mower over and make him push the front, just not the entire, just the very front. Yeah, that's my idea. To be Dumb's intern. Now, now hold on. What <laughs> what would he do? What would Romina do if you said, "Hey, Romina, Bubba, see, I would go over as the coach, and Lummy would go as over as the uh, photographer, you know, to videotape it, and it would be Bubba, you know, uh, takes." Dan's son to make Bubba's man camp, you know. Yeah, yeah, the dawn crew. And and you know, you tell you tell Romina, hey, Bubba's coming over Saturday morning at nine, and little Danny has to have his worst sneakers, a pair of shorts, and a tank top on because D- Bubba's going to oversee little Danny mowing the front lawn with a push mower. Yeah, it's never happening. <laughs> hold, hold on, <laughs> for real. I I just don't see that happening. No, hold on. The only thing, I, my what, only problem now, now with why? the Bubba is because why? I don't want I don't want an injury from a lawnmower. Oh come on, Dan, 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 what? Stop. It, it, with it, how old were you? Eleven. You, you how old is little Danny? Eleven. All right. At eleven years old, your dad Joe would have you pushing a lawnmower. You know damn well. Just like I did, I pushed my first lawnmower at like ten or eleven. My, yeah. you know, my dad goes, "This mm-hmm. is how you do it." I think I did mine at eight. Keep keep your toes and fingers away from this area. If it if you bog it down or it bogs down or it stops running, then come get me. Don't try to mess with it, and uh, don't hit any rocks or anything like that. My dad would always make me. I always remember. Oh God, it's like like it was instilled in my head. Go pre walk your area. So let me, I had to go pre-walk my area that I was going to mow and pick you up any... pre-walk a mow well, area? Yes. Well, no, Dr. Dan, no. we didn't, you know, Bubba and I didn't grow up, you know, with pristine St. Augustine. No, we, no we grew up with what? Yeah. So we, you know, and we grew up with, you know, the neighborhoods we lived in, people were throwing cups and beer cans and stuff on our lawns. Dude, I didn't grow up on like a golf course. No, I'm telling you about now for talking Little Danny. About, yeah, oh. I'm talking about, little Dan, like, talking about Little Danny compared to what we have. He, I mean, he didn't have to pre-walk that pristine St. Augustine, like, you know, there's nothing. Me and Lummy had to go make sure there was no beer cans and, <laughs> and things like that. So my, I was always my dad was always saying, pre-walk your area. If I see you hit a cup, or, sure enough, I wouldn't pre-walk the area, and I would hit a cup, and there'd be paper all in the lawn, and my dad gets so mad at me because <laughs> I hit a cup. Oh, he would beat me, and I wouldn't beat me, but he would be like, you know. All you had to do was get your feather from there and pick that cup up. But no, what did you do? You ran over it. Look how bad the lawn looks, all that paper in the grass. It'll blow away. And I, I just like, I would, I'd hit a cup, and then I figure if I ran over that area long enough, and the, the paper would be so, you know, and, just keep and, and, yeah, it'd be so mulched in. That's what I would do. And, but meanwhile, it would have taken less energy just to pick the cup up because I had to go back over it like six times in order to get it to blend in with, with the rest of the grass. <laughs> would have been just easier for you to pick up. So, Danny, if you told Romina, I said, Robina, Bubba's coming, Bubba and Lummy are coming over with a lawnmower, a push lawnmower. The other thing, Dan, is we have a safety one on ours where if you let go of the handle, the blades stop. So, like, it's super safe. We got a super safe one, me and Lumby does. Yeah. And it's a I don't know. I kind of get it. 
Dan. <laughs> oh no! But maybe I'm just being tired. Whatever. And I'm not. I don't have the kids, Whoa, obviously. But, bitch. but I, I, I wouldn't want my kids messing with that. What? Take out what? the trash. What? Wash the car. It's not that. It's not. Lummy, it's I guarantee crazy. you that you are not going to have a problem with Walker when he's 11. Now, granted, he's going to be six four two oh five. But <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, when he's 11, well, you kids know, are le- dumb and te- they just do te- dumb stuff. Teaching them. Teaching them how, how, teaching him how to mow a lawn. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, take Dan, it off I can my tell, place. See, Dan, here's the deal. You're not even worried about Romina. You're kind of being soft here on that one. This is your decision. I don't mind him working hard. I don't mind him understanding the the meaning of hard work. I just don't like, you know, power tools and and Heavy high machinery. spinning blades. Yeah. I just I seen it. too many injuries from kids. Well, if you need a skag, I know a guy. Well, but see, I'm teaching my kid young. I know. (laughs) Hold on. Let me show her. No way. (laughs) (laughs) That's so cute. Oh, get out of here. Give the little Hell baby yeah. that one. <laughs> See, yeah. boom, right there. Well, that's a little different. <laughs> that's it right there. Spinning no blades. more toes. Hold no on. more toes. So you're saying the reason why you're uh, afraid uh, uh, is right, there. right here. An right 11-year-old there. right there does that. Uh, hold that's on. what 11-year-old does. 20 months old if you're 11-year-old. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> your kid does have, I don't know how many, you know, you're, you know, 10, year, uh, 10 years on this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, he, he fixes it. He's they're good. Then they call him Eight-Toed Dan. Oh, no. He gets it going. Okay. See? Whew. But then you're, you know you're comparing your 11 year old to my 20 month old. Well, they're the same size. <laughs> they, they, <they're>... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you, your second probably kicked Dan's ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big baby. I know Dan's pretty quick and he's pretty tough too. But, you know, with. I got a whole new respect for how tough your kid is after playing a little bit of football with him. I mean, he see, pretty he, tough. He, he, you know what? He was, I used to hear you say, ah, oh, he, he's pretty good. And, you know, he pulled this me flag, got this me pick sixes. And I'd be, I, I didn't, you know, if, if, I, if you don't see it with your own two eyes, you can't appreciate the ath- athleticism. And little Danny's, he's, 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 a, he's a hell of an athlete. He's getting better. He's, 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 getting he's better. certainly he's not, into his body. He's certainly good enough to be able to push a mower. I promise you. You yeah. know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you would tell Danny, I don't think you're man enough to do that. Oh. Only only men can do that. Um, and watch watch Bubba and Uncle Lummy uh, do a couple strips as a man. And then you say, you want to try it? I guarantee you he would. Yeah, no, you're right. You guys saw it. I guarantee right. he would. The whole point is that he doesn't. No, no, no. no. And it's not. It. It's, and it's not a punishment. It's not a, you know. It's a privilege. It's, it's a, you know what? This is just part of being a dude. Mm-hmm. Like, this is just part of being a dude. Like, it's, you... it's not, hey, let's see if we can bust his balls and make him sweat and, and think this is misery. No, no. Instead, let's make him think that he's part of the cool guy club. And we'll do it. Like, I'll mow a couple strips, Lummy. You mow a couple strips. Little Danny mow a couple strips. I'll get back under you a couple strips. Yeah. And, and then we'll just do, like, it's, a, it's two-thirds the less mowing. And it's more like, and you know what, Danny? Here's the deal, buddy. If you don't like it and you don't want to do it, just let go of the handle. It stops. We'll come and do the rest. It's too much for you. You don't like it. D- don't. And, and here's the thing, Danny. We'll have him push it without the mower running to see if he has the dexterity, mm. you know, of not, you know, pushing up the, first of all, the way they make them nowadays, they can't even, you can't really even do that, let me. Like, no. You know, and you know what? Here's the deal. Do you know why Dan's afraid? Why? Because that son of a bitch hasn't pushed a mower in 20 years either. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to push a mower anymore. I don't even know that you. I don't you touch ever, stuff like that because I know my fingers. That, are, I know that, you, I don't even know that you ever even did push a mower. No, no, no. I mowed the lawn at my mom's house when I was a kid. We mowed the lawn. You did. So, starting, yeah. at, starting at what age? Psh, 10-ish, 11. Okay. Would you and feel- look, how go- look how gosh darn rugged you turned out to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real rugged. <laughs> no, I mean, hold on now. I'm an and indoor I, dog. And as you be- I'm oh, still an indoor dog. Pray tell. I'll tell you right now, man. I got all new levels of respect on your athleticism after this past Saturday when we went e-biking. Well, thank you. I'm going to tell you right now, Lummy. I'm still an indoor dog. Yeah, but... Would you feel better <laughs> if it was a manual mower? What's a manual mower mean? You know, like, I, it spins yeah, like the ones in Jersey I have, I have in the summer? Too, yeah. What do you mean? Oh, you mean like the ones... Like, it's like a barbershop thing, yeah. but on sideways? Yeah, I mean, if, if he's scared about you know him getting hurt with the... I have one. Yeah, one of those. No, I think that might be worse than... It is. It's harder. Probably more dangerous. It's harder. No, no. You, I mean, Dan, this is... Open this, blades. This, open... Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Just something to think about, Dan. Okay. Just because, more importantly, I mean, you at 
you want them to be rugged. And again, not as a, hey, you know, you have to do this because we have to prove how tough you are and you got to work hard if you want something cool. You know, I know you want to, uh-uh. More like, hey, as you get older it's, and you become a man, this are, these are things that men do. Tough, cool things. Yeah, but Daniel probably, he's already, you know what, Lummy, if he had his own place, he's already rich enough to be able to hire a lawn crew. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) Little Danny may say, why do I want to try to do that? I'm always just going to hire some Mexicans to do it like my dad does. (laughs) I mean, like, why? I mean, I'll do it and all, but but but, what's the point? You know, interestingly, what Jay said he was going to do with his son, I was like, what I want to do is I'll give him a pressure washer and have him, like, wash the cars for the family. Hell yeah. Instead of dumber doing it. Well, at least, you know, you can pressure Ross wrong, too, man. You get too close to the paint. Like, I'm just saying. Like, I mean, I'm sure. I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't let, let, let Trey, you know, take it and rip it. I would have Dumber there to, you know, give him some tips. And also, man, I'll tell you one thing. I'd be, I'd be more afraid of a kid getting hurt on a pressure washer than a than a than a mower because I mean, skin. oh my god! You know how many rip times I've hit like, been in flip flops oh. and I hit hit my toes with the with the wand and it just peels it right on back to yeah. Willie. Yeah, mm, that hurts. <laughs> so, uh, but it's so Trey gets a, that good that good news here coming this summer. Is that is that what? I think he's got to do something. Yeah, Jay wants him to have some of his own money. So you know, and and you know, envelopes is not the way to to make your own money. It is, but it's not. You mean calling (laughs) Uncle Stephen over to drop an envelope behind your dad's back? (laughs) Yeah, you see how we make our money, but it's not the way, you know, it's the lesson I'm trying to teach. Yeah. Let me, who's got my, I'm I'm trying to go into words and somebody's got my arrow. Okay, thank you guys. Let me have my, hello, please let go of my arrow. Who's ever got my arrow? It's not time. I think it's Macho. All right. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I think we're way late and I got my my nine o'clock guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me get guys. What the hell? What the Bubba the Love Sponge. It was, I've heard the word surreal, and that's all there is for it. With the pressure washer. Uh-huh. It's your Ferrari. Do your kids have chores? Huh? Do your kids have no, chores? No, fuck, they don't have any chores. Chores? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they take out the trash mm-hmm. and everything like that. Honestly, that's more than I had. And that fucked me up. My parents regretted not doing chores. <clears throat> you know, I'm dating like climb the power lines and clear the power lines. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what if? Hey, what if you gave Danny a little chainsaw? A little motherfucker went out there and he loved it, and, and, and he was like, you know, he's like, Dad, let me tell you something. I really like this fucking. And, 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 saw and, the branches off the power lines. Saw the branches off power lines, Dad. You're like, <laughs> what? Motherfucker, I didn't want you doing that. I just wanted you weed whacking a little bit, motherfucker. And he's out there with a full blown chainsaw, safety goggles, yeah. logger fucking shoes. Fixing the third story roof. Yeah. You don't know that he's a real fucking general contracting whiz? You had no idea. It's fine. Thank you, Seth Riley. Why are you on the Venmo? All right, I'm going to get into a little bit of um, my ride. Yeah, and then I got to get into a couple stories. So where am I at now on break? Four? Pickleball. Yeah, yeah. You you, you played before, right? Played this weekend. Hey, what time is Chad, my guest? I believe I'm going to tell him uh, 9 o'clock. I don't think I ever had a real pickleball paddle in my hand. You guys got a one sheet on me with him? I, I got a little bit of info. I need to know who she talked to uh, for the, the names of the things she has. Anna. Bring that in. Can you just print me out something? Like, yeah, I, I just, I, I, I didn't talk to him. So I, I'm trying to ask her exactly which, are both of them coming on or one? No, just, I think it's just oh. Chad. But I, I like to have a little one sheet on their, on their podcast and stuff like that. I, I, I guess uh, I'll I have, li- I have all their information, like YouTube. I got it all uh, typed out. All right, well, send it to me okay. or whatever the fuck. Print it out for me. Oh well. And then I'll go to their, I'll go to their podcasting site. What is it? Tig. Um, uh, T i g s tigs bits. Dot com. Po- no, okay. Dot com. Yes. I thought it was podcast. All right, there you go. Yeah, my 
minus 600, so I don't know. It takes a good 20 Mexicans a couple of hours. and the mental health of Man, I don't even know where today went. Blue by. Has it flown by for you, Danny? Yes. I thought it was a very fast morning. I can't believe it's 825. Guatemala. Thank you. For some reason. And so do I. No camper stack. Now, see, I don't know if Danny's ready for that, man. <laughs> yeah, Danny ain't ready for that. Morning, tease. Mm -mm. <laughs> Romina would fucking have a fit. Wouldn't she, she Danny? She might even pick up rocks at the track that pick strawberries at Ocala. <laughs> Well, I'm, I, I'm not, I, hey, I'm not, I'm telling Danny he didn't have to do either one. We're just trying to push a couple strips of fucking mower. That's it. Picking up rocks at the fucking track, that's like a death sentence. I only made Tyler do that when he was in trouble. Yeah, I don't think you can talk him into this with the cool kids are down. <laughs> yeah. Picking up rocks. Yeah, I'm going to fucking, now, have we taken, have you taken Danny shooting yet? No. Okay, no. hold on. See, Dan, hold on. Dan, this is gonna be a whole thing. I got okay, it's gonna I'm gonna put all the heat on you. So just get ready. Here it goes. Get ready, Danny, to be bad dad. <laughs> <laughs> Broadcasting live. VOT bastard! From the den of sin. <laughs> Just leave your morals at the door. Yeah! You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Poor Dan. <laughs> right before words, I mean, literally, we were putting our headphones on, and Dan really couldn't really say much about nothing, couldn't, like, defend himself. Usually for the six minutes and 20 seconds that we're gone... And if we're, like in, if we're having like a discussion or an argument or something, you know, we'll mix it up a little bit verbally. But you don't have any opportunity when we're literally, you know, seconds from going on the air, and then I give you a high heater, and then you're just left, left, left there. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 Lummy, I got uh, William Motherway, Trayer Bill. Oh, thank you. Uh, on the PayPal, uh, let me see how for the $50. Thank Seth you. Wiley, 20 on the Venmo. Uh, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App at the Bubba Army. That's how we stay on the air. Oddly enough, it's a it's a it's a dynamic that nobody else can pull off in radio except us. Thank you. So <clears throat> it was like five seconds left to going on the air, and I'm like, Dan, be prepared. You're going to be a bad dad coming down. Everybody, put your headphones on. Here we go. Bad dad, Dan. Dan, you are exactly why you.
<laughs> are here you are doctor and a lawyer but you who have all these resources and stuff you're you're part of this woke society that you know that our kids are currently involved in because i make him play when he's injured i make him play hard sports and i make him do well in school no 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 that's not it <laughs> because i i let him get dirty and play outside with his friends and ride his bike without like being a helicopter parent no, 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 because because I encourage him to be a man and not just be a little snowflake soy boy. No, that's not. No, it no. Why, so why am I a bad dad? Because you haven't taken him shooting yet and taught him the ins and outs of gun safety. He knows and, the ins and outs of gun safety and how to handle a gun. He does. Has he ever shot a gun. He hasn't shot one, but he knows how to handle one. OK, he knows well, what to do if he comes across one. Okay. Have you ever taken him fishing besides that Conrad time? Yeah, no. I've taken him fishing. He's ever taken him fishing. Yeah, I have. <laughs> he has a fishing tent. sucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm the not worst gonna, dad ever. I'm really not. I'm really yeah, not. Yeah, he goes go karting. Uh, well, so, no, yeah, that's, no, yeah, see, that's way better. Sports that's, that's and, and, and doing other stuff, you know, like making him go kart even when he's hurt, making him play football even when he's hurt. I just wish you maybe. Okay, you got me, Dan. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get... make him tough, man. I'm trying to say, you know, if you're if you're not hurt unless you're hurt. And even if you're a little hurt, you're still not hurt enough not to do something. All so, right. you know, I I'm make him play again. with a cast. I make, him, I make him race with a broken hand. I mean, I made, I made him do all those things. Okay, I didn't know. I just I don't want him to be a little puss. I, I want him to be I, a man. I, want you, I just want you to take him shooting. I will. Okay, that's it. I just, you know, this summer I'll do that. I just didn't. I, last summer he was still just a little young for it. Well, I took, ti- I, start, I took Tyler at six. Yeah. But, but, they, but, it, but hold on, they had a gun-specific class for... Kids his age, Kids, six right. to eight, mm-hmm. and they just used a twenty-two, and you know, then it was like oh, they didn't even get a chance to fire the twenty-two until like the third week. They had to go two weeks in classroom, mm-hmm. and it was at shoot one of the shooting places. Two weeks, and it was a two out. It's like six to eight, you know, like Mondays and Wednesdays, you know, for like a month, and, <clears throat> and or something like that. And then uh, on the final two weeks, they get to go to the target range, and they use you know, they have twenty twos that they use, and they shoot twenty twos, and they and and learn how to you know t- disassemble, and it just I don't know it's a it, it, more importantly it, it it just teaches because really you can teach a kid about a gun, but till he shot one, he he kind of doesn't understand the dynamics of it, well, or, it's or, a big or the intensity of it. Right, the intensity is a good good word. Right, because man, I mean you know. Yeah, to have one explode. Like, Anna's never shot a gun. Well, you know, you have shot a gun. But before she had, she hadn't. Right. And it was dramatic. It was a dramatic, like, epiphany, sort of, right? Right. I mean, it was really I tried to. My dad took me one time, and I burst into tears. We had to leave. Right. Got our money back. Less than, we were there less than four minutes. (laughs) Did your dad go, uh, hey, uh, you know, we didn't get to use the shooting range. Uh, We'd like to have our monies back. Well, he saw the guy obviously saw us go in, and then we came out, and I was in tears. And he's like, "Here's your money. Goodbye." Yeah, <clears throat> it was sorry. a rough time for me. Sorry, your kids are sorry. Your kids so soft. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you cry like at the top of a water slide or something like that, and not go down it? Who, oh, me? I'm sure I have. Yeah. Who me? No, not you, Bubba. No, me. Talk about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm scared on. of many things. Hold on. So your dad took you to those. A- <clears throat> any kid would die for a water slide. <clears throat> like that's the ultimate thing as a kid is to be able to go to a really kick-ass tall water slide and go 1,000 miles an hour down and hit the pool. Yep. Like that's like the one thing as a kid. Yeah. And you live and we lived like in Warsaw, Indiana. We could only see that kind of stuff on TV because nothing like that exists around where I was. And the nearest place that had a water park like that was like five or six hours away. And your mom and dad would never take you over there during the summer because, you know, they had jobs. Mm. And you're right. fun, and, and you're and you're at one of these water parks, and you say no. Oh, I w- I've walked down the stairs before. Like you walk up the big stairs to the top of the yeah, slide, yeah. and then I go nope. And with my inner tube, and I walk my ass down, hitting people in the face on the way down with the how tube. Many, how, many, how many times have you done that? Oh, uh, probably a handful. But yeah, I lived right next next to a water park growing up called the Wave in Vista, California. What and, a spoiled brat! Excuse me. What a spoiled brat! What? I'm not. I mean, what would what would I'm scared. What, would, what would Lummy Garrison's dad do if Lummy went up? Went to, well, first of all, the inner tube would look like a little you know floaty to you. <laughs> the age of eight. Shannon Moss, twenty dollars. Oh, he'd, I'd probably get a, I'd probably get a nice spanking. And tell how throw you down the slide too. Make it go down. Oh yeah, no. Right? If, I, if, I, yeah, if I went if I went up, I was going down and yep. not going down the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, I'll it wasn't the safest ride. Too. 
What do you mean it wasn't the safest yeah, one? Yeah, there were a few times they had to call people in to like, you know, if someone flipped and they couldn't and they were stuck in the middle of the tube. Yeah, I'm but like, that wasn't going to be And you. it was a closed tube. It wasn't even like an open thing. So you're, if you're claustrophobic a little bit, that that That's caused even, an issue. But the closed tube's even safer than the, than the uh, exposed Probably, tube. but it's scary. Well, as Can't my dad would say, don't waste my time by going up here then. If you go up, you're going down. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just walked slide. down. If you go up, you're going down. <laughs> So anyway, Dan, sorry for calling you a bad dad because you're anything less than, I mean, you're actually a pretty damn good dad. So sorry for trying to I'm trying. make you be a bad dad. <laughs> I mean, I'm not perfect, but. The U.S. Here, here's always. our problem, though. But here's the problem. Our kids are so soft. Mm -hmm. They really are. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, I mean, and not even like you're, you know, you and I, I just, and I'm not picking on you, Dan. It's that you have kids. Jay has kids. Not everybody I know has kids, but I mean, our kids are so soft Nowadays, they just, I don't know, man, like you can't tell them no is no longer an option. And this was just on 60 Minutes now where suicide rates are the highest they've ever been with kids. Because kids don't know how to deal with adversity. That's right. Because we they, don't they, teach they, them adversity. I, we don't teach them how I'm to telling. deal with stress. We don't teach them how to hear no. We don't know how to teach them how to hear like, oh, you didn't win. We don't know how to teach them how like, oh, you need to go out and talk to people instead of texting a bot. Right. Right, exactly. You know what, little Johnny? You got ninth place out of nine teams in the, the little league. You little Walk harder next year, kid. Oh, no, you can't say that now. Little Johnny gets celebrated. Guess what, Lemmy? Little Johnny yeah. got the same size trophy as the first place guys for participation. Because <laughs> you know what? Little Johnny tried. Even though his team was 0-12 over the summer league, and they sucked. My, 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 back when I was a kid, they'd be like, man, you guys suck. You guys better really practice this year. And it's I mean, also for not to you know call it fake or anything, but a lot of it I feel like is for attention as well. Like agree, if you're celebrated every time you have a mental disorder, then you want to have a mental disorder too. Yeah. In general, has called it an urgent public health crisis, a devastating decline in the mental health of kids across the country. According to the CDC, the rates of suicide, self harm, anxiety, and depression are up among adolescents. And what is to have? What what is to be? De you got life by the balls. You don't have to go to the library to look things up. You don't have to do. I mean, nothing. Yeah, Everything. ironically, that's probably what's causing you get, it. Though your whole life is in your hand. You, you know, get they saw Chat GPT to write a two hundred word essay for you now. Yeah. You know, they saw a huge spike, especially in uh, young preteens and young adolescent girls. A young, a huge spike in suicides right around twenty ten. You know what happened around twenty ten? Smartphones. Yep. So, yep, and social I think it's media was all day, all that every stuff day. Yes. And, so, yes. and, and that girl who didn't feel so good about herself, she has a little Instagram or a little smart, a little, you know, ch snap, yeah. chat. And then, you know, She's the trolls. Be like, hey, hey, you fat, pimply faced little 13 year old girl that nobody likes. Right. Bill, fat bitch. <clears throat> and she has to hear that. Because she put her little fat pictures up there. And next thing you know, everybody's <laughs> commenting on them. Yeah. Meanwhile, when she was just a little fat girl in her own little fat suburbia town that nobody really knew about, she felt better about herself because everybody she surrounded herself you know, with liked her. Also and, were, and were also her, but were her friends. And they truly, yeah. they truly right. knew her and they liked her. And, and they knew her as a person and they knew that out, outside of, you know, what, the way she looks, she's a great person. And, and you know what society does? So that society says, oh, you know, we shouldn't bully kids, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. It's the parents' fault. Take away the freaking phone that way she's not she doesn't have an instagram you don't need an instagram at 12 you don't need a snapchat at 12 go yeah, be a kid but if I you mean, do get filters so you don't not as fat a trend that began before the pandemic dan said don't have a, a, a smartphone at 11 but if you do uh, have filters you're like there's so an app for fat, fat. <laughs> there's an app for fat yeah, last week fat app <laughs> hold on. fat app hold on. we took you to milwaukee <laughs> Wisconsin. Sorry, sorry. 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 Wisconsin, a community trying to help its kids navigate a mental health crisis Wisconsin has the fifth highest increase of adolescent self-harm and attempted suicide. Oh, it's because they live in Wisconsin. It's because the Packers <clears throat> suck. Sucks. It's because of Aaron Rodgers. I'm pulling <laughs> all of this. All these girls that are hurting themselves in Milwaukee is because of you, Aaron. Thanks a lot. In the country with rates go, go, nearly cons. doubling since before the pandemic. Do you hear how she's really trying to emphasize this all started before the, story, the pandemic well, so she can't blame the pandemic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know why? Yeah, because they were trying to insulate themselves. No, 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 criticism. no, 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 Dan. That's not why. It's because P Pfizer is CBS largest advertiser. 
<clears throat> and they don't want to piss them off on their big news story, right? Yep. Yep. So, follow I mean, follow the money. So follow, follow the, the money. money. Mm-hmm. Be like, uh, hey, guys, we could say that it potentially could have something to do with the vaccine. No. Oh, why? No, Let's ask Jamie no, Foxx. No, no, oh, no, no. no, no. You no, know why, guys? Cool. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and say. Go ahead. And you, so the news department yeah, calls the advertising department to get the, or the practice, the, the standards and practices. You know, every show has to be cleared by standards and practices, and they and, and during and before this aired, they had a little insinuation that potentially it could be a, a you know a vaccine deal. Don't think that standards and practices doesn't call up you know the president and say, hey, we took a little swipe at uh, Pfizer on sixty minutes. It's supposed to air this Saturday. Uh, well, you guys better tell the editor to cut that right on out, buddy. They spent twenty six million dollars with CBS last year. Uh, no, we're not having that. So do you, do you so, think if so, GM, just, Bubba, just so, like what you're saying, if GM gave CNN twenty billion dollars a year in advertising, do you think they would ever say a crossword about any Cadillac or any no, Corvette or no, anything ever no, at all? No. It would be the best car ever made in the history of mankind. I mean, if the Cor- a Corvette could literally melt down and kill a family of four, it's going to be the lead story on CNN. And by nah. the time by, by the time the uh, it gets back, hey, uh, go ahead and nix that story on the uh, Corvette there. Uh, GM's our largest advertiser. We're not going to uh, put that story. We're not going to go ahead and play that story. That's the way it's worked for years. <laughs> yeah. Well, but accelerate that now with big pharma and new and, and credible news sources that we rely on to give us, you know, credible information now. About are, our health are, and safety. Are, are, are skewed because they're bought and paid for. So you really can't get any real data as to what's really going on, especially when you... When you fragment it on down to the vaccine, that's the most, you know, that's the biggest who done it going on, right? Yeah. And nobody wants to cover it because they're all bought and paid for. In the emergency room at Children's <clears throat> Hospital in Milwaukee, doctors like Michelle Pickett are seeing more kids desperate for mental health help. We unfortunately see a lot of kids. I want them to tell me, I want to just hear why. Like, why? why? Like, why are they, what, are these, what are these kids saying? Kids who have attempted suicide, that is something that we see, I'd say, at least once a shift. Um, Once a shift? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, unfortunately. Dr. Pickett has worked in the ER for 10 years. Is there any group that's not being impacted? No, we're seeing. Which just goes to show you that smartphones are not a white, black, Hispanic, or even economical thing. Like, for instance, everybody, every kid, no matter if your parents are rich or poor, you can still get an iPhone 2 for almost, I mean, nothing. I mean, what are cellular plans? I mean, you can literally get a cellular plan for what? $19 a it's month? 20 bucks, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And you can, I mean, you can finance, I don't know, you can get a hand-me-down smartphone for what, 50 on on eBay somewhere? Pretty much. Right? Yeah. So for, you know, 70 bucks, you're up and running? That's yeah. nothing. At all, kids. And you know. you're, now you're connected to the world, and you have all of this power in your hand. And as a teenager, you can't handle it. You're not equipped to handle what the internet. <clears throat> you're not equipped to handle what potentially the content that you could get at the touch of your own fingers. You're not equipped to handle it. Yeah. At ten, eleven, twelve. And this is this is what I was talking about for almost two hours on my show on Friday is the the need to return to the ancestral brain and what that brain needs. It needs like nutritious food, moving around, sunlight, sleep and, you know, connection with others. And if you don't have that, you don't have anything. And there's a large portion. And it's not just for kids, but especially for kids. You're right. You know, no, for the developing come brain. from very well-off families, kids who don't, kids who are suburban, kids who are urban, kids who are rural. And again, the only, co- like, you could never find a cross-section of kids that didn't have anything in common, that have a common denominator of, you know, urban, suburban, you know, uh, it, like, it doesn't matter, black, white, fat, skinny, but I've, the... A smartphone sees no, doesn't see any of that. There's no other social issue or or common denominator that everybody would all agree upon except the use of a smartphone. There used to be. And and back in the day, like originally, like 50, 60 years ago, there were no common denominators amongst people, even in America. And then about 30 years ago, the common denominator was the mall. Because you could go to a mall in Tampa 
or in Alabama, and you'd still see an Abercrombie and Finch. You'd still have an Orange Julius. You'd still have all oh, the same so places, choice. but you'd have those same you'd, those same abilities of experiences at the mall. That Cinnabon. was kind of like the only yeah common the, denominator. That was the, the only common yeah. denominator amongst American society was like <laughs> fast food <laughs> and malls and, 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 and cable and cable. Then then cable came afterwards. Right. Cable came later. Right. And then after and we were, that, hold on. And we were so excited. For cable, oh yeah, I mean, because you know you're you were just used to getting like the standard four channels, four, four channels, right? And then cable came, and you're like, oh my god, I can get titties, Dan, 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 Dan. You can't say that, <laughs> mommy. Oh. Major mess up, Mark. Or Dan. You said it for like twenty seconds. You can't say that word. No, but. This. Uh, let me a major. <laughs> I thought uh, that was a word you could up. say. Let me if I was to ask for, if I was to ask for the show scoreboard today. What is it? <laughs> uh, for uh, GDs, Bubba has one. Uh, Pops, Anna has three. <laughs> Doctor Dan has one. Red has one. Fall on your faces. Five for Doctor Dan. Red five. Has one. Yes. Uh, Bubba Bubba tells you to shut up. Uh, Dan has two. Uh, big mess up. Dr. Dan has one. Interrupting <laughs> Bubba Flow on a one. Oh, my God. I mean, Dan, you have really been a major problem today. I'm going to lose my driver's license. My God, you're going to lose your on-air privileges. I, I know. I mean, the, the, record, the, record, the record for mess-ups. I was ups. going to you to say it. <laughs> the mess-ups are the dump button. <laughs> the the mess-up for... You like, said what? so wrong. I'm like, stop saying it. It's eight. So <laughs> you don't, don't want to be Brian. We're saying it all. Man, Dan. I'm curious to see what they're going to blame it on. Yeah, uh, yeah. see what they're going to blame uh, it on. Hold on. The search of families um, needing help for their kids has revealed a deficit of people and places to treat them. Across the country, the average wait time to get an appointment with a therapist is 48 days. And for Listen, when I was growing up, there wasn't... I couldn't... Hey, guess where I'm going today? Where are you going, Bubba? Therapist. What? I'm going to a therapist. Because, What's a therapist? Well, my mom said that I've been really depressed lately, and I'm kind of sad about something. You know, I was looking forward to making the basketball team, and I got cut. Uh-oh. And, and now I can, Larry Larry Plummer, my best friend, he's on the team, and and we've never not been on the same. You know, like that's my, and he's on the basketball team, and I wasn't good enough. I was too fat and slow. Oh, well. To be on the team, and now I'm not on the team, and so I'm really really sad and stuff. And so my mom is sending me to to talk to to somebody about what, what, it. What'd your brother tell you? To quit being a pussy. And what'd your dad tell you? Same thing. Well, why are you being a pussy? Because my mom, she's, you know. It's an easier route. Yeah. Go see a doctor. I'm going to go see a doctor, and then they're going to put me on some pills. Then I'm going to get jacked up on some pills. Then I'm going to have all kinds of energy. It's called a therapist? Yeah. Mm. I'm supposed to tell him everything. I'm even going to tell him about the vacuum cleaner. I'm supposed to. Really? <laughs> yeah. Fact. Don't tell him I did the vacuum cleaner. Oh, yeah. I won't. Well, I won't, because I'm going to tell them you're hung like a man, not a kid. <laughs> 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 oh. Children, it's often longer. What does it say to you? Therapist. So they say the you problem is the therapist. That's a problem. so stupid. Here's the problem. You know why we need therapists? Because we have bad parents. Mm-hmm. You're right. Ba- I mean, they're you- not paying attention to their kids because they're on Instagram themselves. Right. So the kids aren't getting attention. The only way they can get attention uh, the- is if they say, I'm going to kill myself. No, the, the parents aren't on Instagram. The parents are all on SSRIs. <laughs> yeah, well, they're all That's off the problem up. is they're all on SSRIs. That doesn't all help. chicks between 25 and 45 are on SSRIs. I'm going to tell you all? a lot, oh. a lot, a so, lot. I bet you the number is close to 20%, maybe 25. I bet it's For it's real? it's it's well, yes. disgusting. It's not even helping. It's disgusting. Depression's going up. Women between 25 and 40. Yes, I would say 20% of women between 25 and 40. Uh, why do you think that age? Girl, which, what, what which, percentage hold on, which are your moms out there? Those right, are your, those, they're the moms. Those These are kids, your, they're having problems. The moms they're your have mothers, problems. And they're on the, the, they're on the Zoloffs, <laughs> and they're on Paxils. The, the Paxils. Yep. And why do you think that age group of women? What do you mean? Like, why do you think that age group of women, you said 20% of them roughly are Because 20 years ago, every doctor prescribed everyone with a vagina an SSRI. I don't know why. Because they thought they were a little crazy, but they weren't crazy. They just had the vaginas. They were women being women. But again, Mm -hmm. we were so, we're so fragile that if you have a bad day, oh, you need an antidepressant. SSRIs are the answer. Hey, it looks, it looks I, like eighteen percent of women compared to oh my uh, God. Eight, eight, of women. Was, def- what Dan ages? Said what ages? Dan yeah. said twenty. Dan said twenty. Eight percent of men. So uh, of what ages? Can I want it? I want twenty to forty. Uh, eighteen to thirty-nine. Okay, twenty okay. to forty. Still, still, okay. Twenty to forty. Twenty percent of the women and less than ten percent of the guys. So I'm telling you. 
all these women are on SSRIs. It's not good for them. It's not good for them as parents. It's not good for them as they're going through gestation and, and messing with those those subtle balances as you're trying to grow a baby in your belly. And then and, all and, and, these and, 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 kids and, and, now are all messed up in the head because their moms were on SSRIs for 20 years. While they were pregnant, too. Why they was pregnant. They was pregnant. Dan's got it figured out. I've been saying this all the whole time. Stop stop giving hepatitis vaccines at birth. Stupid. And stop putting everyone with a bad day on an SSRI. And we have a better country. And then close the freaking border. You that The place they have to come is the emergency room. That there's something wrong with our system, the emergency. And again, the re- they're talking about suicide rates, mm. specifically in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and with they're kids. saying they have w- at least one a day that are coming in here wanting to kill themselves. And I and, bet and, you a lot of these people. I'm sorry, I did not mean to step. That's on. okay, but that is that is Dan <laughs> saying the reason why these kids is because their moms are these women that are 35 years old and um, have been, were prescribed in their early, late teens to early 20s, SSRIs, which are these mood inhibitors like Zoloft and, and, and all that plaque, whatever the hell. These Selective serotonin reuptake it makes inhibitors. It, it just mood makes stabilizers. It, mood stabilizers. <laughs> so all these bitches weren't always depressed. Uh, and boom, that has created us, those kids. They don't even make you happy. They maybe take the edge off if you're about to kill yourself, but that's now, pretty much it. Now, what percentage of people committing suicide? Here's a, here's a number that no one wants to talk about. No one's going to say anything. Maybe nobody's even vilify me for might asking. Not even, people, hold on, people. Get it, Dan. It, it might be such a vilified question to know what you're going to ask that we might not. We might even. They may not even gather this data for in fear of the of the of the, of the answer. Go ahead. There's two subgroups that I bet have very, 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 very high suicide rates. Uh oh. And the first one <laughs> we all know is the people with sexual um, identity crises and confusion. Those those suicide numbers are off the chart. And here's the other one that no one brings up, but I bet is really high: immigrants that don't speak English getting bullied in schools probably have a higher rate of suicide because there there there's this literally millions of kids brought to America with no ability to speak English they throw them into classes with the other kids and surprise surprise they're going to have a difficult time understanding what's going on and they're going to be bullied a little bit because they don't speak the language well here's so, what I was I thought you were going to say how many of these kids mothers are on SSRIs, meaning like, do they take do they take those statistics? Okay, little Johnny, at eleven in the Milwaukee emergency room because you have thoughts of killing yourself. Can we ask some questions? And one of the questions being, is your mom on or was on while she was pregnant with you, or you know whatever SSRIs? Have we ever asked that question? Mm. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I'd like to know the answers to all those questions. Well, one of them, at least on I mean, yours, would it be 20%? Well, it looks like the on the uh, non-binary youth or uh, that have tried it for the trans is uh, 52%. Uh, 50, they are on what, SSRIs? No, no, no. What, he, what his question he they was are, asking, the first one, yeah. yeah the kids so, that so are people with sexual, sexual confusion, yes. half of them try to commit suicide. That's, yes. So that's not an outlier? Yeah, yeah no, it's that like 10 be, times That shouldn't be that. highlighted? Probably. That shouldn't be talked about? We can't even mention it without being worried about like, oh, you're going to get in trouble for talking about this? Yeah. No, 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 you, you can, but what they say is that it's it's not because of the illness, it's because they get bullied for it. That's how they spend it around. That's not true, around. because I bullying's agree. gone down for it. I Bullying's gone down for it, So and those numbers are still... High. I understand. So it's not the bullying. That's that's right. a lie. That, that's that's a lie. It's, it's the attention. That's the narrative. It's the attention. It's the it's they have a mental it hangs with other things. They have a mental problem. People that don't agree with how they are born and have a dysmorphia, whether it's a gender or body dysmorphia. Someone that is unsatisfied with their existence. Well, I, I mean, I got a little bit of that. But anyone <laughs> that's unsatisfied with their existence, not everybody can be perfect. Like is you, going Danny. to have a higher chance for suicide. Nobody can be perfect like you, Danny. It's Please. like a mental that. comorbidity. It, like it comes with the territory of having gender dysphoria. But I wonder how many how many immigrants, first generation or no, not first generation. That would be like their parents were immigrants. Right. How many true immigrants? What the suicide rate is amongst immigrants versus 
citizens in America because I, I guarantee it's higher because they have more stressors, including that massive language barrier that causes them to get a hard time in school. Your room should not be the place to go and get you know, therapist. We didn't even have those back when I was a kid. Acute mental health care. When you know in- what we had? Moms and dads. Yes. It's got to be way higher for girls than boys, though, right? What? Like, what she's talking are about. are not a nice, calm environment. But they're desperate. But, yeah, but we, we're we there and we see everybody. But I wish there were more places that kids could go to get the help that they need. We just have a couple questions for you to answer on the iPad. To manage the mental health crisis and heavy caseload, Dr. Pickett introduced an iPad with a series of questions that screen the mental health of every child 10 and older who comes to the ER for any reason. Among the questions, have you been having thoughts about killing yourself? Oh, and God. Have you felt your family would be better off if you were dead? Oh, my God. I think these questions are even bad. Maybe yeah. if the kid comes in saying that sort of stuff, but I wouldn't be asking a 10-year-old that. <laughs> yeah, who but just what bro- do I know? Nothing. Some kid that just broke it. They said any kid that comes into the emergency room. What if some kid just broke yeah, his d- ankle because he jumped out of a tree? Yeah, broke my finger. <clears throat> Harsh Trill. questions that can be lifesavers to the kids who answer them. We've had four kids that I know of personally that came in for completely unrelated problems. So a broken arm or an earache or whatever. Man, I don't know if I agree with that. No. Dan, I mean, I mean, I well, of all times for you not to chime in, I'd love <laughs> to know your opinion going into the commercials mm-hmm. about that. Some kid comes in with a bee sting reaction to a wasp willy, and, they, and they're asking them leading questions like that? It's, you know, they, they start asking kids yeah, questions diet. about that. They ask them questions about what their parents touched them or their parents abused them. They um, What? They do. They do. They ask really weird questions. Now they ask, a lot of times, they were asking questions, is there a gun in the house? Do your parents have a gun in the house? For, and 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 so, I know. So what if you did whip your kid's ass this week and you had a gun in your house? And you you may get a you may get a visit from. for real. Hello, housekeeping. Just kidding. It's the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of energy to be this stupid. <laughs> Bubba, Bubba, the love sponge. Let me give on a pop going into the high school. Oh, do. Can I get you a snack, Bubba? <laughs> I don't need a snack. Oh. So, Baba, this, 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 like, lunchbox camouflage thing, is it a gift? Is it a, what is this, what is it? It's, it's a, a gift. It's a gift from a listener? I don't no, it's a gift from, know. it's a gift from me and the merch crate. Oh, from you guys. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I didn't understand what, what, what the source was. Because I'm thinking about doing them. Yeah, it's the prototype. So that's, that's a prototype, but I'm not, the I'm ones I sell. like that. Thank you for taking my idea and running with it. But it's gonna, we're making some changes on the prototype. That's the. I was thinking it was gonna be a smaller one, but that one's. Well, that's gonna. It's gonna be that, but it's not, it's not gonna have the American flag and the extra Velcro hanging over. It's just gonna be in the middle, one little Bubba Army logo, nice that's and neat, awesome. right in the middle. I like the. I like them all. Too. I like them all stuff. I like all of it. So you got it. Hey, right, did they you. put those in there for you too? Yeah. Oh, awesome. sweet. That's for the crick. Thank you. All right, so we have to talk about me and Dan biking. Before you leave, Danny. Okay. When are you leaving? I'll leave about. Oh, we 10. got we got the the t- tickle bit. He's calling in. Oh yeah, at nine. Around so Dan, you're practically yeah. gone. Hmm. Want to go fast? Yeah, go fast. Guy, my yep, the guy's sure name's Chad, right? G I think they're both calling here, but no. I why are they both? I thought we were just doing Chad. Well, I mean, they'll be on the same line. I don't think they're going to call a different line. What's the other dude's name? I don't even know the other dude's name. Brett, uh, Brett. Hold on. I'll tell you right now. Stand by. Brantley. Do you want me to text it to you? No, or... I got it. Yeah. Brantley and Chad. B and C. I'm going to automatically get heat with Brantley. He's calling. Mm-hmm. Who's God, going? show me the way, because the devil... I only, I only want to talk to Chad, because Bradley didn't know who he nice. was. Be nice! Hey, how's it going? Uh, we just we just went to break. We will be back in about five to six minutes. All right, I'll tell you at home. All right. Let me, where did we, where did we post... Um, YouTube? His, we put, what, did, we, did we put that on YouTube? 
Yes, we did. Yeah. In the mm -hmm. If you go to the community section. And it, weren't you posting shit on Facebook too? I think I did. Yeah, you, you, like, you, yeah, you so replied to me. What do you mean community? You mean, you mean regular videos? Um, I believe I put it under... I'll try to see if I can... The community section. I mean, we don't... In the YouTube world, there is no thing that's called community. Yeah, yeah there, it's by the next of the playlist. Well, send me a link to it. All right. What what is going on with Hoppy? <clears throat> Are they both on they both on different lines? It sounded I like it might be just uh, morning, guys. Good morning, Jay. Hi, Jay. He's here. What was that? Well, oh, okay. All right, come on. There you go. Yeah, they're both on the same line. Okay, they're both they're both on the war line. Yes. All right. So who's on line one? I gave them the hot line, so they Boom. only have the hot Boom line. Show. Just tell that person on line one. I ain't got time for him. Hey, Bo show. Yeah, yeah, what you were saying is so accurate. What you were just saying. We, gotta, we never even knew what the word counselor meant. We thought like guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, counseling. What the hell is that? Right. <laughs> He's like therapist. What's, what is that? What's one of those? But I mean, that's no, I just, that's what mean, did you just hang up on it? No. Like, the fuck they ain't there. I just think the seven two seven was just the guy wanting to talk to Doctor Dan. I understand that, that lover. Yes. Are you looking at the fucking warm line? Yes, There's nothing there. What's that, Dan, a gun bag? Or no, it's a, <laughs> is that like a ammo case or? It's a, a uh, lunchbox. <laughs> it's not, but it's like a cooler. So it's a lunchbox. It's a cooler. Yeah, it's a cooler. It's a, it's a, a six pack cooler. That's killer. Dan brings a fucking little lunchbox every day. That's pretty cool. He rolls around with one. I like the camo. That holds four sure. monsters that's and what, a couple power bars. That's what he does. He has fucking at least four monsters. In his big boy backpack every day. Mm -hmm. Can you give me, give me like a little it. bit of credit there, Buff? That's super cool. Who got that? Idea? And then Anna yeah, said Dan's big lunch boy little lunchbox really? would probably be something the Bub Army might like. The average yeah. dude. Did you get that one, the average dude just. You got around. that? What? You got that? Well, yeah. That's it, killer, man. Like that's our proto. That's our prototype. That's prototype? Of, I love of a potential it. new one. Well, I mean, what happened to our guests? Dude, that's I, cool. I don't know. I just I sent him a message that you guys get disconnected to call back. Mummy, um, okay. I, I, no big deal, lover. I, I, well, I didn't I, touch I'll the... pull it off. <laughs> in Bubba, we trust. In Bubba, you lust. Naughty, naughty. This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. How can I be Chad's favorite show if Chad hangs up? Uh, let me answer the question. It almost sounds like a nursery rhyme. How can I, how can I be fa Chad's favorite show if little Chad hangs up, let me, and I can't do an interview with him? I, I don't know. Maybe pick up the phone on line one. Oh, it's not. Uh, oh, Chad, Chad and Brantley, the purveyors. Oh, well, I got to turn on Jay, too. Hello, Jay. How are you, my friend? I'm well. Good morning. Me and Dan did a little biking on Saturday. I saw that. He's he a is beast, a, isn't he? He is a... I wish I could say the F word right now. He is a... I got so much mad respect for him. 
I I was tr- that bitch can ride a regular ten speed or whatever the hell he's got road bike as fast ten speed he's got I a mean, Schwinn ten yeah. speed that, that's what I was calling it his ten thousand dollar ten speed I'm like bring your ten thousand dollar ten speed let's see if you can keep up and he's got full blown human power I got an electric Willie I can average about twenty two I'm thinking I can average twenty two twenty three there's no way a guy could do twenty two miles on a regular you know ten speed. Well, that, that bitch is, I, I, I can't even believe it. Your your suggestion for him not to bring his mountain bike was the best suggestion because he's put literally thousands of miles on that bike. You know, he did a triathlon where the, the riding part was 112 miles he, in I, one race. I, the only way I could have beat him is if I put mine in the top gear, and that's not even fair. He's a machine. Yeah, I can't ride as fast as Dan. I don't, Dan, you're a. You're, I mean, amazing. That's when you can amazing. tell he's super athletic, especially for his age. Just when I mean, you want to just you know, think he, that Dan's he could a put, douche. Put him on a cycle, a, a bicycle with a 25-year-old, and he's going to hang pretty darn just, good. Just when you want to finally find something that he cannot do that good or that he over-talked about it. Like I told him on Saturday, I go, you know what? You're like Dion because you brag and then you bra- you back it up. Yeah. Like, it's not was, bragging. It's just kind of boasting when you I'm, can do it. I'm like, so when we were talking, when we were talking about Dan and being able to keep up, I'm like, I, I told the merch crick, there is no way. There's no way. Yes, Daddy. There's no way. He's like, I'm going to get some good live and, and FaceTime content. And he did it. He did it. I can't believe God it. God dang, Dan. The when he told the me the route he took, I mean, all the way to the end of Courtney Campbell Causeway, 22, 22 miles, miles. Little, with a little pickleball on the backside. That's yeah, we'll killer. talk about that. Is this that Chad Brantley? Yep. Hey, why, why'd, you guys, why'd you guys hang up? Man, we lost you. I looked down. I'm talking to Brantley, and I looked down at my phone, and I was like, uh-oh. First we don't of all, let's, uh, first, by the way, this is Chad. We don't even have to talk to Brantley. We can hang up on him. He doesn't, he doesn't oh, know anything. Oh, shame. Like, he doesn't even know anything about this show. You were having to tell him how cool the show was, so don't let that Johnny come lately just try to get up on your, uh, up on your, on you. I mean, Chad, you're the one that is uh, the person I want to talk to, not Brantley. Brantley wanted to listen to, who was his favorite guy? I forget. Brantley, who did you say was your must listen to? Well, I love Conan O'Brien, Bubba, and I agree oh, totally. Conan I O'Brien. Look, <laughs> I told Chad this. I said, Bubba doesn't want to talk to me, man. No. <laughs> and I mean, I'm honored to be talking to you, Bubba. Well, thank really you. Am, so thank but, you. But Chad's the star of the show. Let's just be honest, okay? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're a listen. pretty good host, Brantley, but Chad's country bumpkin, and then that chick that he's rolling around with, that's what's taking everybody to the dance. Come on, let's be honest with each other. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Chad, who is, Chad who is that chick that you were with at the ball game? Oh, that's my fiance. That's oh, Amanda. Man. My lord, that's above the rim action right there all day. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. Don't. <laughs> well, I came in and hit you with that hot chick Willie on the on the back. Oh, she, was, she was she was uh, uh, unbelievable. Great selection. So anyway, great selection. Um, let me just give everybody just a little what we're talking about here. That just shows you how unconventional our show is because you know usually we would have a big time star like Tony Mandridge or Brett Favre or something. But we even have guys like Chad and Brantley who are not stars, but are trying to do the best they can, putting together some content. Chad is a fan of the show, and some orga- by some organic measure, <laughs> I was on YouTube or something. I think somebody sent me a link. And you said like, someone sent it to you. So, yeah, somebody sent me a link somehow and be like, hey, this dude right here has got a podcast, a, a, kind of a small podcast nonetheless, but he could have picked a million people as to who his favorite radio guy was, and he picked you. And it's really refreshing because usually everybody's telling you how much you suck and, you know, how much you've changed and you've lost it all and you're a fat ass and, you've, you know, you're a loser. And, and, you know, and to have, like, some regular dude that just organically knows about the show and then more will talk about it on his little show, it just really took me back. And especially... You know a lot. Well, and here's the thing. Uh, so I'm just going to play the little 25-second clip. I wish I had the other clip, but Lummy lost it because he's stupid. <laughs> but this is the clip that got my attention nonetheless. Hold on. This dude's great. Like, he's just talking. You know, he's got crazy guests on. Great friends with Hulk Hogan. Then this radio war started happening between the afternoon guy, Bubba. He let Hulk Hogan have sex with his wife, and it was recorded. And then the dude in the afternoon stole that information and then published it. And that was that Hulk Hogan sex tape. So Hulk Hogan ends up making $100 million. Bubba gets run out of the radio. 
I mean, this dude. And, I like and, him already. And Jay, I like to say already. Jay, you're my lawyer, and you're during my lawyer yep. during all that. And this guy, this guy is one of the very few that really gets it. He what, summed we, it up in 35 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, I mean, I should have hired you, Chad, to be my lawyer because I mean, you summed it up in 35 seconds. Can we use that as the PR <laughs> statement? Look, but absolutely. And so I and I've been up and I get ribbed about it a lot. Like a lot of the fans and everybody's like, "Oh God, here's Bubba talking about." You know, yeah, we got it. But to hear somebody on a, actually do comprehend what I've been trying to say, right? I know, makes you feel validated. He gets it. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chad, I was just like so taken back that I that I am your favorite show, and you guys were talking about it on your on your podcast deal. And I don't know, I just kind of turned like into a little fanboy. I turned into a Chad fanboy, like a little. Bit. How many times did you watch that clip, Bubba? Oh, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry. I will it's tell you repeat. So, so many times that I can tell you Chad's flat tops on fleek. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I mean, so much that I'm following him on my Twitter. What are your favorite ones? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For me, this is, a little... oh, no, here, this is the whole thing in its entirety. Jay, you're going to love this. <laughs> <clears throat> and listen, so, I mean, I've become such a fanboy for this guy that I follow him on Twitter, and I knew he took his hot fiance to the ball game on Saturday. So I'm that's... talking Carney to you, though. He yeah. knows your language, too. So listen, Jay, this is, this is the entire this is the entire clip right here. Listen to this. Different, right? So uh, this is more of a radio personality, but he got driven to Twitch and YouTube because of his outlandish behavior. I should I shouldn't say behavior. I should say like the things that he was involved with are so crazy. Like it was too much for radio. And so this is a guy named Bubba <laughs> Love Fun. I need I need to hire this guy for an agent. He's like no. oh, this guy's too much for radio. <laughs> and he's down in Tampa. And he's from what I think uh, Warsaw, Indiana, originally. He spent time with Howard Stern on that show, and okay. you know, kind of learned under Howard. Became really good friends with Howard Stern, and but he moved to Tampa. You know, he's a shock jock, right? So everything he did yeah. is really. But he's such a dude. I should hire this guy to sing to sing a country and western song about my show. Oh, he could you know write a song about you right now. Yeah, I mean, just just this Live five this five minute and sixteen. I just put a little honky tonk music behind it. It'd be a hit. Dude. But he was always pressing everything. So I moved to Tampa in two thousand eleven. So when I got there, he was on in the mornings. Huh. And it was phenomenal. I was like, this dude's great. Like, he's just talking, you know, he's got So crazy he was right in the middle on. of the radio work. Oh, yeah. This guy, he was right in the middle of the whole this, MJ thing. This Chad character, he's oh. got it all down, man. He really does. Good, oh. Great friends with Hulk Hogan. And he's just out there doing crazy stuff. And then there was this guy in the afternoon named Matt, Mike Calta. They called him Cowhead. And it was like, man, I, I love this Tampa radio from morning drive to afternoon drive. Yeah, I mean, until Kelter turned into a dick, man, they had two big, big, huge shows. Like, why would you change it? It's idiot. Hold on. Great. It was great. But then this radio war started happening between the afternoon guy and Bubba. And Bubba, like, had somehow, like, in his... Uh, video footage in his house listen 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 chad tries to get through this listen <laughs> he let hulk hogan have sex with his wife I, guess no baby, I know and it was recorded and then the dude in the afternoon stole that so stop it right there he didn't say anything <laughs> accusational about anything I there. that was like as artfully worded just I so know. you know from a lawyer a plus, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was so, I mean, you It was know, unbelievable. It's like he knew he was going to come on the show. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. This guy is the best. I love this guy. Hold on. And then published it. That was that Hulk Hogan sex tape. And so Hulk Hogan ends up making See, this, and Jay, this is the story that I wish the public knew. He just summarized the whole thing. And I know. So that was the Hulk Hogan sex tape. Yeah. So he just like summed up the whole thing in 30 seconds. Awesome. A hundred million dollars. Bubba gets run out of the radio, like, because- they thought he did it, and it's like, come to find out, it took like two years to investigate this. It was the afternoon guy, but the afternoon guy got the morning job, took over, and then Bubba like doubled down and got another show, and then got found guilty like tampering with like Nielsen ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, you know. Poor this guy. guy he, he, poor he, he's hard to defend yeah, you. But, <laughs> but this poor guy, like, you know, he, he was trying to soften that. But really soften that one, poor, yeah, he was trying to, like, you know, come on now, fellas. I got to tell you the truth a little bit now. Come yeah. on. You know, he's uh, kind of a piece of crap. Hold on. Uh, he was paying a guy to, <laughs> to listen to the show more. <laughs> And, like, they ran him completely out of radio, man. Which is for Drew. Which this guy's so got it. Hold on. And it was like, he, 
I feel terrible for the cat. You know, I mean, it was because he's such a dude's dude, and his show is so good and he's so intriguing. It's like the guy you want to root for, and you're like, but I had to find him on Twitch in the weirdest places, you know, to like listen to him. <laughs> but now he's back on radio. I listen to him on Florida Man Radio, and there's multiple. There's you got a Tampa, I think there's Orlando, there's Fort Walton, and luckily I can listen to one three point one in Fort Walton. I can hear Bubba every morning. Hell yeah! Hi. So he's building back, but dude, he is like, I mean, like I said, Hulk got a hundred million. Bubba got ran out of radio, and <laughs> that's, that's it. it. <laughs> he lost everything. That's it. But dude, you can't help but love this guy. You know, what I mean, he's just so entertaining. He's so good. He's so real. But dude, he can't get out of him. You know, he can't get out of his own way. <laughs> also true. Also true. It's true. I mean, Chad He's really gets channeling it. Tom Bean there. <laughs> My God. You know, what I mean, so it makes you relate with him. Like sometimes you think like how close in life you come to, like everything. Oh gosh, everything could just fall apart. And like, look at Brantley. Brantley's completely like, man, whatever. This guy sounds stupid. <laughs> he does it on radio, but you got to listen to him and you got to search him out. A Hold on, then dumbass Brantley comes up with talk about complete opposites. Conan O'Brien, could I be any more opposite? <laughs> like, no. I mean, Con that just shows you who's tough Polar and who's opposite. a little bit soft. Chad, see, he's a country guy out there. He's tough. He he's a real Brantley. Meanwhile, he kind of is like the Conan O'Brien softer kind of deal. Is kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> now Bradley's old Cajun, you know he's 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 a good dude. He he appreciates a lot, and he's listened to this, and I've I've, I've, I've turned him on to you, and he's listening. Yeah, to I mean, but Brantley, you got to admit, like our show is completely different than Conan O'Brien. Oh, absolutely, but in a good way, man. No, I am a I have I'm a fan now, Bubba. <laughs> don't don't think that I am not. I absolutely love what you're doing. I love the rawness of it, man. That's what. That's what I just love. It's so raw, unscripted. You're ready to rock anything. Man, you know, Steve's idea of, 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 of paying people organically to call us really is going to end up working out well for us. <laughs> make, sure, make sure Steve gets that check to you guys, fellas. This was all his idea. <laughs> Envelope. A new, no check. New, new mark. Papa, they've got this new marketing idea. I'm going to pay these two honky tonk guys to start listening to your show. You call them live. They put you over. We'll send you a few hundred bucks, okay? Exactly. <laughs> hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. I got to get back to Chad. Hold on, Brantley. Stand by. Hey, Brantley, you're a short timer. You shouldn't even be on the air. Only Chad should be on the air, but we'll let you stand by. Hold on. He loves you. Howard Stern, I mean, has been to like two weddings in his life. One of them was both. Look at Chad's got it, man. He really knows. Really Chad, I love telling you. I'm such a mark for Chad. I'm, I really am. He's only been here since 2011. He knows your life he's not since even here He's not even here anymore. He's in Fort Walton now. He's gone, gone. When did you leave uh, Tampa, Chad? I moved there, I, what, 2013. So yeah. just two oh years. He was only here for two years. Oh. Yeah, oh. two yeah. pieces of artwork hanging on his wall. And one of them was Bubba's. He painted a, <laughs> a, 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 you know, an abstract art for him. So... I mean, the cat is highly talented. He's just self-destructive. <laughs> <laughs> also true. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me play the hold on. Let me go. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I still like him. I actually like him because of those reasons. So to me, he's like my number one guy that I'd seek out. Like if, if tomorrow he ended up back in obscurity, you know, and I had to find him on some weird <laughs> channel. I'm going to listen to it. That's still. awesome. <laughs> so that is that's great. Right that's there. my number one guy in the radio business. And the, drinking a Miller Lite. Miller Lite. <laughs> drinking a Miller Lite. Hey! Not a Bud Light. Yep. Nope. No, no, hell no. Not a Bud Light. No. <laughs> Entertainment industry of putting out content is Bubba the Love Sponge. You had sent me uh, some of that Bubba Love Sponge stuff before, and and to told me a little. Here's Brantley in his blue room. Uh -oh. Bit about Let's him. Hear it. Checked him out. Dude is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no two ways about it. But very entertaining. Sharp as attack, like you say. Just, I mean, that dude's he he's everywhere. So absolutely, I I could get I could get more. Yeah, into make sure Steve gets that money right out to him. These guys are killing it. What we told him exactly what to do. Don't they not? <laughs> Heard that? Yeah. No. He's uh. He's you know he's oddly entertaining and he's oddly addictive uh i would highly encourage anybody who has a death wish and wants to hear some crazy <laughs> crazy stuff i mean that in a good way like i mean if you just want to hear somebody's life and stories that have just derailed go to go to i mean your name's Bubba Love Sponge. Bubba the Love Sponge, or is Bubba it Bubba the Love? Sponge? Yeah, he's legally has changed his name to Bubba the Love Sponge. 
It, yeah, it's, it's real name. I think. By the way, I think uh, we'll be hiring Chad to be my new publicist and yeah, agent. New PR uh, guy. Yeah, exactly. Once a week appearances. So, 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 Chad, where do you, you got? You live in Fort Walton Beach. I'm actually over like in, in Freeport, Florida, which is just north of Santa Rosa Beach. Now, what do you what do you normally do for a living? So I'm in medical device sales. So I mean, interesting. Uh, doctors like Dan would be great to deal with, man. They, they, those are the cool cats that you deal with on a daily basis. They're not always that cool. Like, so, are you selling uh, hips? Are you selling knees? Are you what type of medical devices are you selling? Yeah, I work with a company called Cordis. So we do basically like vascular access and closure. We do stents and balloons so those arteries get clogged up. Our we'll uncle helped invent the cardiac catheterization way That's back it. when. Yeah, my hey, my stepfather. I'm um, hey. If you know anything about medical devices, then you have. To, and that's probably why you knew I was from Warsaw, Indiana, because it's the medical device capital of the world, isn't it? It's, yeah, I, War, Warsaw, they're Indiana. Like, Warsaw, Indiana is the orthopedic capital of the world. It's where really, like, yeah, it all is. All the joints are built there. All the knees. Yeah, all the stuff. All the really? yeah, yeah. That's Zimmer, cool. Biomed, America, Depew. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, Brantley, what do you what do you do for a living? You're are you out fishing for crawfish all day? What do you what do you what do you do? What do you do, what do, you do uh, Brantley? I've got my white boots on. I'm getting shrimp all the time. No, nah, man, I sell insurance. I'm, it's boring, man. Just I'm an insurance salesman. Sell it, that kind of stuff. And how did you two guys? How did you two guys come up with a podcast? Just have you been friends and you decided, man, technology has it where we can kind of zoom each other in. And talk about just, I mean, you guys talk about all types of various things, not just how cool my show is, but just, you know, life in general. And uh, yeah, we, how did you two figure this out? We were just talking, man, one night and, you know, just decided, hey, I want to do a podcast. I've been, yeah, we're coming out of COVID and podcasts are going crazy, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And Chad and I were just visiting one night and over Zoom, actually, I said, you know what, we ought to record this. And then just see what happens, and so they just started doing that and putting it out, and 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 here we are on Bubba the Love Sponge show, which is flat out insane. Well, <laughs> we've made it to this, but thank you. How many followers you guys have? I think I have. Um, what do you guys got? One hundred and thirty subscribers on your YouTube channel? Yeah, one hundred thirty. Uh, Something like that on YouTube. Yeah, we so don't, we don't have very many yet, but ho- hopefully we'll get a few more. Hey, good we're gonna, content grows. We're, we're, hey, we're gonna we're mm-hmm. gonna keep promoting you. Have you on from time to time because you know, like yeah. as a special little project, you're like our little brothers, and you know we're the big <laughs> we're, we're big timers, and you guys are just starting out. And rather than to be, you know, most big timers will big time the starter outers, and we want to help the starter outers, especially Chad, being the encyclopedia Bubba that he mm-hmm. is. I love that guy. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd say, but Bubba, I'll tell you, I mean, Brantley is the kind of the pimp in the box. He's the dang Wizard of Oz that puts all this together. I just show up my little shed in the backyard. I, I turn into a little studio. I know. I know the, I, that's I, super I, important. Chad, I know the brains behind the operation. I know you're my, you're like the lummy. You're, you know, you're like the lummy. <laughs> Brantley's, <laughs> now, hey, Brantley's Bubba. He keeps it going. And then you just lummy yourself in occasionally. Look honky tonk. Hey, we've got a third <laughs> co-host that comes in and that's, and that's J.R. the Handler. Uh, and he is Justin Moore's tour manager, and so he does. Well, we hold on now. We're, we're not familiar on. with Jr. the Handler now, are we, Lummy? Mm-hmm. We no. need to do some J- Jr. Yeah. the Handler action. I like here. that name. Yeah. The, the Handler is legendary in country music. I mean, everybody knows Jr. He is, he is the man. But he comes in and helps us out too. He's been he's just been kind of coming on and doing it. And the next thing we know, we, we've done probably eight or nine shows together. And so he's a he's a third. He's the trifecta there. And so we're. Well, we're still trying to figure this thing out, you know. We're just we're just having fun right now, looking to add guests to the show at some point. Uh, That's what so. you need. You got to get guests. And here's the deal, man. Don't be discouraged by slow growth. Just keep doing it. I, I mean, I know that neither one of you, you know, are relying on it for your major income because there's not a lot of money to it on the podcasting and the YouTube deal. At first, eventually, you could get it to be worth. You know, you can make two or three grand on it. You really could. Um, so don't give up and more importantly, consider it a hobby and you guys are pretty, you guys are pretty, you know, formatically good and you guys work well off each other from what the shows that I've seen and occasionally, well, we'll, and you have my, you have my number. Uh, I need to, I need to probably get, give you my number, Chad. I think that I text you my number or did I direct message you? I forget which one. I don't, I don't have it. You, you, you I'll get it to, to you. I'll get, and I'm not. Social media guy. No, no, but so. I'll I'll get you I'll I'll get you my number. We'll keep in touch and let's have you on from time to time. You and well, I forgot about Brantley. Yeah, Brantley. Oh, Brantley man. Once, once well. <laughs> and uh, an honor, all right, guys, listen, <laughs> Bubba Army, go to the YouTube channel. It's it, it's it's Tig's bits. 
Is that what it is? Lummy, is that what it is yes. on YouTube? Yes. Tig, Tig's bits, and then I'll take you to all the podcasting stuff and all that they do. And when's your guys' next show? We're recording it as we speak, Bubba. Uh, <laughs> it's become Thursday. Oh, that's smart, Lummy. That They're going to use this yeah. as a show, Brilliant. and I give them full permission. So there you go. You got my full permission to use Thank this in you, any way, oh, shape, or form. Bubba. Yeah, it was, was going to be the pre-show about the show, and then the after thoughts. You after guys the show. use whatever part of this stupid show you guys want. You guys use it, cut it up, whatever the hell you need. Okay. Oh, what are you Thank talking about? And you're the Rocky Radio man, so I appreciate you having us on, man. And uh, we'll we'll keep in touch and chat. I'll text you today. Okay, guys. Sounds good, buddy. Appreciate you. All right. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bubba Army as well. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Isn't that just so that like? Cool. That was awesome. I mean, you know that that made like their life. They were so excited. And, and here's the deal, man. Bubba Army, go go check their stuff out. Go sub. Yeah. Uh, they're just a couple dudes, man. And Chad, Chad, of which one of them really, really is Bubba Army. Like Chad. I mean, you know, I know Bentley's Brantley. I know Brantley's. <laughs> I know. Br- I know. I know Brantley's Bubba Army. He started listening a week or two ago. But Chad. But that's that, what we want. We want new listeners. You kind of stock home oh, no, very no. quickly. Won't you hear oh, it? And I'm not saying anything bad about Brantley. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm so very appreciative. But Chad. That's super, He's a P1. that's super P1, is it not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Oh, thank you so much, Chad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, I mean, like, honest to God, you have no idea. Like, I, I almost, I know it wouldn't say almost cried, but I was just like. You were moved. I was very moved in the fact that, man, here's a dude that really does understand my plight. That's the thing. For years, you when you and I have private discussions, you always say, you know, no one, no one gets it. Everyone thinks I'm the scumbag here. No one understands it. And nobody she, really just summarized it as perfectly as anyone I've heard summarize. And most of the Bubble Army know it too, but to, to have a guy that's got a, a small little platform and tr- is trying to promote the show and gets the show mm-hmm. is, ref- is is cool, is super cool. Thank yeah. you, thank you, Chad. Yeah, thank Danny, you, you got to get going. Uh, yes. And we'll put Jay in the big seat. So okay. stand by. Uncensored, unfiltered, unfettered. Thanks for the info. You got Uncensored, unfiltered, and unfettered. It's Bubba the Love Sponge. Bye, Danny. Bubba, do you want their email? Yeah. Okay. I'll text it to you. Son's driving now, and I'm not stressed at all about him. He's doing good. such a good job, and it's just been like, wow, what did it be? My life has changed so much for the better. Yeah. My wife has more time. I have more, more time, time for possible. you. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Excellent. You know, her life went from four or five hours in the car a day to like maybe one. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Like one and a half. Oh, she's probably so sweet. Yeah. But also a little sad. Cause yeah, she is, but at the same up. time, we're both like, man, this is a little, this is better than we expected. Because yeah. it's like this morning, he's doing. He's a counselor, uh, what's it called? 
across camp counseling. Yeah. So he had to be there at 820, and Kendall was telling me last night, she was like, 820 to 2, and I'm like, thank you. He's he himself. So he got home. He's gone. I'm like, see ya. See you when I see you, buddy. See ya. I'll be right back. No worries. Um, I don't know. I'll let him drive a car. I don't know about mowing the yard. Steve's a grumpy old man. He probably would. That's funny. My mom had no problem with me playing with the lawnmower when I was about 11. No, exact, that's exactly right. When you were 11 o'clock, our I don't, said, get your ass out there. Your brothers will teach you how to do it. I'm not raising no, like Danny said, I'm not raising no puss. You know, <laughs> my son's got some well, self-confidence. And, First of all, I don't give a fuck what you got to say about it. His mama is as tough as they can come. So she's going to fucking see that he's out there doing that kind of shit. You no, well, you know, I told you that, Brian. You know, you know. Yeah. There's no, there's no screwing around with me. No, what I'm saying is Zero. like, you know, she, he's got it on both sides. You're right. You know, like, you know, don't think that fucking don't mom, go around mom, about mama. <laughs> if if dad tells you to do go mow the lawn, don't think mama's <clears throat> mama's gonna get you out of it. Nope, that's not it. We are definitely a unified front, and she's well, she, usually harder well, she's, than me. She's a unified stiffy. I mean, she doesn't put up with no shit. No, she doesn't. She's a good mom, but man, she's stiff. No, that's right. You're not gonna get fucking one over on her. Period. You're not gonna get, but mom, um, that seems too dangerous. Or little Johnny's mom and dad don't make him do that. No. You're not gonna get that. That's not gonna work with Candle. Lacrosse is a tough sport, man. If you let your kid play lacrosse, you'll pretty much let him do anything. Yeah. Football is the same type of hard sport. It's full contact, so it's fine. It's making them tougher. What a couple grade? good hits on your ass. What good? What grades? Craig gonna be in next year, ten? Junior. He'll be eleven. He's an upperclassman, man. All right, so he's done. He just got. He's out in two years. He'll be gone. Does he know where he likes to go to college? He likes Alabama. He likes Florida State. Is he, he likes, is he? is he already starting that process? Yeah. He likes Clemson. He likes a lot. He likes all the fun schools. Which I'm cool with. I'm fine with that. Now, ha, ha, when do you know where you're going? Like by your maybe the. By maybe it's later now than when we were kids. Like I knew before I started my senior year that I was already accepted to Florida State, so right. I could have like the most. My 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 mom let me drop all my AP classes and have like dumbbell everything my senior year, easiest year ever, because I was already accepted. Right. These kids won't find out till usually late in their first semester where they're going. Really? Yeah. So he won't know it all next year. He'll be applying all next year. He'll probably find out the next fall senior year. Right. He's gonna be a junior. Yeah, he's, he's start, a starts upperclassman. Oh, no. Now, is he gonna? Are you? Is he gonna drive to work at school? He's driving right now. He drove to lacrosse camp this morning at school. He started Thursday and hasn't stopped. Here it goes, right? Hey, man, but that's freedom. But that's where you freedom. also hold on. But that's also where you become a man. There's like, no doubt. When you're now responsible for getting yourself there. Yes. Get yourself up, you know, fucking make sure you have got enough gas, make sure that you're safe, make sure that you don't fucking drive like an idiot. You're make right. Sure, make sure that you compensate for traffic, make sure that you're not late. That's, that's right. It's you're like, absolutely right, all of that. This is where mama and daddy are kind of cutting the tie a little bit. Yep, and, and it's you, one of those ones, don't, don't fuck up now. <laughs> yeah, like, right. It's easy to take yeah. that car back. <laughs> They're like a bunch of sharks circling in the water, searching for blood or any sign of weakness, are ready to strike. Ah! This is the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. That was uh, Chad and Brantley, and Lummy, I was right. Their YouTube channel's not Tig, Tig, Tig Bits. It's Tig's Bits Podcast. That's their YouTube. Oh, I thought it were the website, TigBits.com, because it has all their stuff. True. The landing page would be TigBits, T-I-G-S-B-I-T-S dot com. Then that'll take you to their multiple places. And go and follow them. And be Bubba Army and tell them, thank you for, you know, knowing the show. And hell, Lummy, maybe I should. I I was seeing on chat a little bit. There were some people saying maybe a BARP invitation at least, you know. Oh, well. Maybe. But I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it on the air. Why not? Because then it's, if you say no, then, you know. Then, then it's, it's like, not Aw. your brilliant idea. It was your brilliant idea. Oh, but Anna was like, would, would be afraid I would be like. Oh, well, oh. I didn't want you to be like, no. And then they feel bad and you right. feel awkward. And you're like, Anna, shut up. You're so uh, bad. 
It's easier oh, to co-sign. Oh, Shiver Bench. I wasn't going to invite yeah. them. Now we got to invite them because make you feel yeah. bad, Shiver Bench. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. You feel super bad. I hate you so much. Yeah, old exactly. raisins. A little raisin is stupid as hell. Don't forget who made you. <laughs> Jesus, God. You know, you'd be out there in your bad tweets, got kicked off comps, never have a job again, still to kill. We're going to Hooters. Hooters. Whatever. Raisins. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll tell you all. Anyway, go to tig, tigsbits.com. And, and these, these are some cool dudes. And let's give the little guy a chance. Bobby Williams, 25 now, on the Venmo. And you guys, now you guys do a good show. Now make sure your show, shows are good. Don't make sure they don't suck. When I'm in a <laughs> especially endorsing. now, right? Yeah, especially now. Guys, make sure you put together some good. Brantley, you're the brains behind the operation. Put down, put together some good shows now, buddy. Don't screw it up. There's a lot of eyes on you, bud. Or with a look at why so many major American brands seem to be caught up. See, I, I wanted to get Jay's take on this. That's why I'm playing this. <laughs> In the culture wars, we're talking about Target, Bud Light, Disney. They're all facing a conservative backlash right now for their support of the LGBTQ plus community. And it's a major shift. Now, now, I was talking to somebody about this this weekend, and I'm like, Bud Light needed to realize it's like as a company or as a brand, a major brand, maybe like a, a, I'm talking about like a Fortune 50 brand, a McDonald's. You know, a, an Anheuser Busch, you know, a Diaco Law. Like, and stay in your lane. Mm-hmm. Don't know who your audience is, and and advertise to them because that little fringe that you think that you need, or be, and it and causes you to have to change, you know, direction and how you normally advertise is not worth the repercussions. You know, like for instance about Bud Light, transgender people. Don't drink Bud Light. But, you know, rednecks from uh, Missouri drink Bud Light. Light. Well, don't piss piss off 80 to 90% of your core so that you can go get some weirdos here and there. Right? And so now it's like it's everybody's trying to like be ultra encompassing when ultra and the people that you're trying to advertise could care less about your yeah. wh- brand. What you're saying is they, they forget who their target demographic is. Right. The target demographic for Bud Light is 21 to 35-year-old young men. And those commercials were sophomoric and fraternal on purpose because be they like, were effective. <laughs> Bud, why is there I mean, come, I mean, all of those were the best commercials, some of the, the best frogs. marketing things yep. oh, Bud, ever. Why, sir? You know, I mean, they just did Spuds McKenzie, the Bud Light dog. Like, they did so many, you know, Anheuser-Busch has been, you know, usually one of the more creative with the Clydesdales, and they just have so many great market. They've they've done so many great marketing things over the years, and they then they hire this this woman who, who who I think works from home and has her kids third grade art on the back in the back of her of her of her wall her how her home office wall. Yep. And she's like, well, you know, Bud Light was facing a, cri- cri- a crisis of being a frat beer. Right. And, and, well, you know what? Frat. You hope you are the frat beer. Yeah. That's like the goal. Right. Like, don't bite <laughs> off the hand that's brought you to the party, my friend. Do you think it's more, sin- <laughs> if I may put on my tinfoil hat, Bubba. Please. Do you think it's a bit more sinister than that, where they're trying to tank stocks so that they can buy them back for cheaper? No. 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 I think they're it's just, ESG score yeah, stuff. They're, no. they're, 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 In addition to that as well? No. No, no they're it's, just it's trying this, to implement it's it. It's this CSG deal, whatever it's, the hell's yeah, going CSG on, which, which somebody needs but why to say. Wouldn't that, it, why wouldn't it be the fact that you'd want to take the stock, it goes down, you buy it back for cheaper, and then it obviously goes back up? Because it's because, because you're, your shareholders lose money in the process, and mm, you can't okay. give and, a, a fiduciary duty to your shareholders. And Anna, that's a very risky, you may never be able to regain your market share that you lost i don't know that i'll ever drink bud light again that Me was either. my brand my entire life and i'm so offended by what they did because Are you i really have a, I'm so part offended of, yeah i am because i'm part of the common sense party it has nothing to do with conservative mindset it has nothing to do it has to do with common sense stay in your that lane person does not represent budweiser does not represent bud light does and not so, represent the consumer of budweiser or bud light that would be like this jay that dude has a sponsorship with <clears throat> kotex Tampons. So listen, it'd be like this. You know, man, if you get hit by a truck or you get in a car accident, man, J.D. Ocko might be the one dude that you might want to really, really think about calling. I'm telling you. 
right now. You get go to you go to the doctor's office, and there might be a medical malpractice deal or some you know <clears throat> some uh, you know just again you get you you get hurt or at work or something like that personal injury anything like that J Diaco Diaco Law Danny there with the partner kicker that's what you need to call one oh it, it's eight 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 S O S firm that's what you need to call now Jay if Steve came up with one of his brilliant ideas of marketing and go hey guys I'm gonna tell you something I know we're killing it over here with accidents and stuff but I want Danny to maybe put maybe tan it up a little bit, and we're going to start going for immigration too, okay? We're going to do an immigration push, and we're going to start being immigration lawyers too, okay? We're not, don't worry about the slip and falls. We're not going to even market the people that are in car accidents anymore. I mean, that we've got, we're, we're killing it over there. We want to diversify and do immigration. So, Jay, we're going to start, you know, doing that too. Isn't that great, brilliant? But even coming out and, and even Jay and Dan like release a video, different. release a video different. saying you know we don't want to do those people anymore because they're losers. They're, they're, we don't want them. Yeah, but but you, know, it's, it's, you know, I've I've taken my entire p- professional career to make sure I don't get political about anything, and so I'm not political here. I, I've, I've shared way more about my opinions since I've been on this radio program. I find it cathartic. I find it really helpful for me as a person to be able to get my what I'm saying out, especially in these crazy times. And so it's okay for me to say what I'm going to say right now because I believe it in my heart. It's called genetics. I I believe that if this person wants to live like they want to live, that's great. I don't think that children should be sexualized in any way, heterosexual or homosexual or transsexual or whatever sexual you say. A child's brain is malleable. That means it's moldable. And you should be molding a child to believe in success and not to go to counseling, like you said before, and not to feel like a victim or think that, oh, my God, my body feels weird. Maybe something's happening. It's called puberty, having (laughs) self-doubt, having self-question. That's called life. Do you still have it when you go to bed? I do. I'm 53 years old quieting the voices in your head that's called life you know and so but, when we on. teach our children that there's a month to feel bad for yourself because of something that should be private i don't want to know anyone's but sexuality you know, you know the i root? promote homosexuality i have no problem with but it but do you know the root of all of what you're saying is either good or lack of parenting it all starts and stops with that. But we as the parents can't stop what the corporations are doing. I'm forced to have conversations with my 11-year-old daughter that we would have never had when we were 11 years old. I didn't know what a therapist was. I'd never heard of transgenderism. I didn't know what a sex change was. I, didn't t- I was talking about Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. Well, and, I mean, and you know, and you you know, know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, two, it's two like brothers beating you up nine, a lot. At nine years old, <laughs> I mean, you, had, you, had, I mean, you were concussed every day, Jay. I mean, you were, you're getting your ass beat every day by one of the two. My, my daughter asked me about the tucking thing yesterday. <laughs> no. I swear to God. In what manner? We were going to go to Target. And she I'm knew like, about the hubbub. Yes, and she knew about it. Are you going to go, Dad? With she the follow talk? Alex Stein on Twitter? No, no. <laughs> it's it's there. In it. It's on the news. Oh, Just sorry. turn on the morning she news. Say, Dad, on are, Bay we gonna, news are we going to go to Target? That's the tuck. Turn on Bay news pimp on a blimp. Turn on any. I did. I watched his. It was hilarious. I thought his was the <laughs> did funniest. Did she say of she all. was a pit bottom? Made me want to exactly eat and, <laughs> eat and steak and shrimp. Um, makes me want to do calisthenics in one of those bathing suits there. But yeah, um, it's it's conversations that you shouldn't be having with children. That so how'd you handle she, it? I Daddy? told her, Daddy? I said, I said, do you know what it means? Papa? And I explained to her what tuck means and her jaw hit the ground and she almost like, you know, the, no, the for fake real? Vi- like you told her what it meant? Of course I did. Did you say it's when a man tucks his penis? Yes. No. I said they're trying. Oh. I said what they are trying to do without any reservations or hiding it is say it's okay for boys, young boys to wear girls bathing suits and to tuck it. Did you and say I what said, about that's the walls? Not, and I just said that's just that's uh, if you have uh, those issues, sorry. you'd be in, in private. It shouldn't be at the front of any store <laughs> for a month. We have we have whatever Independence Day, Memorial Day, Veterans Day. This is ridiculous. Tuck month. Tuck month. Stand by. <laughs> now for the support of and the by LGBT. the way, one of my first lawyers when I had a huge firm was homosexual. One of my de- I mean I have I, How I dare he? do not oh, care. What people do. I've been to drag shows.
as an adult. So have I. Brunch? I don't find it's hilarious. I find all of that great See, like, I have when no you're problem. 21 and older. I have no problem with it. I have even it. no problem. I even have no problem with drag shows being 18 and up. And, and when I go yeah. with my daughter someplace and there's someone who's transgender or homosexual obviously behind the counter, I love it. It's fine because I get along with everybody and I make a point of highlighting for my daughter what a pleasant experience that was. Do you see how conscientious they were about their job and how well they take their, their they respect themselves and their job. I don't have a bad word to say about a homosexual, a transgender, or anybody. EQ what I have to say is this indoctrination of children, Disney World. It's on Skittles this month. It's on. Pardon? It's, uh, yes, there's a. I mean, you can't. Taste the rainbow! Oh my God! No, it's not. Isn't the rainbow on Skittles all year? Oh, my bad. No, no, no. Not the rainbow. <laughs> little acronyms. Little. Y- y- go get a. I'll get a bag. I'll get a bag this month. I'll look it up. And it's a major shift going on right here in corporate America, a shift in tone and one that many Republicans complain is almost entirely to the left. If your shoes could vote, who would they vote for? Probably a Democrat. And we're asking the dumbest questions. Not only is this a dumb topic, but now we're asking dumb questions. What does that even mean? The question at one time might have seemed crazy. If your favorite beer were a person, who would it vote for, a Democrat or a Republican? Um, I will not answer that. <laughs> so now Americans are even afraid to answer questions based on like, oh my God, somebody might see it and like, you know, like. That's such a stupid ca- question. Like, it is I, the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. It's so dumb. What did you send me, Anna? The Skittles. If your brand could vote Democrat or Republican, exactly. who cares? If your shoes who could cares? vote. Who cares? <laughs> what? Yeah. This is the new Skittles right That's here? That's just a one box of it's it. It's such you a one waste of your, time. It is. It's just why on candy. Why do children? I mean, that's directly. Well, I mean, the name in this day rainbow. And age, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. If the companies were people, you're saying they would vote for Democrats. Right. Yes. It's time beer made it up to women. As more big brands sell not only their products but their values, people notice. They need to. <laughs> you think they need to do more? Absolutely. Some love uh, it. It's nice to be transparent, you know, in a world that uh, you don't get that anymore. People say that, oh, you can't be political. That is virtually impossible to live in a democratic society and not be political. See, Baba, I'm but teaching many- my daughter that she can still do anything. You, you don't have to believe in all this crap to say to your daughter, you can do everything Trey can do. And I expect you to do everything that Trey can do. I expect you to Trey be whatever, can dunk. whatever you... <laughs> <laughs> except for his physical things. You'll never be able to do right. this physically. No, but I'm, I'm trying to say that there is no ceiling for her just because she's a woman and don't think of yourself as a woman. And that's the problem with this is it makes everyone think about who they are segmentally in society as to whether or not you're going to be successful instead of just saying, I'm going to be successful because I can work harder than other people. And it's okay to work harder and it's okay to be smarter and it's okay to get better grades. It's okay to be exceptional. And so raising a daughter that way is fine. What's wrong with that? I'd say nothing. Can I tell you what's wrong with that? Is that cute little 11 year old will soon be a cute little 15 year old and you're gonna have cute little guys rolling around here trying to do that's cute little things yeah you that's good to see hold on hold on what did you say that's, that's gonna, be a, gonna be a nightmare you know it's going to be living with dr dan's living <laughs> oh. i know <laughs> denial <laughs> oh come on come on you stupid ass piece of Bubba the Love Sponge lives because a dirty mind is a terrible thing to waste. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Yeah. Um, and you know, I haven't had a Bud Light 
and their core values. Uh, she says it's probably the choice of investors to be my beer for years. Yeah. Well, like, it was kind of like a backup beer college. The expectation of customers themselves. We're facing these You know, I would rather go to a different school than Target right now. And this is not a consistent pattern. Like, I went there for a book six weeks ago, and they had this crazy book about an eight-year-old transitioning in like the kids' book section, and I was just like mortified. I just couldn't believe what I was reading. Mm -hmm. That they just have I me, and that's just not appropriate for children. There's so few. What people do you feel about? Because it was in prep, and I thought it was an interesting point. But like, what do you think about like the the Bible, which has some pretty gruesome and violent details? Of Utah bandit. Well, I think the way that they teach the Bible and its stories. They, they oftentimes will have the kids reading the literature. The, the but liter even, and I'll, and I'll be honest, like as yeah. someone who did not grow up with the Bible, yeah. uh, but, and mostly just the, the imagery, the first time I went to a cathedral, I'd never seen, this was in third like, grade. Like crucifixion I'd I'd never seen, is pretty, I I'd never seen just having a cross, but like seeing Jesus dead hang from a cross, like that's pretty intense for like an eight year old to no, I agree digest. With that. Like I remember seeing that being like, that's horrific. I'm like, don't a really faith-filled so guy, but I'm not a super Catholic guy. Right. So, like, that's so for me, there's like certain things about that that I didn't really agree with, and okay. so that's one of the things too. I mean, yeah. you know, the Bible says, you know, thou shalt not bow to any graven images, and then the whole Catholic Church is a bunch of engraven images. <laughs> it's a bunch of fucking <laughs> yeah. statues everywhere, yeah. and I'm yeah. like, well, yeah. and I like a ten-year-old. I'm like, isn't there something like internally conflicting? In this? Shut up, Jay. I knew this in my <laughs> head, and I'm like, wait a minute, this is weird. So, you know, I, I'm. Not super Catholic, but I'm a super. I feel like I'm lucky because I try to live a certain moral way. Understood. You know what I mean. But like so, in terms of like exposing your kids to certain things that you you don't think they're. My ready child for. wanted to be. Uh, he wanted to have his first communion. Trey asked me when we were in in, in mm -hmm. the academy, and so that's what even brought us back to this, the church, and it was only for about three or four years. And then I've kind of fallen back away from. But he's safe. always gone to like private Catholic. Church. Yeah, but he wanted to be. He wanted to have his first communion. He wanted to be confirmed. What is that at thirteen or something? Um, they are, they're confirmed in eighth grade, and their first communion in second grade. So, Sage will be confirmed next year. What, what then, is it? What is the communion exactly? First communion know. is the first time that you get um, the Eucharist, which is theoretically oh, yeah. the body and blood of Christ. Yes, you know, yes. so that's the first time you're, you're allowed to get communion. Cracker, yeah. um, your confirmation is when you theoretically become an adult in the church. Okay, so it's like your bar box. It's, it's, it's exactly a similar, similar age. But do you have to like do anything? Do you have to do like a survey? Well, you're supposed like... to. You, you do studies for a year. Okay. Um, you have to complete a confirmation course. There's no test. So there's no like, like performance. Like, it's not like you, you guys have, have, you have no, to fucking I mean, read like, the Torah. Trey was so excited the first time he got invited to one, and then he was like, oh my God, Dad, they just recited Hebrew for like an hour. I know. And I'm intense. like, I know. No, you don't just recite it. You got to fucking sing that shit. You got to no sing it right. No perfect enunciation yes. and everything. Yes, you gotta I know. Sing it. It's a full commitment. Oh, so. I know. I, I was in tr like training yeah. um, for like nine months. Yeah. Cause you have to sit, and sit it, with like a, a is like, it like a couple days a week. Yeah, I would sit with like my tutor and we would sing it. Like you have to learn how to pronounce it, then you have to learn to sing it, and then because the Hebrew that they give you has vowels, but then in the Torah there's no vowels, so you don't know if like the T is a is a ta or a T or a to. Like you don't know, so you have to memorize it and then sing it oh while God. reading the Torah with no vowels. So. And you're, you don't have a cheat sheet in front of you, right? No, you just gotta fucking study. So how often do months. people fuck that up? Not often. Well, there's like Does a candy it... right behind you going like, you know, God forbid. You... Oh, there, okay, there's someone you know, that could help the you. The rabbis there, they're like, no, 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 she has a little bit. Okay. But I didn't need any help. Have you, but have you ever seen anyone like completely tank it? I've never even heard no. of such a thing. I mean, like, that just says Jews something about. Students. That just says something about the culture. <laughs> yeah. Not, not all the Jewish kids have 130 IQ. Not all people. No. Do. I mean, you know. No, but they, there's you gotta know, be you some marginally. Hard. There's gotta be some marginally sure, smart kids that are able to and do that thing, shit. And here's the thing: if you just kind of like make it up, no one's gonna be like, "Excuse me." <laughs> just let them, you know. You're not the front row. Right. Right. That's not a thing. Yeah. Right. 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 I mean, the Catholic kind of Church makes me see a word. Like, like, my wife would need to become Catholic when she wanted, like, and then we wanted my wife to be Catholic to try to help our children through this process. And it was like, yeah, she can come every month, three times or four times a month for three years and become like, oh my God. Yeah, fuck that. If you don't want people to join your church, just say we want you to come, come be with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's, she's not. No, yeah. she's not Catholic. Okay. Yeah. Christian, Christian, she's Baptist. When do you, when do you, 
When do you get like knighted as, as Catholic? You knighted. Well, I don't know. Like, knighted. When are you officially a Catholic? Like when you come. The moment that you get board? baptized. Okay, so she can't she just go get baptized. I mean, that's the whole thing. They want her to do a bunch of communion. You can't remain. I. My brother's wife just started eating communion about 15 years ago. She's like, oh. I'm Catholic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Which is like, that's. Yeah. Well, explain yourselves. Just like a six pack of cheap Yiddish beers. Don't surprise me. You look like a typical low life character to me. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Lovey will do an Alex Stein Wednesday, I'm assuming, like we always do. Is that what the day was? That the, yes, the, that's the day that yeah. we do it. Yeah. Is, is he, is, is he going to be available? We'll talk about it after the show. Oh, I mean, no. And also, <laughs> Lummy, also, Lummy, you did not print out a picture of Alex. It, it, the- yeah, he did. It just fell over. It's right there. We don't have uh, duck, or we don't have regular tape here, so I tried to put it up there. It fell over when Jay sat down. I'll get you some tape. Uh, oh, you know what? You don't just put the picture beside the belt. Okay. He I'll, did. I'll do the taping. It just it just flopped right. over. There it is, right here. Let me. What's the official show uh, <laughs> show scorecard? I thought. There you go. Perfect. Off. Thank you. Let me. What is what is the official scorecard for today? And Dan was running. I mean, Jay may not he have heard it. Hot. To, oh, he was. I heard the tally. It was pretty amazing. His rant allowed me to be able to snack a little bit. The, the record. The record is uh, <laughs> Brian at eight. So Dan, what, hold on. As far as um, all time. Uh, as far as fall on, fall, your, faces. Fall on your facers. Yes. How many did Danny have today? Well, let me go through the list real quick. Whole list. This is the complete show okay. uh, scoreboard. scoreboard. Yes, uh, scorecard. Scorecard. Uh, scorecard. Uh, GD from is Bubba with one. He said GD once. Uh, Pops. Anna had four. Mm. Anna had four. That's pops. what's up. Thank you. Thank Dr. you. Doctor Dan good. had one. Rhett had one. Fall on your faces. Dan had five. Whoa. Rhett had one. Did Dan have any pops? No. Yes, he had one. One pop. Okay, one pop to to how many? F- five. five. So he's yeah. four. <laughs> yeah, four. He's, Bubba, he's, you're right. You know, you're a minus. He's a minus four. Yes. <laughs> Bubba tells you to shut up. Dan too. Touch. Oh, minus, I mean, add two more to that. Yeah, that's six. Minus six. <laughs> six, to six. Uh, mess up. Uh, Dan one. That's Oof. a minus seven. Uh, interrupting Bubba's flow on a one. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry that's about that. so oh. how, but how many pops did she have? She had uh, four pops. So she she would be a plus yeah, three. A yeah. Yeah. It's almost like hockey when yeah. they're, you know, plus mm. or minus. <clears throat> okay, so Anna's a plus three. And Lummy, what are you? Just nothing. Right? I'm nothing. You're, I'm just zero. A, you're just a zero. Mm. What's a Dan? Minus negative seven. Minus He's one seven. off of Brian. Dan. Oof. Wow. And then how anybody else? Rhett had something good and uh, bad, Rhett, I think. Rhett, he had uh, a pop and something yeah, else. Yeah, he, he's even too. So Rhett's even. Yep. Uh, Lummy's even. And uh, you know, and I guess I'm a down. What am I? Honest up. I'm up for three. Today. She's a plus up. three. Yeah. And 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 the bottom line is, Lummy. You know, I can't. You know, like I mean, I mean, I I can't give myself a pop. No. no. So I, you know, I can't even really be part of the equation. You're just the house. Yeah, I'm just. I'm the house. Right? <laughs> you're pretty, you're yeah, you're house pretty, always wins. You're pretty yeah. much just worried about yeah, the GD. Exactly. Right. The GD word. That's yeah. the only thing I can do. I can't mess up myself. I can't interrupt my flow. You I can't tell yourself. You so. can't tell yourself to shut up. No. You can't. Yeah. Right. So Dan, that's a, that's really a problem. I have to have a talk with him on that. I think negative, we do need to have an after show. A talk negative, with a negative seven. How much of a contributor are you there? Mm. I mean, this might be a brilliant way to really show you your your worth on the show. <laughs> sure does. God. If you give Dan though a, a metrics of how to measure himself, he will smoke it. He, if that's on. the metrics now, I'd be like, hold okay. On. Don't think he's not going to figure out how to game the system. That's yeah. what you're trying to say. Of he's course so, he is. He's so intellectual. That he's going to figure out how to game the system. Yep. Yeah. He exactly. just wants to make sure he's at an even or a positive. But I got to tell you, Dan, a minus seven, that's not even knowing how to play the game. That's no. almost Mikowski. That's like, that's Matroni. Wow. Yeah, well, Brian. And I love Brian. On, on that day. What Brian's was, my can boy. You give, can you we give didn't me? have the other categories. At that time, we just had uh, pops and uh, fall on your face. Because I bet you he had some other negatives. If you would have added them all up that day, he may have been I don't more know, but he also could have had a... He has pops. No, this uh, right. No, oh, right. no, you didn't give him any pops that day. Oh. oh. Been, I, oh. I think you were getting annoyed with him at uh-huh. that day. <laughs> 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 uh, that's, that's way off the scale, too. Like, <laughs> getting annoyed, you know? That's I should be getting getting one getting annoyed a point. It should be like a minus five in itself. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really bad. Mm. So anyway, Danny, try. It's okay, Danny. It's okay. Your he bike a, ride made up for it. He is a beast on the bike ride, and he's a pretty damn good pickleball. We played pickleball too. Did you? He's know never that? played before either. No, he never played. Nope. 
But but Merch Crick said he looked bored with it, like it wasn't challenging enough. Really? For him. Yeah, kind of. To me, it looked like he didn't really like it. Hmm. He said he liked it, but to me, you know. Yeah, that's the way he made it, it sound. It, to almost feel like it's beneath him. I don't think Dan likes sports where you sit around and and wait around a lot. He likes well, to be on the bike. He likes to be you surfing. You don't pick a ball. You don't pick a ball. quick. Don't you have to wait for a court sometimes? And then no, in between points. No, 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 not in Bubba's honey no, hole. No, 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 not my little you honey, got honey hole. hole? Yeah, I got a Petty's got to wait like at the public one with a bunch of Karen's yeah, yelling Petty's at him. Yeah, because Petty's stupid. You know what I mean? Petty's <laughs> <Just, laughs> Hold on. Because Pet, Petty's no, an not. indoor cat, <laughs> and he doesn't go into the bowels of Tampa and know where the little honey holes are. That's Am I right. not right? I mean, right? Accurate. I'm driving around on my e-bike looking for little honey holes, and man, so I got me a honey hole. On it. Yeah. Petty's an indoor cat. We know that. <laughs> that, 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 that rhymes. Pity's an indoor cat. We know that. He can't that. stay out of the kitchen. That's his problem. He's he's a really good tennis player, and he says he always rushes the net and loses so many points by running into oh, the I kitchen. Oh, I thought you meant he was gaining some weight. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm in the kitchen there. I thought, thought you were calling <laughs> I Pity. Thought... I thought you were calling Pity fat. I really no. did. He's skinny. <laughs> he like I know. Rigged. But oh. I thought, like, since maybe the last time I've seen him, no. he's gained, like, 10 pounds, and I you're trying to call him fat or something. Yeah. No, the only thing I know about that game is the kitchen, just because he told right. me about it. You know, He's like, he either plays at the baseline or he runs the net because he plays plays like tennis and you know i guess don't you have pretty good be good at spins to really be good at yeah, it yeah and like, dan already picked up on the spin that son uh, of a bitch he spinned me out a few times oh. pity pity hits things like a knuckleball when he played tennis there was zero spins but precision so it's not have you ever have seen a, have you ever seen pity fight is pity a good fighter he's not a fighter he's not no he's, he's a not lover. a fighter but he's good he's oh. a lover not a fighter but he's good at anything hand-eye coordination darts pool bowling but we're not. We're not having. Ball. We're not going to have him fight Jimmy Clevis. Uh, Jimmy Clevis would squeeze his wrists and make him, you know, cry. Jimmy uncle. Clevis would kill, kill all of us. Yeah, he could, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he could break my wrist in half. No, he can. He'd yeah, show he, it to you. he can make me tap out without even choking me out. Mm. Uh, I'd just be like, oh. he makes most women tap out without. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me, we're going to do a, after, I got to have a me- 15 or 20 minute meeting with Jay real fast right. and then we'll fire up the podcast. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate everybody, man. We'll see you. Uh, go to our podcast uh, today about noon, uh, which is anywhere you get your podcasting, Spotify, Apple, whatever, and download the Bubba Army podcast. And uh, today's show will be exclusively there. Today's after show. We'll see Five million downloads. Bye. 5.1 million. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge, co-host and show historian, Lummox, co-host, Anna Hummel, co-host, Dr. Dan Diaco, Esquire, of Council, co-host, J. Diaco, Esquire, the Spitting Cobra, of Council, Brett, the Filthy Ginger, video editor. Yeah, back here wearing shit up. It's Mini Macho. The BRN agent, Thomas Buttoned Up B. And for everything else, Go to thebubbaarmy.com. Now, time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. Until next time, always remember. Oh, hello. Oh.